Yo, 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 big up to the people. Um, should be live again now. Uh, hopefully, if I've done it right, yeah, man, big up, big up, big up. You know, Merry Christmas. Yeah, 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 no, no, Raindrop, you don't understand what he's saying, Raindrop. He's trying to say that under their interpretation. in the same shit. It's fucking boring, man. Look, Dom, hi, Raindrop, that. listen to what I'm saying, yeah? No, no one's going to listen to what you're saying. I'm being diverse here. Argument. We do he not abrogate our verse argument. or cause it to be he forgotten. Except that we bring that forward because one the better than it or similar to it. Do you not know what Allah is over? The Look at the guys speak of the Quran. The guys speak of the Quran. The dirty. He's not allowed to say that. Fasik, Fasik. Let me speak the verse, man. Let me Yo, ZJ, ZJ, let him finish and then we can just point out his inconsistency. Innovator, fam. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So let me speak now, yeah? Because don't cut me off now, yeah? There's a Quranic verse. A verse... Answer my first question firstly, yeah. Do you like believe a Quranic verse can abrogate another Quranic verse? That's the first question. So just remember what I just said in it. And I know both of you don't believe that. That's why I'm answering this question. So this verse what says, does abrogation mean? Let me finish. Let... He just asked the question. <laughs> no, come on, come on, Zerub. Let, let him speak. Oh, he just asked us a question. That's why. Are you M-Sex, there, M-Sex? M-Sex muted himself. M Sex, hello. Yo, yo, can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Can yeah, hear now you? we can hear you. So how much did you hear? No, we we didn't hear what you said uh, before. Like uh, we couldn't, we didn't hear what you said. Right now, you said you want to ask us about yeah. well, whether we think uh, the did. Quran he can abrogate another thing, and then, and then so. ZJ replied to you, but you were muted. All right, yeah, yeah, that's what I was like, saying. Yeah, because I was, I was reading the verse, innit? Whenever time I go to it on the internet, my thing meets up, so I can't do it now. So, yeah, so I'm asking you the question. Like, you like, do you like believe a verse comes in the Quran, there's a verse like Surah 929 abrogates other verses, or the verses of, you know, there's no compulsion religion. Do you believe that abrogates other verses? There's a concept of abrogation. We call it, uh, what's it called? Nansik uh, Amansuk. So, verse which abrogate and what's it called? Uh, abrogate other verses. That's a concept within the Quranic literature. If you like believe that, I'm saying to you, as as Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah, you've Sunnis, asked the question, man. You asked the question. I'm not. Wait, I never finished. The question. I, I never finished. I never finished. Though you're cutting me off. So that's, don't that's, ask the question. Yeah, go on then. Just make a statement. Go on. Can you put that question in your head and just you forget easily? If you forget easily, let me know. I'm gonna try. No, to, no, no, that's you. That's you. That's you. You forget easily. Nah, it's easily. you. I think you're to no Get to the point. Yeah, ZJ, let him finish and then we can deal with it. All right, Go ahead, all man. Right. So, so that's, that's the first question. Okay. So earlier, what Yila was saying, the Quran itself tells us, yeah, there are hadith, there are hadiths which can abrogate other Quranic verses. We find that from early scholars. Early scholars believe this. They said to us, there are hadith, hadith, hadiths which can abrogate Quranic verses. That's my point here. So, and you like, you like got the flow, my God. Just isn't that logical? Right. Though? Stop, because stop, if you stop, believe. Stop, stop, right, okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is the point I was trying to make earlier. Yeah. The Qur'an abrogate... First of all, we need to establish what abrogation means. So, that's the... That's what abrogation means when you come back, yeah? That's the first thing. What does abrogation entail? Okay? Um, and then, subsequent to that, we can deal with everything else that was said. Um, in, regards, in regards to the logical argument, you can't make logical arguments. You're not allowed to. You have to tell us who, which scholar, at which point, said it. Now, I know he's going to go to him, uh, Shafi'i. But we also know that there were scholars before him, like Imam Abu Hanifa, who didn't agree that hadith could abrogate the Qur'an. Yo, ZJ, ZJ, pause for a sec, though. Um, uh, Raindrop and probably some people listening, they won't understand what, what, why you're saying that, that Amstax has to do this and what he was doing was wrong. You want to explain that for a second? No, I understand, because you say the Salafis have to go based on the Sunnah, like whatever the Sunnah's understanding. But what I'm trying to and tell he you... Can't, look, he can't make argue, the, the argument that he made that, oh, look, the Qur'an... Remember, the first question is, what is abrogation? But let's just go with it anyway, that the Qur'an abrogates the Qur'an. You cannot then make a quote-unquote logical argument as a Salafi and say that hadiths can also abrogate the Qur'an. Yeah, but a little bit. see what I'm saying? I'm, okay, I'm so saying, wait, wait, wait. Look, I'm saying from an outside perspective. So I'm not saying wait, from a Salafi. Yo, people, yo, people hit up the lights if you can. Uh, I don't know why there's so many dislikes, but uh, yeah, anyway, big up. Uh, these two reactionary, big up to Rebel Machiavelli. Big up to Gandalf the White, we got Tamir Chima, we got Man Donovan, we got to Truth as well. Big up. Let me say something. Carry on. Yeah. Look, 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 looking from an outsider, not a Salafi, looking from a neutral uh, perspective, if the Hadith is, is Sahih and it's valid, that means it's a speech of the Prophet. That means it can abrogate the Quran. 
So I'm looking no, at it from a, uh, that logical. No, it's not. It, it, it's not it, from it Alfred, makes no, logical that sense. Make sense. There's too many assumptions. No, log- there. too, no it makes logical two, sense. There's two if it's assumptions. Sahi, there. It's valid. It can Look, abrogate come on, the man, problem. Like... Look, there's two assumptions. Oh, in what you said there. <laughs> yeah. The first assumption okay. is that is that the hadith, if it's Sahih or whatever, is the speech of the Prophet peace be upon him. That's the first assumption. Traditionally, yeah, this is whatever whatever sub- school of thought you subscribe to. Yeah. Narrations or hadith, for the most part, are transmitted by ma'na. If if uh, Al Kaka or M Snacks has any uh, integrity about him, he he'll admit that most hadiths are transmitted by ma'na or transmitted by meaning. That means it's not the verbatim speech of the Prophet peace be upon him. So do you see the first assumption? I've just Alhamdulillah, absolutely. The second thing, though, ZJ just explained the difference between uh, the I'm understanding finished, finished. of revelation. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to was, was, oh, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. I haven't spoken the first five minutes. Big up to Sir Mike. Peace, man. What was the second point? Fuck, you stupid guy. You just said you know. The second point you was. Speak. Are you stupid, fam? I'm speaking now. The second point was explaining that guy, when, when, you, when they have this belief, for example, uh, there was a scholar that argued, Imam Shafi, he argued that the the head, like the, the sunnah of the prophet or what the prophet did, his actions and speech were also revelation on par with the Quran. But the, also the argument further continued that it was also protected like the Quran. Protected. The essence, they argue, is protected. Not one, not the literal hadith. How do we so, talk about? Listen to this define, talk. What? What do you mean? You know that too. What do you, uh, did I, I just say something wrong right now? Let me say something. He's, he's going to just try and divert like, and repeat what he said. Bro, but the reality is, what's wrong with this guy, man? The reality is, you have to deal with this issue. I'm trying to speak, fam. You have to deal with this issue, I let him speak, and now you're speaking again, fam. You have to deal with the issue, though. The issue here is that... You have to deal with the issue. Have you got to say The issue here is that hadiths are transmitted by ma'na, for the most part. They're transmitted by ma'na. Is that true or not true? Or do you want to read it in English? Are they, are they transmitted <laughs> by... Are most hadiths transmitted by no, meaning or not? Okay, let me speak now, yeah? Answer you mentioned a point. You yeah. mentioned a point. You mentioned a point. So we yeah, asked yeah. you some you questions. Please answer them, Sax. I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna start from the beginning because you mentioned, <laughs> you mentioned, you mentioned a few points where you said akal, nakal. You know, throwing words there, trying to make it, <laughs> trying to confuse people. I didn't mention any of that. I just yes, said. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Hadiths. I no, just, shut up. Now, you I didn't say anything. Uh, you said that. it earlier. You think I'm not gonna answer the question? So why are you not? Why are you ignoring the question I just asked you? I'm gonna answer your earlier question. Come to this one. You think I'm just gonna let the early question go? I didn't ask you your question earlier. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You're a liar. You asked me what the definition of abrogation. You asked me about akal and nakal, all sorts of stuff. I did not and ask you about akal and nakal. I did ask you about abrogation. I did not ask you about akal and nakal. Rewind, rewind the type. I made a point about akal and nakal. That's why I say you forget easily. That's why I say you forget easily. That's why you say you forget easily. You need to deal with. That's what why you say abrogation you forget, you forget easily. And are most narrations right. transmitted speaking. by so me? The guy, the guy don't want to let yes me speak. Yes or no? The guy don't want to okay, let me Okay, let me ask that question. No, no, you're right. Uh, is, is the most transition... Points, isn't it? So, yeah. he said uh, there, there's actually about this abrogation, abrogation stuff. There's a consensus between Ahlul Sunnah and Jama'ah. This, this... Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm keep getting calls, man. Yeah, so there's a consensus for Ahlul Sunnah and Jama'ah that this abrogation is there. This ijma is there. And now he's telling, he mentioned earlier that we cannot come with our own rational interpretation. That being right, we as Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah, Salafi, between Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah and Salafi, which is not going to happen. Salafi and Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah is a direct synonym. They're both synonymous to each other. So what I'm trying to say here is that... Uh, here <laughs> lie, reading, lie number let me one. Finish, let me finish. No, no, let, him, let him finish. I'm, um, so here we see here, the concept of abrogation is based on the Salafi. Quran. Please don't consider uh, Ash'ari is as Ahlul Sunnah. Can I finish? Can I finish? The concept of abrogation is based on the Quran. No, no, no. The Sunnah considers Ash'ari are not as Ahlul Sunnah, not Asla. The concept of abrogation <laughs> is based. Can I finish? Yo, come on, Zuri, let him finish. Let him finish. <laughs> Yo, no, I'm sorry. Just so you know, Raindrop, he just talked about the majority. Okay, anyways, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He's calling me off again. Raindrop, do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Why is he not complete the sentence? Then you can to say his point of view Rude, man, when he makes Rude, up lies like that. All right, you okay. can't say that a Salafis and Ahl Sunnah are the same thing. No, but you guys are going on tangents. If exactly. You, let me finish. Let answer the question. Yeah, the sure. Manner, yeah, the you, but, yeah, bro, uh, raindrop, 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 raindrop. Hold on, raindrop, raindrop. Please understand, raindrop. When Can we say certain things, M Stacks will just jump in and start laughing and make dumb comments. No, I don't. No, just the same. So please be. No, one second. I have let you speak over each other for five minutes. I muted my mic. I come in and. The question answer. All right. So I'm talking about the abrogation here. Yeah. The concept of abrogation is based on the Quran and the Sunnah. And the concept is the ijma' of Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah. 
of uh, of this abrogation and then they go on to bring the verse what whatever verse revelation do we abrogate or cause it to be forgotten we bring up one better than it or similar to it that's where the concept of abrogation comes on and there are scholars like Sheikh Abdul Rahman Sa'idi there are scholars like one second let me be, let me because Tafsir Sa'idi says this there's because he's trying to say that we have no name even Atiyah says this uh, Al Muharrar Al Wajiz says this Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Aziz Al Zarqani says this so what I'm trying to show here is yeah he thinks that we're com- coming up with our own interpretation I'm not going back to classical sources okay. this is what how the about classical- the second question the mana are most of the hadith transmitted through the mana like Ziryab said or is it like so my understanding is that true is no 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 that's it that's it is yeah. that true or okay. not Exactly. Most most hadiths are transmi- transmitted. What the meaning itself? What do you most mean by that? Tra- most hadiths are transmitted. Oh, verbatim speech of the Prophet, peace be upon him. No, 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 no. Is that no, true? No, or no. Not? no. The, the most, we almost get the, the, the companions had a, had a, had a concept where, where uh, they would say they would uh, say. Is it true was, or not? They yeah, but Zirib, he's not saying most of the. Had- <laughs> well, let me say no, that's a non secretary. That's a non secretary. No, it's not raindrop. It's, raindrop. it's not bro. It's I'm trying to ask you a question. I'm trying to ask you a question. You're making a bag of assumptions, man. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hassan, let me ask you a question. You want to argue with and, and unpack Salafi's interpretation. I know, I get, I get that. But you're a heretic. You're up against the big heretic today. No, you're a heretic. Once again, let me say something. Let me say something. No, let me say something here. Because uh, what the companions yeah, had a concept. Yeah, homonyms, man. Just deal with the topic. One second, one second. When when the hadith were verbatim. When are you going to finish, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Answer the question. Go, go, go. Yeah, all right. So the companions, when the, when the hadith were verbatim, they will tell you it's verbatim. They will say the Prophet said this. Yeah. But when it's not verbatim, they will let you know in a way where they will say, we think the Prophet said this. Or we say, we, they, they had a way of doing it. I'll get you the direct, because I know I researched this. Consistent with logic. Stop, 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 he's not saying stop, all stop, the hadiths stop, will abrogate stop, the Quran. Just stop. Transit, no, just stop, man. They differentiate. The thing is, they differentiate no, between. You had, you had your chance. We heard you. So basically, yeah, yeah, what I'm trying to say to you is, yeah, go and get the evidence. They differentiate. They differentiate. Yeah, go and get your evidence. Go and get your evidence. Are you trying to tell me there's no hadith which go is verbatim? Go and get your evidence. I'm not saying anything. Again. I'm saying go. And yeah, get Zirio, are you saying that no hadith is verbatim? <laughs> yeah. Stop answer it. the question. Answer the question. Answer that. Yeah. What? Are evidence. you saying Zirio that no hadith is verbatim? The evidence. Answer that question. Answer the question. Go on mute. Go and get the evidence. Answer the question. Answer right. the question. Yeah, but yeah, Ziryab, are you saying that there's not one hadith that is verbatim? Have you clocked from the... since Ziryab came here? He hasn't answered no question. He's always asking questions, no, never answering. Yeah, Answer this question. Are you saying that there's no, you don't recognize any hadith that is verbatim? Ziryab. This is this is a, such a reduction. It, it, like, can you answer the question? It's a simple question. question. Yeah. Answer the question. Yo, you're I'm trying to ask him to talk, and then he starts talking, and then you guys start talking. Uh, Let him answer. No, no. He's he talking. Yes or no? Do you believe that the there's question. no hadith that can be verbatim? Go on, answer the question. Simple yeah. question. Is that Yo, a yes or no? up, did, did, hold on. Did Syria say most already? I think no, he did, no, right? No, 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 no. I did. I know I did. No, no. I I'm said pretty mo- sure he said most like five times. No, no, no. no. So why can't he answer the simple question? Then? Do you believe he, already, he's hadith. already said it. So no, yeah, this is basic hadith. This is basic hadith 101, yeah? That most hadith question? are transmitted by man. They're not so, transmitted verbatim. So the verbatim ones can never abrogate Quranic verses. What are you saying? No, I didn't say that. So okay, then that's what we're saying. So where's the argument here? No, no you're not saying thing. that. We're gonna, I'm gonna unpack what you man. said anyway. I'm this guy is foolish, man. Yeah, yeah serious. Dumb, man. He, this guy is dumb. You just made them no, say you were agreeing with MSAC's point because no, you're no, saying no, you, 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 you missed what he was trying to say. So intellectually dishonest. Okay, wait. Let me let me quickly summarize. Based on over you two don't understand what people are saying. That's the problem with you, man. I understand what MSAC is saying. Like I look what he's saying because you can make an argument on top of it, and no, I can't do this. We can talk about look. I I, before you came on, I was giving the example in the Sikh tradition about the Dasam Grant. I I don't know if you were here, Zaria, when Sid came on about the the the, you know the disagreement within the Sikh uh, religion itself. So we have our main uh, book, which is the Guru Granth Sahib. Then we have something called the Dasam Grant, which is a supplementary text. Now all the Sikhs agree that this is a supplementary text. The division or the difference comes is that some Sikhs say that this was not authentic or not authentically by Guru Gobind Singh, and the other Sikhs say that that the Guru Granth Sahib is the, um, the the highest or this the main main text. But now, based on the logic of when I, when I try to look at it from an outsider perspective into uh, this this debate, right? What in sense? If you say that there is a Sahih Hadith that was the narration of the Prophet, then it can abrogate the parts of the Quran that it, it needs to. 
I'm not saying all the hadiths can abrogate it, but if there are certain hadiths dude, that are dude, dude, whatever, man, whatever, because you know yeah, what? That's all I'm like, saying. I'm not, I'm not trying no, to no, no, no. What is, or no, it's I'm whatever just... because you're trying to you're you're trying to mix them you're you're trying to mix them blend and and make uh, comparisons which aren't there to be made. Now, yeah, I'm not trying to just argue can, for the sake of argument. Stop cutting me. Yeah, you've made your point. I just heard yeah, what okay. you had to say. Okay, so now it's my time to talk. Yeah, go ahead. So, this is where, if you're intellectually sincere and honest, yeah. You're going to have a conversation from here on forward. I don't want to hear about what everyone else has said or what this person said or what that person said. Okay, you talk to me about Sikhi and I'll listen and I'm going to talk to you about Islam and you listen. All right. So we are, I'm not saying that what my, my word is going to go. Obviously, I, I'm yeah, no, more I'm than happy. Questions. Stop I'm... cutting me. I'm, gonna, I'm more oh, than yeah. happy to have pushback, but I need to make the case. Okay. So with regards to what I was saying earlier in terms of uh, narrations, what you have in, in Hadith sciences or hadith, pre-modern science, as I should say, is hadith, riwayah uh, by ma'na, which is in the Latin ad sensum, yeah, which is by meaning, essentially. And you have the other narrations, which are ad literum, as the name suggests, literally, or belafd, okay? So this is, the, this is a basic distinction, a basic kind of separation between the two. M. Snacks is not going to admit to this because he's making arguments that are uh pick and mix is a pick and mix salafi so with regards to abrogation first of all yeah we need to establish what it means what does what, what does uh abrogation mean this is the thing okay it superseded right that's what, uh, something that can supersede the previous but what does okay yeah I, I liter uh, literally yeah okay cool so abrogation entails um this the so the thing is, let me put it like this. So there's a, there's a, a developed by legal theorists in the, in the Islamic tradition. And that theory of abrogation has been used and abused. And that's what M. Snacks is talking about. He's talking about the used and abused version. Okay. Now, their view, and I'll put forward their view. I'll make a better case for it than M. Snacks can. Their view was that one verse can abrogate another verse. And the verse which has been abrogated can no longer be uh, uh, acted upon. Yeah, that it must is, be disregarded entirely. That, yeah. And an example of that would be uh, the early verses on alcohol consumption. Or the early verses which seem to have a positive view of alcohol. Okay? Seeing that there's some good in it, for example. The later vers uh, verses which talk about do not come uh, near prayer whilst you are drunk has been viewed as abrogating those verses earlier where it says there's some good in it. So do, do you, you get agree it? with that or so disagree wait, with so that? Wait, so wait, wait. Oh, uh, so that is a... Look, this is the traditional understanding of abrogation. It's when one verse abrogates another verse. And an example, I gave you a clear example. Yeah, superseding. I gave you a clear example with the, with the alcohol verses, exactly. So... So there's numerous But doesn't that conditions. mean that m is right then, based on what no, you just said? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't mean he's right. I mean, do you have some type of selective hearing? This guy said that hadith can abrogate the Qur'an. That's no, the abuse like verse. Listen, not no, the wait, Quran. wait, wait. I've said this point about three or four times, and you're purposefully being, being obtuse about it. I don't understand why. That's Honestly, really, I'm not, really I'm not, bro. grinds my gear. Traditional understanding of abrogation is it's when one verse abrogates another, and I gave you an example, and you're saying, "Oh, isn't that what M. Snacks is saying?" No, that's not what M. Snacks is wrong because he's saying a hadith can abrogate the Quran, and no, that's okay, the I don't abuse. think he means that's, that like he's going to cancel that's out that's the whole the ab Quran. That is the abuse version. Ooh. Don't tell uh, me no what raindrop. Yeah. Yeah. You you uh, CJ, can I jump in here for a sec? I'll, yeah, I'll explain a little bit better here. So the the main yeah raindrop. The biggest difference is that. By, by M. Stacks making the jump to say that this also stands for hadiths the same way. That's the problem. That's the jump. That's all he's saying. Do you understand? So, so let me ask Hassan this. So when Zuya was giving the example of the alcohol, wasn't that like a hadith that was then... No, that's in the Quran. Quran oh, and Quran. Okay. So, okay, so you're using Quran and Quran. Okay, I understand. But yeah. what I'm trying to say, look, what M. Stacks said kind of made sense to me because if you accept that if there's a single hadith, let's say there's one hadith, and everyone agrees that this is verbatim from the Prophet, right? The Quran also was verbatim from the Prophet. So if I follow that train of logic, right, then I would have to say that, okay, the abrogation is valid from the Hadith. 
is that the tree? it's not um, that the idea is that in hadiths, the idea is that the idea of the hadith is, is accepted. It's not necessarily that it is verbatim. And he even said for most that it's not even accepted that it's verbatim. So what you're positing, uh, and also, also, there is a difference between the Quran and let's say something that you may say is, is verbatim in hadith. The hadith verbatim is from the Prophet, peace be upon him. The Quran is from Allah. But we also believe that there are separate types of hadiths that are literally verbatim from Allah as well. Did you know that, uh, Raindrop? Oh, no. Wait, yeah, wait, there's what? these things called hadith that, that, no, that's just, no, that's just going to confuse But that's something issue. else. Yeah. Is that most of the narration. Uh, big up yeah, to James SC. Uh, you have been dubbed uh, and uh, redeemed. Yeah, they're even called riwaya bil ma'na. And in the pre modern science of hadith, you have a deep, a long discussion about the allowance. They even questioned and kind of had conversations about the early, early people of whether narrations by meaning can be transmitted. I'd say it's quite uncanny, to be fair. But uh, I hope you like it, James. Big up. Traditions are, are in the minority. 10, 20 percent. I don't know. I don't want to put a figure on it. But when I say most, yeah, whatever. it's it's definitely when I say most narrations are by meaning, ergo not literally, ergo that the odd. Yo, big up to COE. Respect. It goes out of the window. Uh, in fact, funnily enough, I was just thinking about James S C. Because uh, um, Uncle Omar requested a debate with. Uh, with James, and I guess that's probably gonna have to happen on the panel now because he can't go to the park. But uh, yeah, he had some words to say about you, Leon. Uh, I don't know, maybe you wanna get involved in, in, in that debate if I can line it up, but big up yourself, man. Uh, big up to RS Sid as well. Uh, big up to Gandalf the White. Uh, yeah, man, big up the people. So we, let me let me ask this question. The only reason I'm, I'm saying- Exactly, speaking, that's a very well, important point, Hassan. Yeah, but the, the, the point I, I found valid from MSAC was when he said that, let's say we find one uh, hadith, okay, that everyone agrees was verbatim, all right? Let's just theoretically. And everyone agrees it's sahih, that means it's valid. Now, can't that legally abrogate, let's say, a, a verse in the Quran that and that this hadith will supersede that one? Because it's no. something that's okay, sahih. I remember what I just explained. Wait, I'm going to address that point now. He's not, it's okay, I'm going to address it. So now this is where the, the, the question of abrogation or the, what the definition of abrogation uh, entails, it becomes critically important. Because in that theoretical scenario you gave, yeah, let's say for argument's sake, there's one narration which, is, which is passes all the checks verbatim from the Prophet peace be upon him. Wouldn't that narration uh, be able to abrogate a Quranic verse? And I would, I would argue it depends because... It's only okay. when you understand what abrogation means, yeah? Like, for example, let me put it like this. The yeah, same alcohol like example. You give the alcohol example. So let's say something similar. Let me give you this. Let me give you this. Let me, give, let me put it like this, yeah? Because he mentioned, M. Snacks mentioned another verse, yeah? So let me put it like this. The ver and, and this is mute, actually, please. it's quite, yeah, it's important, actually. This point here. Some people, crit crit critics of Islam, borrowing from Islamic scholars will say, look, the peaceful verses and verses on peace are abrogated by later violent verses. And Memsnacks mentioned one of them, 925, for example, yeah, the so-called sword verse, um, and basically make it out like, or a prophetic narration that you have to do X, Y, or Z, and ergo, all the peaceful verses are done. And you even mentioned this. With this understanding is that they, mis they misunderstand what abrogation entails. In the, early, 100%. in the early Islamic uh, um, kind of tradition, the, the abrogation, abrogation um, as far as, for example, uh, at Dabari, who's a famous scholar, um, um, as, as Dabari said, uh, Jalal al din al-Tabari specified that only commands can be abrogated. So that means that ethics... So... Tabari, an early Islamic scholar, said only commands can be abrogated. Okay? So that would entail that ethics, yeah, um, ethics such as peace and peacemaking cannot be abrogated. And more, more interestingly, perhaps, I don't know, did you catch that point, Ranger? Yeah, but aren't, can't you say the war verses are also commands, since it's given by God? 
But, but the value verse, no, wait, wait, but wait, the value man. verse about let's said. say compulsion and religion, that's wait. a value verse. Do you understand him, uh, Raindrop? He's not. You he can't abrogate that. You not. can't. Listen, no, no, Raindrop. What... Raindrop. Listen, ethics cannot be abrogated. So verses on peace and peacemaking cannot be abrogated because only commands can be abrogated. You telling me that oh, the later verses are commands, the war verses are commands, doesn't address this. That's just telling me the war verses are commands. And I will tell you that those war verses were specific to, um, for example, in 925. <laughs> specific war, that to one. War. Yeah, yeah, exactly. To those who broke their treaty, for example. And, it's, and it, that can be adduced from the context. So, as I said earlier, negation yeah, is only to pertain to commands, meaning that ethics cannot be abrogated. And Shah Wali Allah of Delhi said that the... Uh, sat, said that the occurrence, number of abrogated verses in the Qur'an was five. Was five. And he gives them. And none of them are the ones that have been mentioned. So he doesn't mention... You say Delhi like in right? India? Like the city of Delhi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shah Wali Allah of Delhi, yeah. Oh, he's Indian. He was an exegete as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's oh, recent. Okay. He's from the 20th century. But obviously, Tabari is a classical scholar. And he said that only commands can be abrogated. It would follow then, ethics cannot be abrogated. So it doesn't matter who said what. Yeah, if it's going against an ethic of Islam, it can't be abrogated. This is what I said today. That's why I said at the beginning that this theory of abrogation has been used and abused. You know, I, I don't disagree with that. I'm just <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is uh, my basic understanding. So understand, I'm not a scholar of Islam. Uh, I'm not, you know, fully knowledgeable about who Tabari and all these other people are. What I'm trying to think of is, and I, and I spoke to Salafi, and the way they explained it to me kind of made sense. What they said is, is that first of all, do you agree that the Quran was, was, you know, God's revelation. So if a Muslim says yes, okay. Then there's a Hadith and it's Sahih, then that is also, and if it's a revelation, that means it's not a manat, it's a revelation. Then you have to see that that also can supersede any verse that is in conflict with that verse. So when you give the example yeah, of Yeah, Raindrop, you're saying that as long as your premise remains true, then, yeah, the, then your argument might make though. sense. And yeah, but your yeah, premise is what the problem is. We challenged all those assumptions. And, and like, you know the verse that MSX is telling you? I, I'm going to read an English interpretation of the verse, but it says, uh, none of our revelations do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. Knowest thou not that Allah hath power all, over all of things. This is like what the main verse of abrogation. So, so how are you The verse itself, with... hold on, yeah, the verse itself said... literally yeah, says, but... hold on. Not, aren't you we then get rid of it or change it. Oh. Yeah, but then no, you're basically no. agreeing with no. MSAC. So he's saying no, that, that no, back no, and abrogate the Quran, parts of the Quran. Stop, stop that. What? I don't, no, but did you hear problem? what I just, I just read it to you word for word, though. It doesn't, it doesn't even... Ignoring the fact that we've unpacked and debunked every one of those assumptions that the Salafi Dawah guy who spoke to him or whatever basically said, which is that it's these, every one of those premises, which is at A, that what the... B, and it goes against, it, it kind of would abrogate or go against the Qur'an. Those two points are contested and they've been debunked. So uh -oh. if you're, wait one second, if mm -hmm. you're telling me that, like, this is the point, and you need, we can't just repeat what someone else has said to you like numerous times and think that it somehow is going to fly. The idea that the Prophet Sallallahu words were revelation is arguable and it's contested and it's just not true. Especially for the 80% for the or for the majority of hadiths which are transmitted by meaning because they're not even his words. Yeah, but the 20% are valid then, right? They've been attributed right? to him. It, look, I know it's it, inconvenient, this, but you yeah, need but no, to no, think but, about but, it. Yeah, look, look, deal with it I, and deal, I can agree from your side, but the thing is that that opens like a Pandora's box up. If you say that these are just meanings or, or if you say that, the, forget about the 80%. Yeah. If you then say that the authenticity, then you can say the same thing about Uthman. I mean, he burnt a lot of other copies. Then who knows what the heck he could have, you know, burned. He could have burned things that were valid, and or he could have avoided things that were uh, that were um, valid. Like he could have picked and choose. So like I, you know, it's just like if you go by that no, this, logic, wait, that, then you that open up a can of worms. Stop it with the logic. It's that slippery. It's not logic. This is this is the difference between traditional Islam and uh, some pick and mix attitude. The difference, we'll deal with that point that you just raised. The difference, and it's not a slippery slope situation. Wait, wait, can I just answer that one sec? Ziryab, I can answer that really quick, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, don't you think that it's more of a slippery slope to say that every single um, 
ha, ha, that every single hadith that would be let's say graded sahih can abrogate words from Allah. Well, Don't you think that's more the, of a slippery slope? But it's but Hassan, it's, the difference it, it's is not the because is, so this is the that way, works. Yeah, that works for them because that means that they can pick it is sahih, right? And paint the prophet however they want to paint him. Yeah. That's the that's the reason. That, so there's an there's a vested interest here in presenting it and going with the Salafi interpretation. This is why I call you guys pseudo Salafis. And we got another one on the panel. Big up James. No, no, no. You you guys are philo. Big up that. You no Big wait wait wait. Listen, this is a new one. This you guys are philo Salafis. <laughs> what does philo love... mean? <laughs> I'm a Salafi. <laughs> you love Salafis. You... I think that should be Salafi Files. Philo Salafi Files. <laughs> Sheikh James. I'm a student of Sheikh James. Big up, James. I see. <laughs> no, look, I'm not. Look, I, you guys know my agenda is not here because, look, even the seats, we have our own issue. Dasam Grant, which is supplementary text. But it doesn't really get so far because everyone agrees that Guru Granth Sahib is the ultimate. There's not really anything in the Dasam Grant that abrogates the uh, Guru Granth Sahib. So we don't have that problem. But I can, I'm trying to, I, I can understand the quagmire that you guys are in because it, th that's why I'm like, okay, what MSTAC says to me, okay, this is my opinion. It makes a little bit more sense because he's like, um, because you don't go down the rabbit hole. If I go based on Zirya, you can go down the rabbit hole then. And it, Yo, it, hold it, on, raindrop, Zirya, wait, 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 raindrop, raindrop, raindrop. If, says, the, earliest see, if, let, let if the earliest that, generations of Islam uh, agreed with what you said, they would have compiled the Hadith collection with the Quran as one giant book. But let me yeah, I agree, that. Look, no, no, I agree no, no, with no, you. Wait. I'm disagreeing with Zirio. On the Uthman thing, wait, wait. Come on, man. I don't know uh, what you're oh, going on. Yeah. But yeah, on the Uthman question, yeah. The difference is that the Quran was not at the behest of one, two, three, four people. Do you get me? Any one hadith is at worst a had, singular transmitted hadith narrated by one person. And at best, 10 to 20 people. The Qur'an wasn't at the behest of 10, 20 people or one person. The Qur'an was mass transmitted, yeah, as opposed to the... So it's not the same. I know Salafis are telling you that it's the same. But the transmission of the Qur'an and Hadith are not the same. So uh, what I said does fly and there is no slippery slope because the Uthmanic manuscript was not at the behest of one or two people. The Qur'an was, uh, was preserved by numerous different people. By hundreds so how many, of thousands of people. Do you have a number? People. Like, is it a hundred or we're tons about, of people, bro? We're There's tons about thousands of, of people at the least. Yeah, look. So the thing, what I'm trying to say is, okay. First, I'll use so, the so your argument example. falls flat on its face. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't fall apart. It does. It does. Zirya, look, when we have conversations, right? You have to kind of have an area where you can suspend your thing through a neutral lens. Okay, so when I talk about Sikhism, okay, we have like the similar. So when the Guru Granth Sahib was being compiled. So by Mani Singh was the one and Guru Nanak Dev Ji, they wrote it themselves. Then by Mani Singh would compile it. Okay. So what happened is that during the 17th, 18th century, there were different versions that started coming up of the Guru Granth Sahib. So we were like, what the hell? So this is a similar situation where Uthman, he started burning the different versions. What the Sikhs did, we didn't burn those different versions. They preserved those different versions and showed how... Uh, big up to R.S. Sid. Uh, gracias, hermano. Gracias. Showed how, and we gave that, you know, the scientific and logical understanding of how that is not a valid Guru Granth Sahib. What comes in the Uthman thing is that if you look, if he's burning different other Qurans or other things, and, you know, this, it, it just becomes like, what the hell? He could have burned things that should have been in the Quran, but he burned it out of his own political interest. So do you get what I'm saying? That if you look, it, now this understanding, if a person like Syria, okay, if you go deep into it, you can. But the average Joe Blow Muslim is not going to go deep into it. So with the Salafis, they try to make it simple and say, you know what, the Hadith, yeah, no, the Jasahi. Yeah, I was saying earlier, that it's easier yeah, so the, to I'm not with simple arguments. But the point yeah, about, with the simple okay, argument, a lot of people will just take the second, simple argument and will not question. The, con the contention of, of, of Uthman uh, hiding parts that were unfavorable to him, yeah, not even the Shias say that. Not even the first, like we're talking about proto Shiism before there was even a Shi'i group. Not even they say that Uthman did this. So you're making an argument for people who don't even say it themselves. No, no, I'm, so I'm making whole, my argument. One, from second, the one, outside. Second, one second, yeah. one second. So this argument about Uthman hiding parts of the Quran for political purposes no, burning. is garbage. He burned the other... No, is hiding it. Yeah, burning he burned, it by he, no, hiding he burned, it. By burning he burned, it. What? Are you going to pick a bone at the word bur hiding yeah, it? Yeah, burning. 
It's yeah, I can reply thing. to the ZJ. Can I reply to this? One second, one second, one second. Sure. The, point is, the point is here that the early people didn't make this argument. No one from the early generation say, Uthman destroyed a copy of the Quran or part of the Quran, which, uh, which was... Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so you're making kill. an argument for people. No, what? no, but you, you're talking about the Uthman period. Uh, he, the guy was killing everyone who disagreed with yeah, him. That's a completely separate is, conversation, what? Ranger, and we can talk about that. Yeah, no, we but... Yo, what I'm saying is that you can't look, jump from one point to another point to another point every no, time I deal with it. No, so I'm we not, can I'm talk not, about that and we I'm can not, discuss it, but yeah, no, I'm not, you I'm, can't I'm, make an argument for people who didn't make that argument at that time. Yeah, Raindrop, can I just say, so when, first, if, for example, when you hear like something like, oh, he burned them, generally sometimes people will say, oh, uh, when they hear this on its face, they'll say they'll have negative connotations with it. But it's not necessarily that. It's, I mean, there are to ensure that there's only one uh, compilation uh, that's uniformly used. But it doesn't necessarily mean that like some verses were just discarded in some like devious plot. It just one, the other copy. Yeah, to make sure that there was only one that was actually used and propagated, one one like order. That really was just really the the, the from what I my readings were that the, the contention was just the order of the surahs. So, so the orders were just different. Yeah, no, like, uh, that's, I don't really want to say these things because they just bring up uncomfortable thoughts. And uh, I mean, for people, some like the average Joe Blow, it's not going to make sense. What, what, what the point that I'm trying to make is that if we go based down um, Syria and your understanding, right, you just, you guys will ultimately, if you study it, you'll open up a Pandora's box. And with the Salafis, what they try to do is instead of opening the Pandora's box, they keep it closed. And they, they, Can I ask how you saying, say Pandora's box? Where did you get that? He's from? just repeating the same thing. He's not yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that really. earlier, but maybe I missed that. What did you say that about? How was it Pandora's, Pandora's box? Yeah, what I want to say is this: if, if with Uthman, it says that he burned the copies that he's found that were invalid. Then I give you the example with the Sikhs. We didn't burn the copies that we thought were invalid. We kept those copies, preserved them. Yeah, you, hold on. You said that were invalid. invalid. I've never heard any proofs to say that ever before, bro. I mean, and he didn't. He and remember, I've copies. looked into the specific thing because I use this kind of in arguments with these guys too, and no, I don't remember didn't. ever reading that, bro. Wait, Upman didn't burn other copies. No, he did, but not, not you. You added a sentence which he deemed invalid, as as again with a negative connotation. Wait, why would he? I've never heard he burn that, the other copies if they're not no, invalid. To ensure, bro, I, I told you that the, from my understanding, the verses, the surahs were all the same. It's just. There may have been differences in what order certain surahs were, and it's just, just ensure uniformity. Wait one sec. I'm I'm paying attention to the chat, uh, dude. But I'm talking about uh, do uh, but Marsh Bhagat uh, Natinda, dude. Guru Nanak Deji didn't compile the whole. He completed uh, the Adi Granth with the Poti. Okay, then Bhai Bani Singh he collected the different um, uh, verses and the different scriptures and he compiled them in total. Yeah, scribe. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So we. Um. What were we talking about? Look, what I'm trying to say is like with Uthman, I mean, with the <laughs> one Hadith. Second, one second. I just checked out the chat. So what? He was a scribe, and you said Guru Nana compiled the GGS. What's that about? Yeah. So the Guru Granth Sahib, right? It's a compendium it scripture. Guru it goes Nana from the first Guru to compiled the, the GGS. Wrong. No, he did not compile the whole. So we. What happened was that each Guru came in and started writing the scripture, the revelation. And what happened was that the first one was Adi Granth. Okay, so we didn't have the full Guru Granth Sahib. It was Adi Granth. And they call it the Poti. Okay, after the Poti was made, and as each Guru came, started adding more and more scripture into it. But Bhai Mani Singh, so we have two. We have Baba Deep Singh and Bhai Mani Singh, where they prepared and got the whole copies of the Guru Granth Sahib for distribution. I don't know what... Um, or Luchin is saying he's saying he's saying that you were wrong when you said Guru Nanak Devji compiled the Guru Granth Sahib. Because, no, yeah, that was a slip of the tongue. Because, Obviously, he couldn't. He didn't because, compile the whole Guru Granth Sahib because the whole Guru Granth Sahib <laughs> continued until the tenth Guru. But he 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 began the thing, and it was first called the Adi Granth. Apparently, apparently, the Guru Nanak didn't compile the Adi Granth either. Oh God. It's called the Adi Granth, the Guru Nanak Dev Ji. He wrote those, what you call the Pothis. But Hassan, what's the, what, what is M. Saks arguing? It's Quran first, then Hadith. Mm.
Yeah, yeah, I love to. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Raindrop, Raindrop's okay. having a bit of pushback now, isn't it, from the people? Okay, in the chat, Raindrop. The chat. Yeah, what's the I'm not pushing back on your thing. I don't like you. You have a Raindrop, vision of me that I'm trying to challenge your religion. I'm not. <laughs> That's bro, not. Why are you asking? What's the Sikh view of Moavia? Ali Khan. Come on, bro. Trust me. Trust me, Ali Khan. Just chill out a second. Chill out a second. He's. What, is, what we're seeing here is the multiplicity of opinions within Siki. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, so, dude, so didn't, the, didn't you so see when Sid came on? So on the topic wait, wait, wait. of the Adi here, why is... Yeah, wait, that do much? you know... Wait, ask, why, wait, 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 one wait, second, wait, one wait, second, wait, Ranger, one second. Why is Badmarsh Bagat Batinda saying that Guru Nanak did not compile the Adi Granth either? What's that about? The same included into the Adi Granth. Like, when we said compiled, we didn't say just like he's putting everything into it. So his Guru Angad Dev Ji began collecting the predecessor's writing, who was Guru Nanak Dev Ji. That was compiled into... Switch Wait, run that by me again. Say that again. I didn't, I didn't catch that. Slowly, innit? Because I don't know too much about Sikhi. So go on. Yeah, so the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, okay, it's a total scripture, which we call it the Pura. It has around uh, 1430 Angs pages, 6,000 Shabbats. Okay. What Guru Nanak Dev Ji did when he started his teachings, okay, he, he's, his teachings was first put into a scripture called the Adi Granth. Okay, the Adi Granth. So what is it? I'm trying to read what Badmash is saying at the same time. Hassan, do you know why I was asking that question? Because when when Nuzhid Fat Ali Khan he, he used to do the um, Ali Ali um, um, Kuali, the, a, a load of Sikh people used to go to his concerts, you know. Mm. He was very popular with the Sikh community, um, Nuzhid Fat mm -hmm. Ali Khan. Yeah, so a singer that's popular in the Sikh community would somehow make Sikhs have an opinion on Moavia. <laughs> no, no. But um, Guru Nanak, he loved, um, they're, they're very pro al you know, Sikhs. There's some Sikhs who are very pro al I'm not lying, you know. You yeah, I understand, bro. But <laughs> we, we discussed this before. Remember social timing, bro? <laughs> Fucking hell. You'll get there eventually, Adi, man. Don't worry. <laughs> One day. Big up to Farah Sid, that, by the way, for the donation and Ultra Funky. Yo, Arasid dropped uh, 50 pounds almost, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Ultra, no, I had, I had Ultra Funky dropped two, I, I think. Yeah. I said, um, I said, gracias. Big up to Ultra Funky. Okay, so wait, I understand what, what um, Terluchin's uh, criticism is. So when I say compile, I don't mean that he's wrote the, uh, he, he wrote the whole Guru Granth Sahib. So what happened is his teachings, his hymns, were compiled during the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then these teachings, his hymns, were sent to different communities. His successor, Guru Angad Dev Ji, collected Guru Nanak Dev Ji's writings. The third and fourth gurus also did the same thing as well. The fifth guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, he began compiling it all together to prevent other scriptures, you know, because at that time there were other copies coming around. So the fifth guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, compiled the sacred scripture for us. Then what happened is that those other spurious scriptures they did not burn them, they preserved them. To prove that okay, why this is spurious or why this is wrong. So looking at that point of view, like okay, if I look at if I try to use my my Sikh hat, okay, and I try to apply it to the history of Islam, I to me when Uthman, one second, why would you do that, Ranger? I haven't had enough of uh, the Sikhi perspective. Our, this is very complicated. You're saying these things, and I don't. I'm, I'm not really following what you're saying. Do you see? Do, do you see my problem? Because I'm an amateur when it comes to Sikhi. So when you say that, oh, I didn't really mean compile, and you need to break it down a little bit. So when you're mentioning these figures even, I would really appreciate if you told me uh, the approximate date, um, uh, date that they lived in was about what century and the process in which it was. Do you see what I'm saying? Because you know that it's like Sikhi is not really talked about. It's not really discussed. There's not really much info out there like that's accessible. So just just slow it down a bit. You, you know, Islam is okay, always I know. It gets you know. But yeah, there's someone in the comments there section who says, Ali Khan, those seats are the code to Sufism because Sufism seems to refer to Revere Ahobayt. What's this about Sikhism and Sufism? No, so Sikh, the, our, the, Sikh, the Sikh religion doesn't revere, like, I don't even know what the Al Albayt, uh, Al Albayt, these are the um, companions, the family, right, of the Prophet? Yeah, yeah, the, the family. family yeah. yeah, so if you don't, so if you don't, if you don't revere, like, in a, in a religious sense, we do see the, uh, you know, with the, the prophet's children being persecuted and killed as something evil and wrong. And that if the Sikhs existed during that time, they would intervene, intervene to prevent that from happening. So it's like, to respect. Now, does that mean that the 
um, sanctity and other things. No, we don't. We don't religiously. We don't have anything like that. I mean, we okay. the, the Sikhs they laid down their life to save the, um, so the Hindus. So, what's the, what's this about Guru Arjan Devji compiling the yeah, Adhikar? Yes, yeah, so looking all the writings. Okay, so Guru Nanak Devji, when he was alive and he was giving his uh, preaching, his hymns were compiled and sent to different uh, places for different communities. Then the second guru, Guru Angad Dev Ji, collected those writings of his predecessor. The third and fourth did the same. By the time the fifth guru came in, there was like some copies and other like, you know, forgeries and other things that were being spread around. So he took the whole, you know, uh, legitimate or what you call Sahi, okay, and compiled it, what we call the, Adi, the um, Adigrat. So hold on, this is interesting. So you're telling me that uh, after written by one, it's written by all ten. So wait, yeah, okay, that's that's fine. But what's your evidence about you know forgeries entering into the literature? What's what's that about? What was yeah, who was so writing up? Pass it off as originals, uh, yeah, so or passing it off as, as the writings of the gurus, no, 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 for example. Fifth guru, so what happened is that during his time, the, this is the time of the fifth guru. He discovered that pretenders to the guruship, okay, were releasing what he considered as forgeries, things of the previous guru, and including their own writings with them. So to provide, so what happened was that we had some of the, the um, uh, what do you call it? Like I remember doing. Wait, wait, the, you're telling. Wait. When you when you speak and it's a bit dense, there's a there's a lot of information there, so I have to kind of pick out the interesting strands here. Yeah. So when you say that there was pretenders. <laughs> The fifth guru you... during that time, there were other uh, people uh, going around saying they started mixing. Saying that oh, they're the um, they're the the second, or they're going to be the sixth descendant, the seventh descendant. So what he did was that he compiled the scriptures that were valid to prevent the spurious scriptures from gaining legitimacy. So, for example, like um, in Islam, you have the satanic verses, or you have like let's say some stop Muslim it with the stop, just about, bro. Uh, you need to really stop it with that man. You know, no, like, it's a, just, it's just, just like, 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 Rajah, the, are, you, are you capable? Is it you know what? Because the the the, the, comment section, the comment section is is absolutely frying you up. Badmarsh Bagat Singh uh, ba Batinda wrong. saying that you're wrong. All ten gurus. All, wait, they're saying is saying that all ten gurus did not write scripture. He's not right. They, oh my god. <laughs> no, no, he's not saying you're right. He's saying you're wrong. He's saying all ten gurus. No, did no, not I'm not write saying. Scripture. I'm not saying like when, when I say compile and write, you guys are taking it in a different angle. I'm saying that each guru contributed. Wait, how am I supposed to understand compile or write, other than they wrote it with their hand? No, so for no, some compile things, and write are different too, Zero. That's things. no, that's true, obviously. But yeah. he because initially he said write and then he said compile. None of he's saying that none of the ten gurus wrote any scripture, wrote scripture at all. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> what does he mean? He, if they're looking at saying that none of the gurus wrote the Guru Granth Sahib, then who wrote the Guru Granth Sahib? Like, ask him, he's, he's basically saying that all the ten gurus didn't write it. So who wrote it? Why did Sikhs? Why why was not for the why was not 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 no, but you didn't become popular with the Sikh community? Gurus wrote. One of them did, uh, Zirio. I think he's saying that all he's, ten didn't. That's what all all ten did not write. So who wrote it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I, if I'm understanding his message properly, it could be like four or five of them did. But not all ten. That's what he's saying. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. Hassan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I misrepresented what he said. That's my bad. So he's saying, it, um, yeah. So I can read. I can see that. I can see that, Hassan. So he's maybe he's saying that it's not all ten that wrote scripture. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So sure. I never looked into the Guru six scriptures. Uh, Kabir. They included things from Kabir. They included uh, scriptures from Namdev. Um, they have stories of the Purans, like the. What happened in the Hindu scriptures like thousands and thousands of years ago? Um, so obviously they, they they wrote it like they contributed that they included that into the Guru Granth Sahib. Now did they write the story of the Mahabharata that they had about Narada and all these things? Obviously not. That exist the story existed thousands of years before. Are you saying not that? All, let me ask you this. Let, yeah, let me ask it's you this. Come on and, and speak a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he will some, if he wants to. 
I mean, yeah. so, but Nash, do you accept that the Dustin Grunt is valid? Because he he is the one of the guys who rejects the Dustin Grunt. Who? And the problem Bag- is that this, what's the yeah, what's Dustin, that for us that don't know what what is that? Yeah, the Dustin Grunt is attributed to the Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the tenth okay. Guru. So, are you one of those? Let me uh, let me ask you this right question. I right? follow the mainstream school. The mainstream. <laughs> okay, I know, I know. I'm not asking you what you identify with. I'm just asking you, with um with regards to Sikhism as a whole, yeah. You were saying that there's different perspectives, different points of view, yeah? So would you say it's a fair categorization to, to say that there's some who are quote-unquote purist and they don't really pay attention to Hindu scriptures or Hindu epics or whatever? And then there's, yeah, other, that, that, that I it, and then there's <laughs> other people who do place an emphasis on Hindu scriptures and Hindu epics. Well, yeah, because it's there. You have to place emphasis on it because it's there. You can't ignore it. Now, would I be fair to say that you're one of those people who do place emphasis on Hindu scriptures and Hindu epics? No, but I, I pay emphasis on everything. <laughs> because... I'm not going to reject anything just because it doesn't fit someone's political ideology. Yo, uh, have... James asked a question in the back, but I mean, we'll just keep talking about the Sikh stuff, but we should address it too at some point. Have you read Dustin Grunt? Yes, but Maj, I read parts of it. I read the Bachi Ternatak, I read the uh, Rudra Avatar, the Vishnu Avatar. Um, Yes, and then the, I, I can address the points that you think are scandalous and stuff about... Yeah, uh, yeah. By the way, the, what's, what's yeah. your evidence for your claims? See, given that they're being contested by other Sikhs here, what, what are your no, evidence? No, it's not contested. For... So, the, so the Dasam Grant, it's a, it's a fringe movement that came up in the 1930s, 1940s. Okay? I'm not even talking about the Dasam Grant, not, uh, to be honest. Uh, you might want to have yeah, a conversation with, this, point of with a Sikh here on that. But uh, I just... No, no, no. I just wanted to know about the different, oh, not even the, yeah, definitely not the Dasam Grant. I don't, that's a bit deep, isn't it? Um, it's like it requires specialized knowledge. But what I'm asking you is, what's your evidence for the compilation uh, and the narrative you was given in regards to the compilation? Uh, the gurus themselves. So this, is, uh, this is one advantage of Sikh religion. It's, it's a, more of a new religion compared to the others. So these things were compiled by the gurus writing themselves. So they would send, so they had their, their associates, they had two associates, Baba Deep Singh, so my picture is actually Baba Deep Singh, and Bai Lana, Bai Mani Singh and Bai Lana. Okay, so Bai Mani Singh and Baba Deep Singh were important in preparing the copies of the Guru Gansab and distributing that, them after Guru Gobind Singh's death. So we take them as authoritative transmitters. So imagine like after the Prophet's death, Ali and Hussein started distributing copies of the Quran. So obviously you're going to take those two as someone that are valid. You are there any other seat questions? Yo, James, yeah. James, have you ever have you ever like sat down I've, and tried I've, to find up some Sikhophobe questions, bro? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't even started. I'm just getting warmed up. See, the thing is, in Sikhism, there's nothing. So here's the thing: I only criticize aspects of Islam that affect the kafar. Oh lord! I would, so, bro, if you find you, anything, I, know, I get it. You got scripts and all that, but just wait one second, dude. Yeah. With yeah. Baba Deep Singh, yeah, was he around? Uh, he I was there when how? Robin. The last guru. Robert Singh, but yeah, he is the last guru. So then how does, okay, hold on a sec. This, see, look, I'm trying to get my head around this here. Yeah. How, does, how does that validate um, Guru Nanak, for example? Because that's the most famous guru that we all probably heard of, even if we don't know anything about Sikhism. Yeah. So what, what's the validation for Guru Nanak and for his uh, contribution to the Sikh scriptures? Because so it's all so well and good. So what yeah. you're saying that this guy was like a follower of the last guru, I'm like, okay, cool. That's, I mean, that's probably historical and whatnot. All right. But then what about the first guru? Like what, what is, and, and the subsequent gurus up until the last one, what's the validation for the transmitting of, of the scriptures and or the contribution to the scriptures, or however about, you want to put it? Who becomes the next guru? I'm not asking or? about how guru is inherited. That's, that's a, no, no, I'm not asking that. What I'm asking is what you've just put forward yeah is baba deep singh yeah baba deep singh was the companion you're saying Mani, of the last baba deep and by mani singh he was the last he was a companion of the last guru right well by mani so singh go... was alive during the other gurus too so the three was? So, yeah there was like the last who was, who was? the by last mani guru singh. was a contemporary of the earlier gurus is that what you're saying by mani singh was oh wait the rs said is said uh I don't know if this makes sense to you. Dasam Grant has nothing to do with Sikhism other than Taksadis and Nihang. 
Not Nihanga, that's like the warrior class, isn't it? Yeah. The warrior cast. Wait, so what's going on? the point i think what i'm saying is or or maybe what you're bringing up is opening up a pandora's box to borrow an expression oh, no it's not i, I actually went to pandora's <laughs> one second. Box. no one second one second but i love the, the, pandora's the last guru let, let me just get this straight you're telling me that the last guru i'm just gonna say i'm a, back i'm back big up, right? big up, big up. was a contemporary of earlier gurus is that what you're telling me yeah so Bai mani singh was very old by the time the last guru uh passed away he was serving the other previous uh, five gurus. So he served Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Guru Teg Bahadur, Guru Har Krishan, Guru Har Rai. The four gurus he was worshipped. I mean, he was serving. I think the problem is people don't understand the time scale. I think they're thinking like, yeah, you know, not within the like, so, so the problem, problem is you have to think of this from like the 15th century to the 17th century. You, you know, the, between 200 years of the guru shit. And then after that, you, then you have like other figures within the uh, uh, Sikhism that, you know, Sikhs were there as well, but not as the Gurus. So it's a long period of time. So when, when you're looking at the Gurus from the first Guru to the last Guru, uh, you're looking at 200 years. Do you understand? Yeah, that definitely you, gives a timeline. That, yeah, that yeah. Really, so if yeah. you're looking at Guru Nanak okay. Dev, was from the 15th century. And then you have Guru yeah, Gobind yeah. Singh Ji uh, died in 1708. You can see the, the the big time gap. It's a long period of time. So you had ten gurus so, within yeah, that time okay. scale. Okay, and and so maybe you the first gurus. Um, wait, what's the incarnation about? I mean, that's the second question. You might, if you want to deal with that incarnation and all that. But um, what's the validation for the earlier gurus? Because you're saying that the last guru was a contemporary of the five previous gurus. But if there was ten, there's five that haven't been accounted for. So what's the validation or who were the contemporaries? How was it transmitted for the, for the earlier groups? Uh, can I just say something, Raindrop? I've looked into the uh, uh, the Grant, yeah? The Dasam I mean, Dasam Grant, sorry. And I have to admit, uh, I'm kind of on the opposite side of you, to be honest with you. I don't believe it's I valid. I thing in the Dasam Grant about the woman's nature and the no, others. No, no, I'm, not saying, I'm not just saying that. I, I, I need to look into, I need to speak to two more people that want to Wait, what does the Adi Grant say about what does it say about women's nature? The Dasam Grant, the Dasam Grant. So the Dasam Grant. Yeah, what does about, it say about women's nature? They talk about like how a person should be aware of like the charms of a woman and the lust, and that you know they can. Um, uh, what are, and it includes like poetry, okay, about um, different things that happened in the courts, and that this is how a person can be corrupted. Yeah, but my, my issue with my issue with it is uh, um, it's so unreliable that I would I, I would have to go on the side of caution and say I don't take them. I mean, the Zafar Nama and stuff like that. I can say, you know, there's a lot of cl uh, kind of clarification that that's uh, that we can see as valid. But but there's a lot. I mean, I mean, this is a problem in the Sikh community. Like, but it doesn't mean you're not Sikh if yeah, you do I, agree with it. So no, we don't I'm have the, this. We don't have this kind of. It's not being. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, like, we it's not our main text. The text, and some people accept it. So I'm, I'm on the side of not accepting it. If I'm being honest with you, uh, and I, I know I'm not. I, mean, I know there's lots of Sikhs that do accept it, but me personally, I, I don't really. So, so you're, about... you're basically right. You're a Guru Granth Sahibist. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, you could maybe like the way you might say someone's a Quranist. I, I take, <laughs> I take my, um, I will take my teachings from the Guru Granth Sahib, and anything outside of that. I would yeah. have to question. I get that. Uh, I, get that I get that. Yeah, but that's what Let me just. Let me just. Yeah, but we have another third. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, one more other thing, yeah. You know, Talotchen, yeah? yeah. Don't listen to Talotchen. Talotchen hates Hindus to our next level and he's a cokehead. Ignore him. Yeah. yeah. He's I a, don't know who that is. Who's that? Let's stop be on steroids. Ignore that freaking mm -hmm. conjure. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I mean, if he, if he makes you it up, he's, one of the, he's like in the chat, I think one of them, right? I, mean, I know this guy's an ad, I mean, he hates Hindu with a passion. When he cusses, he seeks out, yeah, what he would say, you're a Hindu. He doesn't go, you're a not Sikh. He would say, you're not a Sikh, you're a Hindu. Everybody's a Hindu. Now, at the end of the day, even, even if you say anything here, yeah, uh, that might be perceived to be kind of like maybe believing in certain things that, you know, is within Hindus. He will say you're a Hindu. He's basically a Sufi. That's what he is. He's a Sufi yeah, Sikh. Sorry to interrupt, Raj. I'm going to... We're Hindus. Uh, like, he, I mean, now. Hours, you know, James, James. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I think that was the <laughs> He got bored of the 
seek talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wait, so what? I'll, are they, I'll be back they, again. All right. It's not. That the Dasam, raindrop. Are they saying that the Dasam grant has only got something to do with like, the warrior class and it's not for everyone? That's the that's the uh, Sarblo grant. So we have a third scripture that's followed by the Nihang sings. So the Nihang are the ones that are like the blue. They have the blue, you know, turban, the blue clothes, and they they so Bops Bobinder, uh, he would be like a is is he a Nihang uh, Raj? He's a Nihang, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So wait, wait. wait define your terms quickly. What's what's Nihang and what's Taxalis? Okay, so the Nihang are like special forces within the Sikh tradition. <laughs> so they're, they're always, um, basically, their whole job is they're being they're always training to fight from birth to old age. In India, the Indian government allows them to carry semi-automatic machine guns and weapons. And the Indian government is very hard to get a gun in India, but for the Nihangs, there's no limit to the amount of weapons and guns they can own. What you call a pure martial uh, tradition. So if you think that the Sikhs are like an army, okay? So the Sikhs are like an army. You can imagine that the Nihangs are like the special forces. So the Sikhs, the average Sikh who's baptized is armed with the Kirpan, with the Kara, but the Nihang will go beyond, like he will have more weapons and his, his training will be far more. So me and Raj, when we were little kids, we just had a little bit of training with, you know, a gatta, which is like a sword, but it's not a really a sword. It's a wooden copy of a sword. And we suck at it. Well, I was good at archery, but Raj, uh, but I, I was not good at the sword. Well, I got a bullseye at a, at a fair, at a seat, kind of like Nagarikitan, or what, what you call like a uh, thingy. So I did get the bullseye. But you had gut cut training, right? When we were little kids, man. We had the gut cut yeah, training. Yeah, no, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it when I was a little kid. I did it when I was like 19 for like a year. It was a bloody oh, wow. so you did it proper. I did this when I was like 13, 14. No, no, no. I, I did it. I, I used to get home with like uh, like bash stick marks on my head and stuff. Oh, yeah, we, I had them on my back. It hurts. But but so this is like average seat. But now if you're in the hung, so now you'll have the what you call a shastar vidya, okay, which is the vidya, the knowledge of the weapons. And they have a third um, scripture called the Sarblo Granth which is uh, read before war times. And they have certain practices that are different from the mainstream Sikhs. So the mainstream <laughs> Sikhs, for example, like the Sarlo, the, the Nihang Sikhs will do Aarti, okay, of the Granth. Okay, they'll have like um, the prayers to um, they'll do like a sacrifice. But this is the, the, it's very different from the mainstream, like, so the Tat, the Tat Khalsa is what you call the mainstream uh, see, see, okay, like the, the school, like the, what we follow, everyone would be categorized as a Tatkali, okay, or a Kali. So this look at it from a neutral lens then and tell us why it is that um, some Sikhs who do not consider that that, uh, that scripture, um, what is it, the, the Dasam Grant does not apply to your rank and file or to your general everyday Sikh. Why is it that some people don't consider this, that or consider that the Dasam Grant is specified for the warrior? Yeah, so I, I actually looked into this. I downloaded a book um, to actually look into this. So what happened was that, so the Dasam Grant, um, it was compiled, it is claimed to be compiled by Guru Gobind Singh Ji, okay? And the controversy stems, it mostly stemmed in the 1930s, 40s, like 1920s, and it started more getting into controversy in the 1980s on. Yeah, but Ray, Ray, no, can I just say something? I didn't mean to interrupt. When I, look, I'm still looking into it, but, 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 but what I will say is that it's too unreliable. Like you, I mean, there's so much stuff in there that is, cannot be verified, cannot, it's so unreliable. So I would go on the side of not to take it. Like it's, it's so unreliable apart from... <laughs> No, the, the, two or three more people face to face. I don't want to talk about anything that I haven't got enough knowledge of. But from what I've seen already, and the kind of um, even a name of it has been changed. What was the original name again? Um, I forgot what the original name is. Uh, what was the original name of the Dasam Grant? What they originally had it? Oh, I don't know. I forgot. It. They changed it to a name so it sounded who, more who authentic. Changed it? I yeah, don't know. Who changed I, it? The top calls the main You know, what I'm saying is, I, 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 well, basically, what I want to do is, I want to, I need to speak to two people in person when I when I talk about this. But for me, you know what? If you start tonight, I'll get my guitar out and tell them. Oh my God, Squire's oh, uh, back. 
squires are here. Right, let me just say, I've, right, I've got some epic visuals on, so can we at least keep this conversation going while these visuals are on? Yeah. Uh, after, this, is a, this is a fucking fascinating conversation. I'm sorry to, really to use foul language, but this is, I'm this, I'm this is a lot. I'm this has been over I'm sorry for putting it. I'm sorry for putting it, but I hope everyone's okay and everyone's good. Yeah, it's fine. Can you please mute up, please? Squire, yeah, so big up to Squire though. He's got a good voice, man. I'm not and we've only lie. just scratched the surface, you know, because <laughs> no, it's, you know it's, it's, uh, what what because argue because what I'm saying is, look, from a neutral lens, it seems that and 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 uh, yeah, it seems that this is it the uh, Dustin Grant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is like yeah, but we have a is, is one, second, one second, one second, one second. Let me, I'm just saying from a, from an outside perspective, it seems that this is some next some next thing. It had a different name, and then they tried to kind of. Authori- make it more authoritative by giving it this name like Justin yeah. Grant to make it and then, yes. and then and then they're putting and then the people who are like uh, the warrior class who I assume are kind of uh, are kind of in control of Amir Tsar or I'm probably butchering no, name, but you know like yeah Amir Tsar right? Nihala, we don't have the Nihans. so the yeah, Nihans... I'm, saying, I'm saying I'm saying one second one second I'm saying obviously if we agree that the Dasam Grant is for for the warrior class and and those no, no, people. Not, and one second, excuse you can argue me. Against it. Excuse me. What is a warrior class? The warrior class is within the the Sikhs. They're talking the about two. They're called the Nihanga and the Taksalis today. But if you listen in, Squire, you might learn something from Rain. Okay. Dropping all right. All right. So, all right. So, all right. Do, Squire, do, do, check out check out the video on YouTube. Go on. Go on my channel and you see. Um, yeah, big up the Sikhs, man. Um, like, this is insane. So, so what I'm saying yeah. is that that it, it seems it seems. Yeah, it, it, so you have, yeah so one these... second. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mute up. I'm gonna mute up. I'm just saying. Well, that... It's called Bichada, uh, Bichata, um, Bichita, or something like that. Not that it's part of that. One second, Rain. Let me just put it like this. Let me let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. So the pope, the people who it supposedly for and who kind of uh, propagated it and have supported it, uh, let, let's say the warrior class, just a theoretical, yeah, the warrior class who support the Dasam Grant and uh, and then have elevated it to the same level as the as the Guru Granth Sahib, yeah. Uh, could you could you see how that might be problematic yeah, in the eyes of they let's say Sikh purists? Yeah, but the, here's the thing, sir. They, no Sikh elevates it at the same uh, as the no, Guru Granth. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. All, all the Sikhs agree that the Guru Granth Sahib is the highest one second, authority. One second. Okay. That's uh, that's, that's 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 okay. No, no. I'm going to speak it. One there. second. One second. One second. I'm just saying, look, in the chat, you'll see that Man Like Sid is saying that the Nihang and the Taksalis control the Gudwara. I'm assuming Guru Granth Sahib or SGDS. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, but that's a uh, supplementary text. So the Dasam Grant is it's like an appendix. So if you have like a book and you look in the back of the book, there's an appendix section. That's an appendix. So the Dasam Grant, it lists stories from the Hindu Vedas and it includes a letter that the Guru Gobind Singh Ji wrote to Aurangzeb. It's a supplementary thing. It has like no, but the, the, Yes, let me, let me explain something. In the, in the Sikh Gurd, in the Gurdwara, the temple, the main scripture that people... Uh, you know, read from is going to be the main uh, Guru Granth Sahib. Yeah, you very rarely hear people kind of doing kind of like uh, t- you know, what you call kind of like sermons on the Dasam Granth because it, so it, it's some good that it might some cheap temples might have it there, but I haven't seen it myself personally. Yeah, me neither. It's a supplement, so it's like when you study Sikhism, or let's say you want to get baptized and you want to read the scripture, the main scripture that every branch of Sikh study is the Guru Granth Sahib. The, now we have two other scriptures called the Sarblob Granth and the Dasam Granth. The Dasam Granth is an appendix and it just includes uh, stories and poetry that Guru Gobind Singh, that is attributed to the last Guru. So, for example, the letter that he wrote to uh, Aurangzeb. Now, that's not a yeah, scripture that, 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 that's But I'm saying you can have scriptures and you know, the, the Dasam Granth might be 90, 90 10%. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. What I'm saying, the stuff that, that in there that you know, it's so un- it's, it's so unreliable. It could have been written by anybody. We don't know. So why why do you say it? why do you say that it's unreliable? Why do you say it's unreliable? Because it was never. It was, from my understanding, these were uh, uh, kind of scriptures that were never compiled into Guru Granth Sahib in the first place. Yeah, Guru, anything that was not part of Guru Granth Sahib, right? We call it supplementary. Uh, yeah, so it was yes. supplementary. So some of this stuff is unreliable. <laughs> some you could have easily have. Uh, rewritten stuff, easily have kind of doctored stuff because it wasn't part of the main. 
you know, I only really personally uh, would the Guru Granth Sahib. Is there any rituals? Is there any rituals? What's this? Uh, I'm saying that there's sacrifice Hindu rituals. It's got nothing no, to do no, with the Guru Granth Sahib. What's, that, what's, that, what's that about? It might yeah, be unrelated. But what's yeah, that? I, 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 I know people are going to like this, but I actually don't agree with the, the Nahangs kind of... Uh, uh, talk uh, ritualist rituals on like goats and stuff like that. Like they do this what's, kind what's of the, stuff. What's the Nahang, what's the Nahang rituals? Well, the, picture, well, the video that you saw, the video that you saw. So the Nahang, let me explain. Let me explain to uh, to people so you don't get confused. Wait, so Raj, first of all, Raj, can I just make, sorry? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think um, Tyler Talochin wants to jump on. Could you jump on if, with your Savages account and just keep uh, it? Uh, keep let, it let, keep let, it let me say something. Let me say something. Uh, so I won't be cool with him. So if he wants to jump on there, I'll jump off Raindrop and speak to him. But if he thinks he's ever going to have a word with me, he's freaking crazy. He's out of his head on coke again. So he can shut his oh, mouth. Kanjad. Yeah, Kanjad. I'll just call him a cokehead for like Who? 50 times. And sh- no, I'll call Who? him that. So don't, if, he wants to talk, if he wants to talk to Raindrop, cool. But one thing Who's I want you to... No, you, Ali Khan, uh, t- uh, but, uh, okay. t- Turd Lotton. But Raindrop, okay. establish one thing with this guy, yeah? He never talks about Guru Gram, Gobind Singh Ji. He never talks about the Khalsa. He never talks about anything apart from Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Baba Farid, and all the Sufi saints. Establish with him, is he a, is he a Sufi Sikh or is he a Sikh? I still don't understand where he's from. He's married to a Muslim woman, yeah? Okay, fair enough, that's fine. But he, in my opinion, is borderline a Sufi Sikh. And he has a... Bigger hatred. Baba Freed. Bigger Baba Freed. Mighty Baba Freed. Bigger Baba Freed. Bigger Baba, Baba Freed. But the thing is, he has also has a hatred for Hindus. On yeah, a level. I've, I've never met a guy that hates Hindu to this degree. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense because the gurus, the first four gurus were Hindus. Like, they were yeah. Hindus, literally so, their families, their marriages, yeah, so, when they were kids. Yeah, when, you, when you talk to Ted Lock... <laughs> is that a controversial opinion? No, that's that's so, history. So for, you need to establish one thing. Why has he got so much uh, fire for Hindus? And when he meets Sikhs, he took feeds all the Sikhs. Do you know how many Sikhs he's took feeds? Oh, you're not a Sikh. You're not a Sikh. You're not a Sikh. And then he yeah, says, he, can't be, he says, yeah. I'm that, he said to me on camera, I'm not seeking. He was coked out his head when he said it, and he was drinking. So I don't take this man seriously. No, yeah, okay, me neither. Fair I don't Let's go back to Nihang, to the Nihang, because he was about to get into the Nihang and the sacrifices. Come you, before you come on here, before he comes on, don't tell me I'm not a Sikh here when you're drunk, a womanizer, you do coke. Don't start talking about shit like that to me. Yeah, so come on here, Rain Doc, have a word with him and find out what his views are. Because he's a freaking nasty piece of work. So let that gun get on. I'm off and I'll come back later. Yeah, big up, bro. Big up, Raj. Uh, big up to the viewers. Yeah, so so let me just talk about the um, the Nihangs. So the Nihangs are, they're the militant. They're So the pictures that you, the video that you just played were the Nihangs. So the Nihang Sikhs, they have an extra scripture called the Sarblo Grand. Ali Khan, mute your mic. Here's a feedback coming back from your mic, bro. Yeah, so the Sarblogrand is a, is the third scripture that they specifically follow. That doesn't have to be followed by um, the average Sikh. They follow it because they've been initiated into a complete warrior class. So they have to, they, so for example, the sacrifices that they do, the sacrifices that they do. A cursory, a cursory search on, on them seems to... Uh, Raindrop, seems who's that, the Sufi Sikh? Seems to uh, say the that, the, that the Nihang... <laughs> That in the hand go back to Guru Har Har Gobind Sahib Ji, who started a tradition oh. of hunting. Yeah, yeah. So, the, Yo, so they, say, they uh, will hunt. Talochin, if they... you want to jump on, jump on, man. Uh, they should, be able I want to talk to the Sufi Sikh. I'm quite interested you now. I'm not. No, there's I'm no such thing as a Sufi Sikh. It's just he, he's 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 confused. The is confused. <laughs> One second, guys. I gotta get some water. Right, Ali Khan, if you want to uh, take this, take the floor. <laughs> I'm just I've never heard of Sufi Sikhs before so I'm quite interested I don't know man I think you're going to have to compose yourself oh, on the... Ali, Ali Khan whose avatar have you got on? <laughs> whose avatar? You, you, huh? You can, whose avatar is that? Me. You can see who it is. Is that that little fucking pussy old from Pakistan? Baba Khan never came with me. Ali Khan, have you been smoking weed? Naji, Naji. I'm just, I'm just laughing off that, off what Rod said. It. I can't get over what he said. Sufi Sikhs. <laughs> so... 
He's just fun boy in Rajini. He's been doing it for a couple of weeks now. Notice. Oh. Try and get um. Should be able to jump on now. Yeah, Taloj and Kidaba, Aja. Back to that, you should be able to join the call. Yeah, I think it's interesting to get different perspectives because, yeah, as Ziriab said, I'm... I'm Ali, mute your mic, man. This guy be whispering to himself. Have you know? He must have a mate round or something, and they're probably cracking up. Too. Yeah, but there is someone whispering in the back chat when you were chatting before. I could hear someone like full conversation going on. Um, someone, old school Matt boy said, "Is someone tickling a young girl?" No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that's just bad. But he's pitching his. Voice. And he can't change your avatar. Why? Yeah, he's a Shia uh, speaker. What's the problem? Who said he's a Shia speaker? No, no. Um, um, Hassan. Hassan, I'm going to tell you who this guy is. No, no, no. You still have a Hassan's come on to me. Come on. Which avatar? The one right now in Hangouts? Come on. No, no, no. You're jumping to conclusions now. Come on. Oh, no, no. I'm looking at his avatar in Hangouts, bro. It's Amar Nakshawami, the one I can see right now. No. Oh, he has a different one on. Yeah. I can't see it then. That's a guy called Molana Khadam Rizvi. Oh, I can see the guy in YouTube. Yeah, who is no, that? No, he isn't. No. He basically uh, he founded La Baik Ya Rasulallah. Um, uh, you know, the, the blasphemy law. He basically rolled the tide um, on the blasphemy law and tried creating a political movement, um, uh, a religious slash political movement, tried creating his own political party by uh, calling the army heads. Uh, Kaidianis and Ahmadis and Muslims calling for revolt and calling for demonstrations and this and that and then eventually the tra- uh, this guy was the pro- pro- proponent of the blasphemy yeah, laws yeah, or yeah. against it. He was the he, yeah he was the head of it. He was the head of it. He was running this um, like this yeah Labaik Ya Rasulullah this organization. You know when the blasphemy thing happened with that girl in Pakistan and all that when it was all hyped up around that time and these guys were pushing that no they should have got her they shouldn't have let her go or whatever whatever it was yeah. And then, uh, basically, in a nutshell, uh, they found out um, his funding was coming from uh, uh, Dubai through some companies that were listed. So then they got this trail. This what, do you, trail. what are your thoughts on this, Ali? Look, they got a money trail on him. But then they picked him up. Here. Quickly, let me just finish it. So they picked him this, up one this night. This blasphemy law has been brutal there's for video, there's a video of him. They picked him up one night, uh, Hassan. The army took him for two weeks. When he come back, Bro, he, he sings praise. He praises the army. He praises them. So after he got slapped around a little bit. Yeah, yeah that's what happens. That's what happens. Hassan, right, I don't... I'm actually, I'm actually very against this guy. This guy's an extreme Sufi. The only reason I sort of started following him because on these panels, every time the Sufis are they're attacked, and this guy sort of gives it back to them. He's quite like, you're going to mess with me, fam. You get me? Watch what I do. Watch what me and my boys do to you Salafis, innit? So that's why... Who that's says why that? I'm, Kalu said, "Is he in it?" He said, "You don't know, my boy. You're a boy. We, what's we in power? In it? Watch what we do." So, what are you talking about? He doesn't even speak English. <laughs> Nada, but he's slang in it. The Punjabi speaking. No, he slang. doesn't. No, no, no. When did he say, "Watch what we're gonna do"? I don't understand where you're coming from with this. When he said, "Watch what we're gonna do," and <laughs> no, no, no. If he's if he's defending against like the hard line kind of thing, then uh, I'd be in favor of him. But from what, what? I know, that last. Just it. He's a, he's a, you know what it is? Don't get me to look, look. He's he's a, a scholars for dollars. That's what he is. He's one of them. He wanted in on the he wanted in on the cake, he wanted a slice, he wanted a piece of the action. Do you know what I mean? He rolled the tide when the that whole blasphemy incident happened. It was, you know, it was it was all over the news. It was the number one trending thing. He wormed his way in, made himself right to the forefront of it, and started leading the movement, this so-called movement. And then slowly and slowly he started getting brave. Every Friday khutbah, every Juma khutbah, the guy was Attacking the government, attacking Pakistan, attacking the army, constant, 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 and then, uh, then uh, his, talk about the Labaik guy, the Labaik, 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 Yeah, is Raj coming back? I thought we were talking about Sikhi stuff. And then yeah, yeah I'm, not... waiting, I'm waiting for a Talochin. Talochin, are you coming on or what, bro? So Talochin, Sid Baji, Aja. So he's just. 
just to just to uh, give you talk about the sacrifices and stuff. So that is done by the Nihangs. So the Nihangs are like an elite within the Sikh community. They're warriors twenty four seven. So if you look at videos, right? N i h a. Their practices are very Ringo. different from Orthodox Sikhs from from Ringo. mainstream. You know the entrances to the temples. Yeah. There's is the, there's four. Like, there's four entrances. What's yeah. the score with the four different uh, entrances? Yeah. Accessible to anyone, like it could be any caste, you know, because a lot of times, like with the Hindus, they would just so can I they couldn't they all access from one a door certain though? caste have to walk there is a symbolic a meaning that people because of the the, the, the window the, does a certain caste have to walk through a certain door? To enter no, 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 what happened? They did that because in India at that time, like in some Hindu temples, they would not let the lower caste people to enter. So the gurus, they mandated that each Gurdwara, they would have like four doors. So anyone from any religion or any any caste can come in. But there's no limitation. There's no like uh, discrimination. So, so, people, really, so people couldn't enter through one door? No. It was, so the thing was, I think the, the Hindu, they used to have like a back door. Yeah, it's like for... Yeah, for us, it had the symbolic... Uh, had the hello, symbolic everyone. Meaning. Hey, man. That's big up, bro. Big up, big up to La Chinkidnapa. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, was that Hassan? Are you uh, um, Ismaili? Yeah. Uh, Yali Madat. <laughs> <Malali Madad. laughs> yeah, I've got Ismailis in my family. So I know a lot about Ismailis. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, good people. So, Talochin, yeah, sorry, you, carry on. Do you accept the Dasam Grant or you. What Where are, are you from, from Talochin? Uh, where do I reside? Sure, yeah. A place called Twickenham in West London. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, what was your question, uh, Rayman? Do you agree? Like, are you do you agree with God? <laughs> like, you don't, you don't uh, accept Dutton Grant, or what is your position on that? Dutton Look, Grant? yeah, which God do I have you been to, which has the Dutton Grant in it, and that you have bowed down to the Dutton Grant? No, no, I, it's a supplementary text. We, I, even in my God, we don't have. Answer a Answer my Grant. question: Which God do I have you been to that holds oh, no. the Dutton Grant? Or furthermore, you didn't even know what the Sarablo Grant was until I spoke to you on Discord. Yeah, I don't no, know because that's you're, you're, grant. It's a grant by the Nehung, so I'm not in the hung. So that's some grant, and then you have bowed down to the that's some grant. None Simple that question. I have, uh, I'm sure, you, sure in your lifespan you've been to X amount of Godware. Tell me which one how's the that's some grant. Yeah, I said none. Thank you. Yeah, but that doesn't take away from his Wait, wait, guys. What, is that, what does that text. mean? What does that mean? One second. One second. Yeah, what was that the point? Okay, the point I'm making is this, guys. Yeah, it's it's only Nihangs that bow down to it. What it is, he talks about ah. two other books. Yeah, the Sada Blo Grant and the 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 main scripture, the Guru Granth Sahib Ji, as the the head. Okay, and the other two for those people, the Nihangs, these other two scripture are seen as the Morde in Punjabi. We say Morde, that means the shoulders. Morde, yeah, and you'll find them maybe in Hazur Sahib, where where the Godwara where where Nihangs frequent. But you're not going to find it in any other Gurdwara. Yeah, not in common Gurdwara, because that's a supplement. Are you talking about, because I know the Nahangs. Okay, is it in the Harmandar Saab? No, no, in, uh, I don't think Is it in the Harmandar Saab? When we go to the Harmandar you've been at the gold, everybody knows as the Golden Temple. Yeah, when we go Sid, to the Golden Sid, Temple. Sid, Sid, Sid was saying that they do, that they have the Dasam Granth with uh, Guru Granth Saab there. Do you know who Sid is? No. Oh, oh, they don't Sid. have it. Sid. They don't have it. Aris said, "They don't have he was, it." Though. He claimed, he said that. You know, only the... about what he said in the in the in the in the texture was that you will find the hangs at Godware. You're not going to find the Dasam Grant. No, in common Gurdwaras, yeah. no. So similarly, like you have the Sir Blow Okay, Grant. how much more common do you want to get than the Harmandar Saab? That is our Mecca. Than the Harmandar Saab. Wait, what's that? What's the, what's the, what's the, the golden, the golden temple. temple? The golden yeah, temple. Yeah, how much more temple. common do you want to get than the golden temple? So wait, let's get it straight. So in the central kind of pilgrimage site for Sikhis, yeah, that yeah. Se secondary or supplementary text is not to be found. No. No, it's not. Listen, in the yeah, main... okay. I haven't, I haven't oh, given my it. opinion. Yeah, I answered his question with a question when he said, "Do I give it?" Right? Listen, I'm going to be straight up. I'm not knowledgeable enough to have. Uh, uh, foundation to talk to talk on it listen this is an ongoing debate amongst Sikh um, professors whether this holds validity and for me and people like raindrop to talk about it and
I don't think we can do it any justice. Yeah, but I mean, I'm, for the lay audience, I'm just trying to explain that we, no, no Sikh holds it to be as equal to Guru Granth Sahib. We consider it as a supplementary text. So only yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. Yeah, the only controversy comes is that is it valid or is it invalid? So there are different groups who think that, oh, it is valid, some things, some, but we don't worship, we don't have the, that as our main focus. So similar yeah. like the sort of low grunt, uh, then the dasam grunt, um, I didn't yeah. know the, the Nihangs also worshipped the Dasam. I thought the Nihangs worshipped only the Sarblogran. But like the Sarblogran, you won't find in any Gurdwara. That's only in the Gurdwaras or the Nihangs. So the yeah, Nihangs exactly. The same with the Dasam Grant. It's the same with the Dasam Grant. Okay, yeah, but like, I mean... And listen, me... you know what, yeah, you, you probably only find a Gurtke as well of the Dasam Grant. You understand? Yeah, You'll yeah, find yeah. stuff like Chandi Divar there. And, yeah, you know what and, the Prakash, yeah. The and Gurtke are, are like um, small sections of scripture. So you like all of them. You, exactly, yeah. So you like a more portable. I, can't, I don't know how can I describe it. Oh, it's like a little because uh, they are pretty big, aren't they? The actual the scripture yeah, itself, the, the books are huge. Yeah, the, they're very, very big, aren't they? They're massive. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah they're, they're big, very big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, but the thing is, is that. Not, it, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You yeah, know, like I was just when I was trying to research into this. Um, what I found was that the people started objecting to the Dasam Granth very recently, starting in the 1930s and, and 1920s. It wasn't mm. something that was kind of in contention from the 17th, 18th century. In kind of uh, political, because they did, they were kind of objecting to like uh, the Hindu references that were in the Dasam Granth, mm. which I don't see any problem in. I'm like, Listen, man, know, my, my issue is, yeah, we, we've got people uh, debating Dasam Granth and they can't explain to Japji Saab. They can't explain Jap. They don't. And they don't. They don't even read Japji Sahib every day, which is the first scripture in the Guru Granth Sahib, which explains Sikhi, which is Guru Nanak Dev Ji's scripture. Yeah, and I think people are going above their station. Do you understand? Yeah, that's true. It's I, like I a don't... lay. It's like a lay Muslim talking about, uh, you know, scholarly, high scholarly. Yeah. Stuff. They do it all the time, though. On these, on these... Yo, big up to uh, Rayon. Hey, man, big up to Sikhi. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, you no, you no, no, wait, 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 what does that mean? Yeah, don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get it. Carry on, carry on. It's all right. The Ziliab doesn't know what, need to know what you mean. Carry on, I don't. Uh, yeah, Chan, I, I can you explain it. to me? I don't speak that much. Uh, All I said yeah. is it's up to I them. It's up to, it's up to Muslim. It's up to Muslim. He's saying that, that you guys, are, I, I don't know. What is the statement you're making? Uh... No, no, I'm saying that uh, on these, uh, when you were saying, you need a proper critique. I'm not criticizing your critique. Uh -huh. um, that these type of matters should be left to scholars to discuss, not mm, to the leaders. Professors that study yeah. the key. With professors, I don't, I don't like the word professor because you know the academic, you know, like the, the acad Western academic professors, like the SOAS. I let's feel not get bogged down. Let, let's not get bogged down. Yeah, I feel they have an agenda that's that's like anti gurmat That's anti, like you know that that they're trying to take things out of the Sikh tradition that have been mm. there. They're trying to take it out for political reasons. That's why I'm Look like... They, they, I, I go to a lot of controversial lectures at a place called SOAS. Yeah, it's University of Central London. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, I, and there's a lot of controversial lectures about Sikhi there. You could just, you could just Google it and just see the, the, the titles of the lectures. Yeah, They're I don't trust me, Give me an example. Give me an example. Uh, they only talked about nihilism and, uh, um, you know, and mirroring it with Sikhi. There's a lot of controversy with what these uh, professors do. That's, well, a, that's, the role, the that's the role. That's the role of. Um, you could just Google it. Soas, Soas. It's a uni in Russell Square in Central London. No, no, I'm not about Soas. Just Google I'm Soas. About Seek. Example. Yeah, well, that was one from the top of my head. Soas Seek. Yeah, that's what I'm searching. Yeah, Soas. Yeah, I think it's Soas. Stands got to how it's African Oriental something or other like that. Something. Yeah, it's a, it's a yeah. it's a Western but, academic. Yeah, so the French. Yeah, no, it's come up. It's come up. I got you, man. Yeah, and if if you type Soas um, Seek lectures. Then you'll get like a, a list of current ones that just happened in November. Yeah, go on. So what you're saying, yeah, basically, well, what, what you said is, look, that, that Muslims are try to critique high-end um, Islamic well, stuff. I think for, the record, all all said, all said, for the record, all Talachin said in Punjabi was that 
Yeah, but he's up to uh, them. Uh, thing he said that well, Muslims do it as well. You know, the laymen they talk about scholarly things and uh, all the uh, tolerance. Said well, does that mean everybody should do it? If they do it, yeah. And, I, and well. I didn't mean it as a diss to no, Muslims. No, no, no. Of course, yeah? I know exactly how you yeah. meant. Yeah, you understand, isn't it? Then the Punjabi sounds like this, isn't it? That's it, that's it. Yeah. 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 So it's like when they talk about Vishnu Avatar, when they talk about uh, like the Bajitar Natak, when Guru Gobind Singh Ji is talking about his biography, about his previous incarnation and his, all these things, people don't understand it, especially the average Sikh, because they haven't mm. understood the whole context within it. So mm. when Guru Gobind Singh Ji is talking about descendancy of the Surya Vanshi, of the sun god, and mm. uh, of like uh, Lakshman, well, not Lakshman, what was the kid's... Um, uh, Lahore, right? Love Kush, the Kasur. In Lahore, the city of Lahore was um, from love, and Kush was from the, the city of Kasur. Like the cities, they're named after them. So, like, th- th- this descendancy, they didn't like figure out, they just couldn't understand what the heck. But see what it does, yeah. And I don't know if, if you're capable if you're capable of 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 back, uh, backing this up because what 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 this is gonna do is you're gonna talk about uh, Hindu demigods, yeah, Dev there. You're going to talk about Devta, and then basically Muslims are going to try and say that, you know, okay, we're, we're still part of Hinduism. Yeah, you know, no, so and, I, 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 I understand that critique. Yeah. I refute it. And I know I, that's a basic critique. I know that's yeah. something very basic. And you can thing you is can like, refute it easily because, see, the thing is, the, the Sikh religion is a Dharmic religion, the same way Buddhism is a Dharmic religion. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, like the, I don't like that you talk about them as a trilogy. You talk about them as, as some kind of trilogy, uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, and... Yeah, to be fair, to be yeah. fair, you know, a lot of the Muslims, they suspect, I'm not, I'm not going to be honest with you, they, they I know suspect that. you of being a Hindu. I'll yeah, be honest course, with you. Of course, all Sikhs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, I'm not joking, I'm being honest with you, bro. A lot of them are Sikhs. Well, average Joe Muslims. Joe, yeah, but some people, I don't know why, I don't know why. But that's well, what I mean, saying. this is the thing that confuses me. The first four gurus were Hindus. Like, I mean, you cannot hate Hindus and say that you're a Sikh. Like, it just doesn't make sense. No, what do you mean they were talking about they were all, they, they were all, no they were all from Hindu hating, families, weren't they? Claiming to be yeah. Hindu. They're no, all no, from no, Hindu families. Not all of them. So by the time the fifth, after the fifth period, Listen, from started... the second one onwards, they're all more or less related. No, yeah. The yeah, second and the first are not. Not, not. not the second. The first four. No, I know. I said, I said apart from the, the second, because Pai Lena was his disciple. Yeah. Pai Lena became, he renamed him Pai Angat, yeah? The Lim. Yeah, he yeah. said you're going to be my name. Related? Were they from one lineage? No, they're all no. from the same. Wait, they're all from the same uh, uh, family in the sense that it was passed. No, down not, not, not like not as in uh, like you know. Uh, very I know one dis- of the gurus got made a guru very early at the young age of three or five. Distant relations. Sure? Distant Her relations. Yeah, Her Her not. That's, that's, so let me explain the first four. So you have um, Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then he had ch- he had his son. The eldest son was Sri Chand. He did not give his disciple succession to the children. He oh. gave it to Mailena, who became Guru Angad Dev. Oh no, he no, was, was not. not, he not, he was not because but there there are people that still follow Baba Sri Chand. Yeah, no, you don't. Which is Guru Nanak? Sri yeah, they're called. Yeah, uh, Baba Sri Chand helped many of the gurus. Yeah, yeah. Later on in life, he met many of the gurus. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the Udasi, they have uh, Udasi, the first... They're called the Udasis who follow Guru Nanak Dev Ji's son, Baba Shri Chand. Oh. Yeah, Baba Shri Chand mm. would help a lot of the gurus, um, you know, for many, like almost a hundred years. Yes, he, he used to right. visit them. Yeah, they used to visit yeah, each other. They used to visit the his dera as well, though. Yeah, yeah he used to yeah. he lived to a very, very old age. Uh, uh, yes, Baba yes, Sikh. yes. Very old age. But the point I was trying to make is that the first four, so um, Guru Angad Dev Ji and Guru uh, Amar they were very old when they became uh, disciples. So one was a follower of... Yo, if anyone wants to so see the, the visuals the, uh, playing in the background, uh, it's a, a documentary so it's on like, Nihang, if you were dissing Hindus, uh, also called the Akalis. Are dissing their whole family uh, and their heritage they came from? So that's what, like... I'm not, I'm the link not, I'm I just not posted. dissing this. I'll be posting it intimately. I don't dissing this. Yeah, it's a cool documentary. This isn't about dissing them or bigging them up. This is more about proclaiming that you are of them. Yeah, yeah, because what happens... Attach your religion to theirs. Yeah, listen, that first Buddha, he was a he was a beggar. He begged for food. 
He knew the food that he was going to eat was poison and he ate it. He begged for food. And you want to put my gurus in that category? Yeah, the first Buddha. No, dude, the book. The, what do you mean the first Buddha? Are you talking about he Buddhism? Came from a, he, came, he came from a, he was from a Hindu royal family. He decided to leave. He decided he to leave icky or and icky. contemplate under a tree, oh, which is all well icky, and good. Icky, but icky, ultimately, icky. he only ate if people offered him food. And you want to <laughs> put our kids in that category. <laughs> Oh God! Listen, do you, the Buddha was. Uh, listen, I'm not comparing. I'm saying that the worldview of Sikhi is part of the Dharmic traditions. It's not an Abrahamic tradition. So, for example, if you say Abrahamic religion, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, they all hold. No, I don't Abraham. think anyone's called it Abrahamic. Though I don't know where you get Abraham. Yeah, no one's calling it Abraham. Nobody's yeah. mentioned Abrahamic you know, at all. I just don't get the logic. It, it's 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 it cannot be an Abrahamic. Yeah, so it kind of, we all know that. So to even because of a Dharmic religion, the whole worldview of the Sikh religion lies in the Dharmic traditions. Hmm. The concept of reincarnation, the concept of Maya, the concept of um, you know, again, karma. All these things are, are are shared amongst the Dharmic religion. Buddhism, yeah, also, Sikh also, Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, "Be be wary of the things that are bad in the Dharmic religions, as in ritual, unnecessary yeah, ritual, tying strings." Tying yeah, strings so, to your body to think that you'll become more godly. You said stay away from this. This is how. This is so then you need to portray it. both sides of it because what you do, you portray. Um, Siki is, uh, is 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 is, is like, right. on a par, and Siki is not on a par to these. We're, it's an elevated uh, philosophy. It's the easiest way to get out of the cycle of reincarnation. Yeah. Uh, so we believe that this. I agree that it's a dharmic religion. Of course it is. It comes from that lineage. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not disagreeing. I'm, I'm seeing the same thing. Mm. So do you think that it had an influence from uh, Islam? It didn't. So this is where people get it wrong. It's not influenced by Hinduism or by Islam. Okay? What Sikhi did, Sikhi takes, takes the truth and it recognizes the truth. So all religions have aspects of the truth. Islam has aspects of the truth. The Hindus have aspects the truth, the Buddhists have aspects of the truth. What Sikhi did was it shown the easiest path to liberate oneself from this illusion. From this Big up Jordan M, man. Cycle. I saw you doing uh, there's some good numbers on the stream earlier with uh, Hussein. Yeah, big up. Big up to real one. Big up to Ibrahim. Why should you not follow Buddhism? If it's a Dharmic religion, then why not just become a Buddhist or a Hindu? The point is is that Buddhism and Hinduism... Yeah, it's Sikhi hour right about now. We're not really doing the Islam topic for an evening. Okay, the concept is to have like love it. of God to see. and to be in his... Bhagati, room. we call it Bhagati. Yeah, we call it Bhakti, which leads yeah. to Mukti. Okay, yeah. so what happens is that what we focus on is on the love of God. What's Mukti? What's faith. Mukti? What what should you do? Do? First we should say what Bhakti is, yeah? yeah what's Bhakti? Is devotion, yeah? Bhakti means devotion. Yeah? Devotion to God, yeah. So in Sikhi, there's a philosophy where we say, "Don't do anything in excess." Yeah, nothing in excess. Devotion, devotion, as in lagan, lagan. Uh, um, is that is that similar? The attachment, dance. attachment to God. Yes, yes, connecting yeah. to God, like yeah, when lagan, you do your prayer, yeah, or when Sufis are doing their chanting. Yeah. You know, any way of connecting to God. What we say is, don't do anything in the excess in life. The only thing you can do is bug to moderation. No, yeah, no, bhakti. you can do that in excess. Yeah. Yeah, so hold the hold what's the, the what's the Harminder Sahib history? What do you mean? His Har who laid, you talk about who laid the history. first brick? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, it was so a, it's not it was a it was a a bead, famous. Uh, was it not Baba Freed? No, Baba Freed. Baba Freed. He came. No, uh, but I'm on about, about Baba Freed. Baba Freed was What is Baba Freed? His 14th descendant was met by Guru Nanak. They oh, came so... way before. There's a lineage. It's called the Pagati movement. Before so the who was who was Baba Freed's from Baba Freed's lineage that was in contact with the Guru Nanak Dev Ji then? I don't know. It's, it's whoever then, carried on. The, it's whoever uh, yeah. carried on the. There is the one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because our Baba Freed's lineage, there are stories of Guru Nanak Dev Ji sat with um, uh, Baba Freed's descendant. Yeah. Stories, the and these are you know commonly known in Pakistan as well. Commonly yeah, but, known yeah, that, about these about their yeah, friendship. Yeah, but so I'm, I'm going to agree with what what Raindrop said. It's like with us, we don't. 
We didn't care what what religion they came from. If they yeah. were preaching if the you, truth, yeah, if yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get, yeah, I get, I get, I get then, your, I get your stance. On yeah, that. then, then we should include from. them in our scripture. Mm. You know, and they're yeah, known so as look, look, they're known Sikhs, religion, just, People get confused. They think that the Sikhs just took you know and made it into a religion. No, that's completely wrong. And I can prove to you it's wrong. Yeah, I know they have this. Just, just want to cut you off, yeah. I just want to what, say what you said in a different way. People often think that there's this idea of somebody sat down with the Vedas on one side and the Quran Sharif on the other side, yeah, and you know, just, and picked, picked. Yeah. And you know, this didn't happen. This is a very basic way of looking at our philosophy. Yeah, this just did can, not happen. And I can explain. This is why, um, Raluch and I say I really emphasize the Dharmic tradition. Because when mm. you identify Sikhism completely as being part of the Dharmic tradition, then everything within Sikhism makes sense. So if you, when the Sikhs talk about one, the concept of one God, it's not unique to the Abrahamic religion. Would some people be years before, Why before would some people be insistent that there's a, there's a difference? Why would there some people be insistent that there's a difference between a huge difference or that Hinduism and Sikhism is nothing, nothing alike? I mean, what do you mean? The, I mean, it's not alike. It's similar in the concept yeah. that they believe in the concept of karma and reincarnation. It's very Look, different. You know, again and again in our scriptures, yeah, we mention uh, the Hindu demigods, yeah, and we've mentioned Shiva there. And the way we <laughs> mention, when we mention Shiva, I just want to make a quick. When we mention uh, Lord Shiva, we we say we we pray to the God that Shiva prayed to. Because if you don't reject, listen. Praying to the god that Shiva, because Shiva, uh, uh, if you don't know, he's known as the Ard Yogi. You know, we were talking about the Ard Grant yeah. earlier. Right? Ard basically means primal, yeah, primal, uh, uh, and um, Yogi, yeah, the first one to connect. They're, they're now, demigods. They're not gods. Demigods, they're gods, exactly. But they also connect. Like, like the point you were making is. You could argue that that is also monotheistic, yeah, Hinduism. Yeah, yeah, the, you know? the, the Hindus themselves are, are monotheists. That's what I'm trying to explain, that if you look at the, the, the teachings, the concept of one God comes from the very old Dharmic concepts that are much mm. more older than, like, this comes from Zoroastrianism. So the concept of one God, okay, the Vedic religion. Um, so what I'm trying to say, the Lord, when I say Dharmic, I, I'm, I'm careful and I know exactly what I'm doing when I say Dharmic. Because then you can't criticize and say that they did a pick and mix. No, it didn't. They didn't pick and mix anything. They were strongly part of the Dharmic traditions. So if you look at the concept of time in Sikhism, they have different yugas. So we talked that this age is called Kalyug. So then we have Satyug, Dwapari Yug, uh, Tret Yug. These, mm. these, they, don't, they don't reject the Demi. There's a painting in the, in the, in the Harmindar Sahib. Um, where they have Guru Nanak Dev Ji, actually the Debbie gods came to pay their respects to Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Right, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Is, is it across the board in Sikhi that uh, believe 110%. Yeah, and, and, okay, that, wait, wait, wait. That, and that, the second part, there's, there's no, two parts um, of this question. Okay, wait, you can answer yeah. both of them in a sec. The second part of the question is, uh, is um, the demigods believed in across Sikhi? The wrong word, yeah? They're yeah, mentioned yeah. in our scripture. They're yeah. mentioned only in as a reference point. Yeah, they, Listen, so, don't, they, we don't forget. Wait, okay, okay, wait, wait, go explain. They don't, that worship, they don't worship, the Sikhs don't worship demigods. We worship yeah, once yeah, yeah. But now we don't reject that the demigods never existed. So we say that these are empowered, these are, they, they belong in the universe. They don't, they're not. Yeah, cool. You don't Carry see that. Yeah, they're, this is why I say the Dharmic yeah. worldview for, for the Sikhs. So, for example, the Buddha, Brahma met, Bud, met, met the Buddha. He met the Buddha. So, similarly, the demigods also met Guru Nanak Dev Ji. I'm, I'm trying to find the picture so I could post it in the back chat. Uh, that's why when you see all these references to the demigods, they're, what they're saying, they're reciting stories and events that happened 10, 50, 60,000 years ago in different ages. So in Sikhism, we all agree, the Sikh religion agrees that this is Kalyo. It means the dark age. This is the age that lasts around 300,000 years, for which I think 5,000 years have passed. But before this, there was another yug, I mean, another cycle. And these cycles, they had like the demigods and stuff. They were fully interactive in it. So it's giving you history. It's not saying that they never existed. What the Sikh religion teaches is that everyone, the Hindus, they're basically worshipping... Uh, like they'll worship one demigod for their desire. And what we say is that that is wrong, that that is, you're not following the right way because the demigods, they're like, 
they're like angels or archangels. They're not God themselves. So we believe they, we call it. Wait, wait, wait. It, so they so they're like so these um so called these demigods are in your view in your schema, dem uh, archangels. You're saying similar. Not, they're not archangels, but they're no. similar to how you would consider angels. So I don't. I don't like, no, no. Stop that. Stop that. Just tell me from your perspective. Like you need to with the whole. Yeah. Stop saying believe, from the Islamic perspective. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Just no, from from the, perspective. Yeah, but the perspective that these guys can understand. Forget, no, no they, can, they can understand without you mentioning Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, from oh, your, no, from I'm using the Christian example. Yeah. Bro, okay, man, whatever, isn't it? I'm saying, just explain it from your perspective and stop with the trying to kind of help me understand. I, I, I'll better understand. Look, if you're from your perspective. So, yeah, so for the demigods, so they're like, demi helpers, demigods they're like, is that even a proper term that you can use? Do you consider them demigods in that sense? Or do you yeah, consider them as, as human gods, beings so the, so the who are just closely connected to God? Wait a minute. The term is called devta. So de Devi and devta. Okay, so devis and devtas are mentioned all around in the Sikh scriptures and the Hindu scriptures and the Buddhist scriptures. Um, they're empowered beings. But the thing is, is that the main goal of worship is not you know, just to worship Wait, one what demigod. Does, what does that mean, empowered beings? Enlightened. Enlightened. Yeah, they, 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 enlightened, they have more powers than just a regular human. So they, they, they're like managers of the universe. They can control wind. They can control the rain. They, they have like different, uh, they're like administrators of the universe. You can Wait, say. Wait, so do Sikhs subscribe to that Hindu belief? No. So the Sikhs, we don't subscribe to that belief that we believe that we, they're the main people. We, we don't believe worship. that they're God, yeah? But we believe yeah. that they're connected to God. And we, we pray countless amount of times. It keeps saying that we are praying to the God, to the creator, yes. that these demigods were trying to connect to. Tolochan, I yeah. get that you're saying that. I, de I yeah. definitely get that. That makes more sense than what, what Raindrop's saying. Because what Raindrop's saying it's like Jesus. Is, it's like, you know, no, when Muslims say about Jesus. That we no, don't, know. I, don't know. I don't know about that. I no, but I'm just trying to give that. that example of. I don't know about any of that. What I'm saying to Chalochan is, Chalochan is that what you said makes sense. That your prayasikis, your prayer to the God that these quote unquote demigods pray to. Yes. Okay? But then, okay, I get that. that. That makes perfect sense. But if, if someone is saying that the Hindus, or not even Hindus, but these demigods control the wind and so on and so forth, do Sikhis subscribe to that in terms of these? Dev, uh, whatever, what, what the term is, I don't know what the term is, but the demigods. It's do not the it's, as far do as believe, I know. I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't think on, it's. Con, I don't think it's like uh, mentioned no, whether we be, is, we don't believe in them as God, God like yeah. figures. God -like we're not, figures. We're, yeah, we're not putting them on a par to the creation. Um, never. Yeah. yeah, never. Yeah, no, but, we're not. You know, we, you have we, to, you, well, another side note I want to make. Yeah, you know a lot of the Mahabharata and all in the in there as in like. Uh, a one arrow is, is, is thrown out and it turns into a hundred and the there's gods sees. with ten heads and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, yeah? In the Western world, that's seen as like fantasy. Yeah. yeah, That is actually the history of India. All of that is the history of India. So, yeah. do you understand? Like, it, it, we don't, we're not saying that we, we believe in it in these demigods in the same way that Hindus do. We believe that they are, they existed and they were around 100%. So you're saying we don't consider, we don't consider these Hindus, people to have been human beings and lived at a particular that point Hindus in time. And died. Yeah, just not in the... Exactly, exactly yeah, what, what Hardy said. Not in that Hindus same way them. that Hindus see them. Yeah, they don't, so, we don't have the same... Yeah, so our focus... Same reverence. Point, Should yeah, we say yeah. the same reverence? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would say the same reverence. We don't have the same reverence. Yeah, you don't, yeah so the point is that with the Hindus, they believe, uh, they will believe, they will pray, they'll do puja, they'll do like different rites to the demigods. The Sikhs believe that we should only be worshipping the supreme unknown creator. It's like I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Christians believe that Jesus Almighty is God. Muslims believe Jesus is a prophet. They still respect him, but they look at him as a prophet, but they don't see him as God himself. Uh. And like we say, we pray to the God that Jesus prayed to. Uh, exactly. And that's also, the, yeah, the, that's the example. as kind of like conduits, as, yeah. a, as, a, as a way so your prayer can go via this demigod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we, our gurus like, so you don't do wasala, wasala. You don't go. I don't know what that means. You don't go, you don't go through these uh, demigods in order to reach. No, 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 we're connecting just to the creator only. Yeah. But yeah, so the we point see is our that... guru. We see our guru. The reason why we bow down to our guru is this: we see our guru 
this is kind of a crude way of putting it, but I, f- I find it the best way to describe it. We see our guru as as a sat nav, yeah, as a sat nav to God. As as a, if you're not if you're not such a learned or holy person, you need guidance to connect with God. And we see our guru as the the guider, so to speak. Well, I do anyway. Yeah, like you, you see the guru. So understand. Uh, look. In the, the Sikh religion. What do you think, though? What do you think to my analogy? No. So, Make so sense? to be clear, you, you, yeah, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying that they're guides, the gurus to Sikhis are guides in order to reach God. Yeah. So then, if if the if the gurus who are like the highest in your estimation, I, I assume that you revere the gurus more than these quote unquote demigods. So that would mean, gods, you can you consider them human beings who lived in history. No, but the, the gurus, the gurus were not ordinary human beings. What does that mean? What does that even mean? He's not saying that. He's not saying that. What does that even mean, though? They're not ordinary human beings. But listen, they, you know what? Are they what? some you type know, of a different genus or something? But it, it was only our first guru who Homo went to the Darbar Sub, who went to the court of God. It was only our first guru. And the others are incarnations. We call them Mahella. When in our scripture, it says Mahella Duja, Mahella Tija. Mahella means, yeah, and Mahella means embodiment or household of. Mahel, so the sec- Mahel, the sec- yeah, the, the household or, or embodiment of so. When we talk about the second guru, is it this is this is this is the second Nanak? This is Nanak again in a new household, so to speak. Look, you know what? The words don't translate so well. It doesn't because they're using English. Sanskrit and Gurum, Gurum Yeah, the words don't. We got to Hacksaw Jim Duggan. It's like the personification of the guru travels to the other guru. Enough respect, man. Yeah. So, so one minute, one minute, one minute. So, is that so something? That, just the is second, that something he's that just the second Nanak, and the third one's the third Nanak. Yeah. But uh, to Latin, is that something? So, that who was the first Nanak? Guru Nanak. Nanak. Yeah, who was the first one? Who was he? Really? Guru Nanak Devji. Guru Nanak Devji. He yeah, he's yeah. the one he's the yeah. one who meditated and we believe he met God went to the court yeah. we call the bar the, the court in of the God. river yeah it's a river where yeah he, in the, yeah uh, he meditated in river every all his family thought that he had drowned he yeah. reappeared and three came days back later with the, yeah. yo mods please stay clear of the drama don't add to it don't, don't play into it not what the spanner is for the concept is we believe that Gruna this doesn't answer the question by the way. He's Why divine. We believe he's divine. We don't believe he's just an ordinary okay, yeah, human. No, that's fine. That's your belief. Mm. But I'm saying, yeah. in terms of reincarnation, the reincarnation element, it doesn't mm-hmm. extend to Guru Nanak Dev Ji. You don't believe that he was reincarnation of anyone? No. He was directly sent by God. Mm. So in this age of Kalyog, so the, so the cycle, yep, that's why I'm saying the dharmic, the concept of dharma is very important. Because if you understand so, the concept of dharma, then everything you, you can understand properly. Mm. So the Sikh the, the religion teaches us that they're different ages. So Satya Yog means the age of truth. It lasts, I think, 1.5 million years. Raindrop, just a quick one. You know when Guru Nanak Dev Ji were born, had they, you know, the reincarnation uh, aspect of it, had they already been there? That's what I'm trying to explain. So the Guru, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, right? There was never a reincarnation. He doesn't have to come to this world. He's already liberated. No, no. So the concept of the soul is already liberated. He's with God. God sends him, and God sends many, you know, for example, like the demigods. So that's why they talk about the story of the demigods. So in, in the age before this age, the 5,000 before 5,000 years ago, there was a different age. There were different activities that were happening. So Mahabharata, what Tarlochan was saying, and even before Mahabharata, Mahabharata was like 5,000, that's pretty recent, five, 6,000 years ago. I'm talking about 10, 20, 30,000 oh. years ago. So that history is, is like, you could say it's a Hindu history, but even the word Hindu is made up. There never existed a word Hindu. It's the, it's the history of that land, of Bharat. It's the history of the land, yeah. yeah. I used to read the Mahabharat series when I was a kid, man. Yeah, for example, you know, in the, you know the island of Bali. So you, know, you, know, you know the Bali island, right? You know the island of Bali? Yeah. Everyone goes to vacation, right? Yeah. So the island of Bali is actually an important figure in Hinduism, like 10, 20,000 years ago. And he was... Yeah. Um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I don't. Do you know the story of Bali, uh, Luchin, Bali? No, no. I okay. I think, so the story of Bali was that he was like born into a family of, um, like, he was a very powerful uh, 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 demonic king or something. And like, yeah. there's, I don't know the exact story, but I, I do know that in, like, so for example, all of Indonesia was basically Hindu. Like before, before Islam came, they were all practicing uh, Hinduism in Indonesia, oh. Vietnam, to the Philippines. Um, and if you look, even if you go to Indonesia today, on their little dollar bill, they have like a picture of Ganesh on there. 
I was like, well, that's a Muslim country, you know, they're, they're all full of Islam, but they still have that Dharmic influence or Dharmic connection with them. But what I'm trying to say is that the Sikh religion itself, it, it, it is part of the Dharmic fold. So our references are Dharmic references, so, but we are not Hindus. It's the same way you're not going to look at a Buddhist and say, oh, look, Buddhists are Hindus. They're not. Like the Buddhists, they rejected huge aspects of, of Hinduism. So you don't see like the whole concept of... Um, of an absolute God, they don't accept, the Buddhists don't accept, uh, they don't accept that. So that's where I think people... So but you know what, you're right there, but even Hinduism is not a monolith either, you know, Hinduism yeah, yeah. is not a monolith, Hindu- there's different types, you know, there's different and there's different beliefs. Yeah, the actual word for Hindus is Sanat. Hold on, Dharma. guys, guys, do, do, uh, do all Sikhs subscribe to the idea that the gurus were superhuman? Or kind of ex- not normal divine, human beings, because Raindrop, you, yeah, you said that they were they were not human, normal human beings. Divine. Is that they're, across they're the board? Divine. What, I'm what, what, you, is that what do we talk about? What the word guru means? Yeah, he's, he's enlightener. No, he, but he's, he's one who will take you to from spiritual darkness to spiritual light. Calling them superhuman and they're not superhuman, uh, they were divine. Yeah, divine. Yeah, they, they can they're bring you to spiritual light. They're not, yeah, yeah, but divine, divine could mean that they're connected to God. That, that could yeah, they are. That is what it means. Divine, you're telling sure. me that they're not... All Sikhis believe... Or not, I say believe, forget believe. Do all Sikhis subscribe to the idea that the gurus were superhuman? I say superhuman, that could be changed for not, uh, um, you know, not a normal human being. Let me put it like that. Do all Sikhis subscribe to the idea that the gurus were not normal human beings? Yeah, that's for me the first for me the first guru had the had the uh, connection to God, the Sarup. to the Creator. The Sarup is yeah, but the Tarushan, that doesn't that that doesn't mean that they're not human though. Do you see what I'm saying in I'm terms saying of the human, human aspect? We, we believe we use the word Bhargat, you know, for Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So he wasn't born for us. He was created for us. We try to not not talk about him in a humanly sense. No, why is that? Why is that? And do because all Sikhs subscribe to that? Well, uh, 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 Random, I don't have access to uh, Googling where I am. Yeah? Um, what is Bhargat? Bhargat means the topmost. Right? It means, let me tap it up. I think Bhargat means the topmost. The supreme, like the top, not the supreme, but topmost Bhargat. Mm. Yeah, they don't but, want to say without being 100% sure. Um, yeah, but they're not like ordinary, like... You know how when Guru Nanak Dev Ji um, passed, okay, the, the, the Muslims and the, the Hindus at that time, like the, the Hindus thought they wanted to cremate him and the Muslims said they wanted to um, uh, uh, bury him. But mm. at the end, we just saw like his body, it was not a mo- normal material body of flesh and bones. Yeah, this is, was, it. This, is, this, is a, this is another miracle that we believe in, yeah? that his, his body disappeared. Yeah, yeah that's his what I'm saying. His body disappeared. Saying. And there's flowers there, and there were Muslim followers of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Yeah, yeah, yeah of so course. So these Muslims said, "Okay, we will take half the flowers, we'll bury them." And the Hindus took the other. Yeah. And, uh, and they put in the them. river. They put in the river, I think. But like the, the point that I'm trying to say is that when a lot of Sikhs, especially the young kids, they, they get kind of you know thrown off with the Hindu references, and this thing is mostly a, a, a very modern phenomenon starting from the 1980s. They never had this issue with Hindu references before 1980, before 1984. But a lot of that you have to understand is to do politically, you know, and yeah, and politically, yeah, because politically, I don't like that. Oh, you're talking about the Hindu demigods. I'm like, dude, no, 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 not the Hindu you. demigods. I'm talking about how I'm the dude, Hindu, how the Hindu you. government have have dealt with Sikhs. Yeah. All of that. Yeah, still... So I'm not criticizing. Uh, look, when I say, for example, okay, when you say the Hindu government, you know, Indra Gandhi, she she <laughs> she hated the Hindus. Like uh, the, the lady who committed the, the genocide of the Sikhs was anti-Hindu. Like she, the, the stuff that she did, uh, the Rajiv Gandhi, like with the whole, um, like you know, the BJP, like she had banned the BJP. Like she was fighting against them. No, listen, like, no, I don't buy that. You, India, okay, okay, whatever. You, maybe you know more about Indra Gandhi, what's, but what's, India uh, itself, India's what? real title is Hinduistan. Yeah. No, that's what Persians. What, 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 one second, one second, guys. guys before you Southern. go back and forth. One second, one second. What is Sat and Kal Jug? Jug. Yeah. So Sat Kal Jug is the. Oh, Kal Jug. Yeah. But go and tell him it's about. 
yeah, it's ages, isn't it? You could call yeah, them ages. Yeah, yeah so yeah. the way the universe, the, the, the concept of time, um, we believe that the Earth is billions of years old, and the universe is even old time in four ages. So each age, let me just find the exact number because I don't remember the exact. So like Satya is the first age. Okay, that's like the age of truth. And that age is like the golden age. It lasts 1 million seconds. Okay. And then the second age is, uh, I think it's the Treta Yoga or the third year. And then the Dwapar Yoga is the second. And the, this yoga that we're on right now is the most degraded age. Okay. The degraded age where people live very short and people are living in ignorance. So the immoral age is what we call Kal Yoga. And that's accepted in Buddhism, in Hinduism, in, in Sikhism, in Jainism. All four of these religions are, are, are agreement on this point. Conflict comes when we talk about religion and philosophy between us, yeah? Because we have to try and see it through our lenses, through a Sikh person's lenses. We can't look at it through your own lens. Do you know what I'm trying to say there? Yeah, we're reflecting our own beliefs on it. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah. of course. That's how you have to look at it, you know? Yeah, yeah I, mean, no, I get that. I get that. This is where this is where conflict comes up. Then you're presenting the Sikhi perspective, but I'm, I, I fear that there is an attempt to kind of monopolize uh, the, the the conversation or kind of prevent a monolith in terms of views, because clearly there seems to be a wide array of views when it comes uh, to Sikhi perspectives. So on the topic of of like being human beings and whatnot, uh, or being more than that, perhaps obviously it's clear that let's say. A lot of Sikhis consider the, the gurus to be more than just normal human beings. But I was just wondering if, if there is a strain of, of Sikhis who consider all the gurus to be um, actually just human beings. I say just, and I don't mean that to denigrate it. I yeah, mean, no, obviously, I they've got... Yeah, you know what I'm saying, isn't it? Yeah, I, I understand too. They no, but... weren't another genus of kind of... They weren't like homo... Like, the social change was... that they brought about, the, the social change that they wanted to bring about, I don't think an ordinary human could do that. They, they couldn't. The social change that, that, that the, look, they, they, we, Guru Nanak came with a revolution for society. Nothing short of a revolution it's, for what was going on. It's the only religion where the, the, the founders gave their life for another people of another religion. Like, you won't find that in any history where a, a, a prophet or something you know, sacrifices his life to save people of a completely different religion. So our guru, our guru, Can we not say that about Allergy, sacrifices his life to save the Hindus. So even like, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a guy that's a Hindu, um, uh, Baba Ramdev, he's like, a, very, he's like a famous uh, uh, Hindu uh, 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 yogi or someone in India. He said, without the Sikhs, uh, there would be no Hinduism today in India. And, and the Hindus, they consider the, the, uh, the gurus to be the she, like you know. So I mean, the in my view that like this whole thing that's you know come up, this anti-Hindu uh, sentiment amongst the Sikhs is a creation of 1984. Before this, it wasn't really as as crazy. It wasn't. Well, really why as, would it not be? It would happen. Yeah, it yeah, would be right after 1984. You know. Of course, it was the it betrayal be. by the Indian government. But understand, the the government itself was Indira Gandhi. She was against the Hindus. Like, this is what shocks me. Like, people don't know the local politics. Like, please research this shit. The Congress party was a, was a communist slash atheist, you know, uh, um, like militant atheist agnostic party. They were not like pro. <laughs> I mean, why do you think the BJP and the RSS existed? Fighting against the Congress. Like, you know, it's not, it's not so simple. Like, the problem I have is a lot of people believe in the propaganda that was made after 1984, that this is somehow some type of beef between the Hindus and the Sikhs. It was, it was, you know, the idea that, the, I'm talking about religion, and I'm, talk, I'm not talking about individual people. Theologically, there's nothing that the Sikhs or the Hindus have any beef towards. Like, there's no, like, you know, theological fear where they're saying, the, 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 the gurus are saying that, oh, go kill the Hindus, or the Hindus are saying, go kill the Sikhs. There's nothing in the theology of it. There's no like theological um, thing where they're saying these guys are apes and pigs or these guys, other guys are, you know. I mean, look at the well, history. Of he, theologically, he said to distance himself from, distance ourselves from Hindu um, rituals. Yeah, the rituals. Well, that is a distancing. No, no, I, I never said distancing. I'm saying like uh, war. I'm talking about theological. Have among like Christians, like Christianity, you have Protestant, Catholic. 
in the last you know thousand years they've had massive wars they killed each other they had the hundred year wars theologically if you look at buddhists and hindus they never had like a theological war of killing each other over this over like theological differences so like do you think that the sikhs ever attacked a hindu temple and, and like killed hindus because they said that oh they're wrong they're but is that wrong. let me ask you on this raindrop and uh it's all as well is that because early early sikhi uh was somewhat decentralized and then it became centralized much 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 later on or does that have something to do with something else? Because if you look at the Catholic and the Protestant conflict, for example, there was a lot of centralization, whether it was, you know, uh, regional churches in a Protestant case or the Catholic church in the Catholic case. What I'm saying is, was early Sikhism, this is my question really, uh, and so it's two parts, was early Sikhism centralized way? And secondarily, if, if not, could that be the reason why there wasn't this kind of central uh, pointing towards go and fight this person or that person? So are you saying that, that um, your theory is that because once religions get centralized, then they become... Uh, uh, once they become institutionalized, yeah. Institution. Well, I mean, I would say like, so this is the thing with the Dharmic, like this is general in Dharmic and Sikhs and Hindus and Buddhists. It's not really centralized. Like it's never been really centralized. So, like, even among Sikhs, we have the Akal Tak, which is like an organization, but it's not like mandatory to, you know, follow each and everything that they say. It's just a, like a, it's a, an opinion. It's not like they have like you know control over, um, you know, uh, what Sikhs have to pay. Like they have to pay, you know, a tax or something, or we have to pay like or give a certain amount in donation. It, but you it, know what, Raindrop? You know what I've noticed when you don't know the answer through Sikhi, you, then you use the word Dharmic. You know, no, like, really. I, you, you I, don't know I, the answer I, through Sikhi. You're not answering it through Sikhi, so then you then you use the. No, no, I can answer from the Sikh perspective. No, yeah, you I don't, think you should, man. It's not a centralized. It's it's not a, a ultimately centralized um, view. It, it, I'm, it's not like an Abrahamic center. It's not like the Catholic Church. And then that can be applied to the Buddhists as well. They don't have like a central church, like a central thing. Uh, I don't even think the Hindus have that. Like there's not like a Hindu pope or something, but that's why I'm trying to give you the, this example that it's not centralized. It's not a centralized um, faith. Do you disagree yeah, with so, that? Okay, so so there's yeah no. Uh, so you're telling me that no, you guys would have to tell me about it. I don't know if Talos has got yeah, a different opinion, but would you... on, yeah, like our goal is the spiritual. So you're saying that it's decentralized. It's not an it's not a institution based religion, especially early on as well. Because yeah, I know there's now, recently uh, there's like councils and I was hearing conversations about like a central council in London or something of elders. You've got the Sharomani group, no? Right, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, those councils, but they're not... early like, on, obviously, it wasn't, it wasn't institutionalized. Like no, that. they wrote the, they wrote the Rehat Mariada, the Sharomani group. Yeah, the Code of Conduct, the Sikh Code. That was in the 1800s, 1850. Mm, so there might be a centralized council. Yeah, you could say that. No? What else is the Sharomani group? It's, it's, but it's not the council of like the, Alc, the like the Catholic Church. For example, like the Shiromuni. No, like, no, no. Yeah, it's not on a part of that. Yeah, no that's what, when he says central. That I think of the Catholic Church. It's not like that. Institution, institutionalized, not exactly like the Catholic Church, but uh, an uh, analogous comparison from within the Sikhi tradition. Was it the case? This is the. If you're saying it's decentralized early on, was it the case that later on, um, I don't know, during the latter gurus or maybe even after the gurus had, had come and gone did their followers start to institutionalize the religion? So, I mean, institutionalize... So, the religion itself is a universal religion. So, like, the, like the, the, the Sikh religion itself, it's, um, you know, when we go around, you know, you don't see, like, the concept of Dawah. We're not looking to convert people. Um, basically, we see a Muslim, if we tell him that the highest thing or the best thing he can do is focus on his love for Allah and on the chanting of the names of Allah. And, and Wait, so it's universal, but you don't promote uh, conversion. I mean, if people want to convert; they can, but we're not like it's not. It's not. Like, it's not a missionary or evangelical type of religion, where we say that you have to be a Sikh or you're gonna burn in hell. Um, you know, you can be a Muslim, and if you have love for Allah, you know that's good. If you're a Hindu and you have love for Ram, that's good. We're not gonna condemn you to burn for hell in eternity. That's not. But that's you know not. what? You know, you say that about the. 
uh, uh, evangelizing, yeah, there are Sikhs that did try to do that, that did try to change it and say, Which no, one? we should call people to Sikh you. Well, what was basics of Sikh you doing? That was not an evangelical. That was to clear uh, any mis misunderstandings um, of Sikhi. So even the, what's his name, uh, Bhai Jagrat Singh, when he used to talk to people, he's like, "Look, I'm not here to like convert you. I'm just trying to clear up misconceptions." Because people, when they look at a Sikh, they almost automatically think Taliban or Osama bin Laden. So that was like the basics of Sikhi is is an organization that's not so much of an evangelical, it's more of to clear out misconceptions of Sikhism. Yeah. I would disagree. Even, even you know, Khalsa Aid, you know, the organization Khalsa Aid. So the Khalsa Aid, they were, they, they were one of the few people who actually went on the ground to help the Yazidi, you know, in Iraq. They didn't like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. They, were, they were humanitarians. They were humanitarians. Yeah, and, and, you know, the first people in the Bangladesh uh, flooding that happened with the Rohingyas, not the flooding, sorry. Welcome, yeah. welcome to the panel, Sid. Big up. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Blessing oh, so take off, sorry. Hello. Yeah, I'm just listening. Yeah, yeah. This, oh, I've got yeah. some. Uh, script, I've got some books here. They're, this this organization called the Guru Nanak Foundation of Great Britain. Mm -hmm. It says like, it's a society Sorry, dedicated speaking? dedicated to spread the message of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. So yeah. there are organizations yeah, but, dedicated to spread the message. Yeah, spreading the message, but not like if you don't have like a you know looking looking to get shahadas or something on. No, on, there's on, no yeah, there's none of that. Yeah. There's not an industry. Yeah. There's not a you know. Yeah, you know, we say that there's several paths to, uh, in like, or to, to to have a spiritual life, right? We don't yeah, have to become the main, a the main thing is love of God, be it Muslim, Hindu, whatever, Christian, is love of the Creator. So, even the Guru, they said, no, not love. only that, not only this is love not of His creation, that, the main but love of His creation. Mm -hmm. to, uh, yeah, but love the main of his creation. Yeah. Love of his creation. Yeah. Well, I mean, to 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 love God, to, to yeah. have his, you have love for look, the creation is temporary, but is it's it? a material world. So it's not like you love the world. You have to love. I mean, the goal is to love God. I mean, as in humankind, you know. Yeah, humankind, love for your fellow man. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I guess maybe we do agree, but maybe we word things differently. Yeah, we word that's things differently. That's fine. I yeah. mean, I don't, yeah, I don't disagree with it. Also, for whatever you said, I don't, I don't find yeah. any disagreement in that. Um, yeah, I forgot what we were talking about. Welcome, Sid. Yeah, hello there. Hi, hi, hi. Blessing to everyone. Oh, so hi, so 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 uh, you're talking about the yoga. Are you? You don't agree that this is Kali yoga and like I, I don't understand. No, uh, Rain. Let me just say something. I'm just going to say a few things, John, because I'm a bit, you know, what it is. Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Yeah. Hello, are you listening? Yes, Paji, we can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Guru, uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he was, he was actually, uh, 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 what he was actually a Sufi saint. He was a poet. He loved poetry and all that. That's same thing with Farid, Baba Farid Ji. Same thing with Baba uh, Kabir Ji. So that's the reason why, let me just explain for five minutes. And after that, so after that, what happened is that he went to Banaras. He went to Banaras and he, he had char, uh, four uh, trips here. Yeah? But main thing is that at that particular time, at the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, there was no other Punjabi poets, it, which was started by Baba Farid. If we were... Baba Bulla Shah, there was... Uh, that came now, after. He came if, after. It, yeah, if it's now, Baba Bulla Shah, there will be a little slow. Baba but, Bulcha was only about a hundred years ago. Yeah, that, no, yeah. That, that's what that's what no, I'm just trying to explain the situation. You're talking from that time. Yeah. yeah. So what happened is that like a Farid Kabir and all this is the the, the Himes, the slope, which taken from the poets. Okay, Nabi Muhammad was also a poet. Do everybody know about it? So let's not talk about that. Let's go back to Punjabism. So basically it was that. Now Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he had his own words. Why Guru Nanak Dev these two sons never followed? They started their own religion. From Sikhism, there's about six other different religions came out. Are these still in existence? But they, they, they didn't... Yeah, you one minute, one minute. Let, 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 let me just explain that because I have to go. Yeah? There's Uda, the, the Udasis. They're all different, different. They have got different beliefs. This is the same thing. Uh, um, uh, if you see, uh, uh, basically what it is, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, the first guru to the fourth guru. What it is, he couldn't... The Guru Nanak didn't give the takht. 
that is not tact yeah, he no. wanted he wanted somebody else to carry on with the poetry to 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 keep it alive because at the time of guru nanak there was no other poets look into it none yeah and well, before that there was yeah, and that's it yeah you you're speaking in esoteric terms so when you say what stop, what let, me not, Wait, so what let me finish let me finish let me finish. Yeah, he's not and, a Sufi of the Naqshbandi order. He's a Sufi. Uh, can, I, can I finish here? No, let me speak English. Normal, simple English. No? Okay, so basically Guru Nanak is that the sons, he knew the sons, they are not poets. So it's not worth teaching somebody drawing or singing if they do not know how to do it. So Guru Angad Dev Ji was the one who was interested. So second Guru, third Guru, then the fourth Guru came. When the fourth Guru came, he was the one who started Harika Mandar, which is Har Mandar Sahib. Yeah, yeah. From that, it was on the Hinduism. Yeah? It is totally Harikam. And they said, Panjwai Pachai, he was the uh, love, good, this relationship with all that. This is all made up. Yeah, I'll tell you my punchline later on. Then from the, from the fourth guru, it was all family. It yeah. turned into business. Well, I wouldn't say it's turned into a business. No, 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 no wait, let me wait, finish. Wait, wait. Let yeah, me, yeah, yeah, go and on. And it got follow up, follow up. Because the first guru never fight. Second guru, no, no argument. Why didn't uh, Akbar and all that say anything to Guru Nanak? They gave him blame. They said, enjoy yourself, mate. And he carried on. But when he came to the fourth guru, then it became a bit more. How many, how many gurus hymns are there in Guru Granth Sahib? Only? Sir? How many? Hymns. Hymns. I, I think it's only the first, first five. Oh, I think you. it's the first five gurus. So because of that, so now the thing is that if you really look into it, see how many slokes are there by Farid, there's about uh, 200 different and uh, taken from outside, yeah, compiled into Guru Granth Sahib Ji. The Guru slokes Gran... are sayings, yeah, they're not as a, a level of hymns. You yeah, know, yeah, slokes exactly, mean sayings, yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, right. So now the thing is that Guru Granth Sahib is a Darya shows you the way it's a manual you buy a fridge you buy a computer how to fix it that is what Guru said there you are as in river Nein, the, uh, what, the, the path there? to path oh. to go to guru so it is actually if you buy a computer it's there you have to read and fix it that's what guru Granth is listen there's also another reason why guru nanak Dev Ji didn't want to give the guru ship to uh baba shri chant yeah Baba Sri Chand, yeah, he wanted to live a life very much similar to Buddha. Asceticism. Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, no, you need to have two. You, you have need to have a worldly yeah. life. You know what? If you can give me proof of that, yeah, I will give you salute. And I'll give you the proof that I've said. Sorry, you have proof of the reasons why he did the Guru ship didn't go to Baba Sri Chand? G. Proofs. Yes, G. Which proofs? Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the proof. And second thing is that Guru Nanak Dev Ji's body it uh, disappeared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the body, said, yeah. The, the body got disappeared is Farid's. When they took the chapter, it was no policy. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Oda, Kita Siya, Sri Chandya, Oda, was right. That I can give you proof of that as well. You think uh, proof of his funeral? Oh, his funeral right? Paji said <laughs> Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Baba Farid were they around at the same time? No, 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 no not no, at no, no. all. No, you no, know no. what, Guru? Not you know all. Farid? You know Baba Farid? He was so poor. He had his sons. He didn't give the his rights to his kids. He had three kids, and I, one was I've in the been, police. I've been to his darbar. I've been to his darbar. No, no, one minute. Baba and Farid, you know yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Baba Farid, when he passed over, is it Sial Court? Let me park, 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 let me let park, me finish, park, please. Yes, okay. Let me finish, please. When Baba Farid passed over, he they didn't have enough bricks to make his kabar. They broke the house and they put it. And after that. What happened is that they, they said, oh, somebody so, told to his one of his children, he said, better make a darga for him. And that darga, it, this is money-making factory. That's the reason we have got Baba Farid's darga. Nothing to do with Baba, the, Baba Farid. It's not buried. There's nothing at all. Yeah. You said you've got proof. Of, I don't even want to say the sentence. Reluctantly, I'm going to say it. You have Guru Nanak Dev Ji's funeral. 
हां हां जी ओ दा ओ दा सस्कार किदा दी सस्कार सस्कार फ्यूनरल हो गया हां जी हां जी हां जी हां जी यू सेइंग ही कि ही गॉट क्रीमेटेड यप नो आई डोंट ना ना लिसन आई जस्ट नाउ आई गिव यू द आई गिव यू द रीजंस व्हाई what happened is that with us what what will you will you will what? you reiterate that what you're saying is very controversial let me let me let me say something what will you, you guys agree know? that Oh, yeah, can Talichan? I just say to all three of you, like you know, the, there's controversial views in Pakistan as well, in it that some Talichan? Muslims believe that he converted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 okay, there, there's the two covers of Guru Nanak in Pakistan. There are two yeah. covers. Do you know? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know there uh, is. Yeah. Uh, and you are not allowed to make a cover unless there's a body. It's haram. Yes, yes, yes. It's a shrine, otherwise. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay. So, okay. Now I'll tell you what happened to our Sikh. We Sikh, from childhood days, when my father used to tell me stories, it is all stories written by a group which came into power in 1920. That is Uh-oh. when Guru, when there was Harmandir Sahib, the Golden Temple was run by Udasi. But when the British came, they took them out and this, uh, the, 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 this, uh, this, uh, the Saltz and. as gds they took over from that they wrote the books sing sabad all the drawings of guru nanak is actually the, in the army i know and, that i know the the pictures of nanak wait 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 mr sabha guru nanak doesn't have sing a single sabad, photo yeah, yeah the pictures are apparently are real there is no mm. single photo of guru nanak and we are totally haram prohibited to follow any photos yeah i know that i'll agree on that yeah, you don't worship the photo though Raindrop, stop, stop putting pictures up as your avatar, man. We are not stop allowed. Uh, so is, is that, that for all the gurus? <laughs> all, does that go for all the gurus, Paji? All the gurus in Sikhism, the Dasam, Dasam, Dasam Gurudev Jod. This is Guru Granth Sahib. We only follow Guru Granth Sahib. Are you allowed to paint them, draw them? No, we are not supposed to follow. That's it, kaput. So it's kind of bidah then. Yeah, yeah, it's makro. Makro, yeah, makro. Yeah. so we are not supposed to do that and now what i repeat is that taksalis they are the one who have totally destroyed sikhism so this these the taksalis are the same group who in 20, 1928 came into thank power thank you very much yes okay. and now another thing is that i have to go now i will tell you lot why khalistan we are seeking for khalistan why is it what's the history behind it it was supposed to be singhistan before Well, listen. Before you go, how are you going to send me these evidences? Uh, I need to give take... you my email address. Uh, Virat, you can take my telephone number. Everybody have got it. Yeah. My guys, we're going to give your phone number out. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll mute up the. I'll mute up the panel so that you won't be able to hear. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Raj. I'll text. You, I'll text you and I'll buy yeah, yeah, you on the back chat. I'll Actually, we're buying it. But do you? Do you? What do you think about the the reference of the? Wait, wait, wait. Before you ask him a question, let him finish off. I'm fully Haran. You know that I'm Haran. खोली मिलियन सीट फॉलो Now we do have like different sects. So we have the Nirmal. You have like you know little groups, fringe groups, and their numbers But, are maybe a couple thousand. So I'm okay, not you saying. You know what Sid said? Yeah, you know what Sid said. He said six different faiths came out of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. I don't. What do you mean by that? He said a lot. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Wait, wait! If I understood correctly, he was saying that the children of Guru Nanak Dev Ji yeah. set up their own religions. 
It was they, not, they were not. 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 They were not inclined to poetry. That's what I understood. That they were not inclined to poetry, so they weren't chosen to be the next guru. Let me let me clarify that. So they have their own poetry, though. Baba Sultan has his own poetry. Baba I don't understand. It makes no sense. Yeah, but a bit of his oldest son became part of the Hindu ascetic order, like the monkhood. Okay, so the Sri Chand, they were like, I think they followed Vedanta, it was a different branch of Hinduism, and he became an ascetic. Now, the guru religion that he was propagating, the Sikhi religion, is, does not believe in monkhood and, and asceticism. So he said that, okay, you can become an ascetic, but then the guru, the discipleship, he passed on to Bhai Lena, who became Guru Angad Dev Ji, the second guru. So his child, right now, so he lived, his oldest child lived for of more than a hundred years almost and he was a very famous monk uh, an ascetic he never married he didn't you know he basically became like similar to a hindu ascetic so he's pretty much that it was a, a hindu ascetic <clears throat> yo this was this was fascinating because the other big like bombshell there was a few bombshells in it there was yeah, a few bombshells yeah. there was a couple was, of bombshells like one thing you said i think you can draw a picture of that was RPGs, that was everything. What? One, one of the biggest bombshells. Oh, okay. movement, and I'll explain one to you. One of the big All right, cool, Ranger. One second, man. You, you seem to have all these answers, but you never, you haven't brought up any of these points before. You made it like, I'm bringing you made up it out like none of this one. existed. But anyway, anyway, one of the biggest bombshells was the 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 fact that which I don't know which guru it was, but he was cremated, and it was actually someone else's body. Uh, no, or someone he else's saying, body. He, was... oh, Sid said that the first guru uh, was cremated by his son. No, I don't know. Know. no yeah. do you know what the statement he said was? Yeah, yeah, and he then said, the Baba he said, no, he said about the story. Devji that his body didn't disappear and uh, he was cremated. Yeah, yeah. what he's he saying cremated, is that he said about history, Baba Freed, about yeah, Baba the point Freed, he made was... He was never alive at that time. No, 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 no. but, but, but the point he made was it was that Baba Freed's body body that passed away. The story was mixed up basically. Yeah, we have conflated the two stories, which again is very controversial. Right, and what about the shrine thing? The building of a shrine, it was just to attract business and whatnot, to make up that. Is that, oh, is that about Baba Freed's shrine. No, what he said is up to the fourth guru, basically, it was all about poetry. And then after that, he, he was just, Sid was trying to, like, you know. But... No, man, we of need to get back. Of course, it morphed into a martial lot... race. It was. It came, it came first as a spiritual philosophy yeah. and it yeah. morphed into a martial race yeah. for uh, yeah, reasons was, that was were that out of our about, control. About, about Akbar giving um, the first guru's land and whatnot. Yeah, yeah plus, you know what it is? You know when you like, you know when you hear about Guru Nanak Dev Ji and the, you know what, how he was and then, <laughs> and then don't get me wrong and then Raj t tells about, you know, the, the wars and this and that, the two comparisons, you know, you think, hang on, like, they are two different, each guru bought a different thing then, didn't they? Really, oh, like a different oh. teaching. Not different. Uh, no, we well, say expanded, right, expanded upon the same never, theme. No, but Guru Nanak Dev Ji didn't really have any militaristic type of talk or any sort of uh, doctrine for that within Sikhi, within the religion. Whereas, Look, you know, you later could, on, the later on... You yeah, know, but you could on, say it's, it's included in his scripture. Is, is it right? Was it included in the scripture then from initially, from the, from yeah. the beginning? Right, yeah, right, okay, yeah, Nihang, yeah. No, Nihang cites certain scripture where, where the, the opposite... It. So everything was written by Guru Nanak, well, at the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Mm, mm. Not, not everything. Not everything. So mm. the gurus, so to understand the whole concept of Guru ship lasts for 10 I think gurus. it was the first Ji, then the fifth Guru, and then the tenth Guru compiled it and put it no, into a natural... Guru, six, six Gurus, uh, um, they added... Scripture, right. contributed scripture, you could say. Six, six, six. six contributed... That's five. And yeah. then the, the ninth, Guru Tegh Bahadur. Ninth. Ninth. It's, it's the reason why, you know, you mentioned Guru Gobind, it's the reason why you'll never hear Mahela Dasma. Mm. There's no scripture from Guru Gobind Singh Ji. No, 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 no. And which, was he the fifth? He's the last oh, Guru. The, the last, last one, yeah. And the other Gurus, were, he was a baby, he was seven so years how old. Did the, so when, was it ordained that the Guru should, would stop at tenth or what, like, how was it supposed to yes. be? Right, right, it was it was pre. Well, the last right, guru or the last guru decided this. Right, the so last he, guru decided. Yeah, that. yeah. He said, "This will this will be your guru from now on. Your your, your spiritual guide through life." Yeah. Yeah. Did move into a martial the race. The scripture yeah. would be the guru from now on. Is that what exactly. You said? Yeah. We see it the as a guru. guru. 
Like, but you can't, you, you can't, you're not like me and you, you can't buy the Guru Granth Sahib G and take it home. It's not like a like a, any other holy book. Yeah, it's huge. When you fly with it, big. believe it or not, a, a ticket is bought for the this book. It's for, they rent out a whole airplane. They rent yeah. out a royal airplane. Yeah, you yeah, can't you buy know, it. Are, they 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 home. Really, it only really exists big, in Godwari. How yeah. how 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 long are they like? How do they, do they, is it memorized or is it like what what? It can be, but it it's, it's fourteen hundred thirty pages. Fourteen hundred thirty, mm. and they're big and big pages as well. Mm. Yeah, we big. use the word ang for pages. Um, ang limb. Um, the good is limb, as in arms and legs. Um, 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 yeah. yeah, but like, I, I, just to clarify, I don't agree. So what I represent is the mainstream scholarly Sikh point of view that's coming from the mainstream school. What is this, uh, the liberal? The liberal. It's not the liberal. It's it's the. Listen, mainstream there's so many strange beliefs out there. There's a guy on there. I met him at Speaker's Corner. Yeah, he's a Sikh. Mm. Yeah, you see, I, I'll never forget he had a big long white beard, and I met him, and uh, he he's online now. I think he goes by Nij, Nijar Singh, something like that, and he says mm. that Guru oh, Nanak, elderly guy, elderly guy, exactly. You know the one. He's he's saying stuff like Guru Nanak Dev Ji is the second coming of Christ. Oh God, I know him. He's a clown. Yeah? <laughs> so there's countless uh, wacky theories out there. You know what I mean, we can do this yeah. till the. So we could do this for millennia. This, we could yeah, discuss these wacky theories till millennia. You know? Yeah, but Deloitte, let me tell you something. This is a pattern I've noticed. A lot of these wacky theories have come out after 1984. And it's mostly a direct response to what happened in 1984 and this idea of disassociating completely from its dharmic roots. So I've seen that the Sikhs have become almost Taliban. This whole, you know, nonsense about Palestine and all this other stuff, because practically, this is too much, man. It's, it's, it's like it's too much, man. You can't, you can't do that, man. You can't try and denigrate difference of opinion by kind of talking about no Talibanization. Like but, no, there are. There is a big uh, uh, thing Bro, about and, and and reducing it to 1984 is it's just a bit simplistic and it's reductionism of the highest order, man. No, Sid himself said that this thing started off in the 1930s. Uh, it was mostly a political response. What's his background? Uh, what, wait, who is Sid on, on the, the guy Correct that, me if sorry. I'm wrong, but the 1928 reference was about the 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 kind of control that a particular group got and started yeah, to kind of and started one second and started to whitewash and rewrite Sikhi history. Yeah, so this is so after so yeah, these so points that's of got view, nothing to do. That's got nothing. Wait, that's got nothing to do with the 1984. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, it reductionism does. that you just yes, tried yes, to do. It, no, it's not reductionism. So these narratives that that Sid came out with. Uh, these mostly came out after 1984, and this idea of what 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 the common proponent, you know, uh, spoken to some uh, uh, yeah, uh, raindrop, raindrop. Sorry, raindrop. Paji said saying, um, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji went back to uh, where they stayed for the last 18 years, why did they not compile um, uh, the Granth Sahib then? Why did they have to wait? Not the second guru, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. He, like you said, it exactly like this, and the the fifth or the sixth guru, he had to compile it. No, so he, person... you know what he he he's he's asking loaded question there. He's obviously got a, a, an answer for his question. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I can answer like... that. It's, no, it's it's a symbol. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji, his hymns were collected and passed out to different um, follower groups that the groups they were following, and these. Yeah. Uh, so the second guru did the same thing, his teachings, his, his writings. What happened was that by the time the fourth, uh, um, no, the fifth guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, he, he, what happened at that time, Guru after during Guru Arjan Dev Ji's time, there were forgeries, there were, because Sikhism was expanding and becoming bigger and bigger. The yeah. community was getting larger and larger. So what happened at that time, they found other scriptures, okay, that were claimed to be the guru's writings. So what the guru himself did was he compiled it in a standard form. Then uh, that's why we call it the Adi Granth. So is, I don't see any contro controversy of that. I don't see the any. Um... No, no, no. You just asked me to ask. ask yeah, that. no, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. What, what is he on, no, wait, no, but, on the but, comment but, section? What's his name? That said, guy. Uh, from an outsider's perspective, though, rain, raindrop. From an outsider's perspective, though, um, the fact the fact it, uh, of non-compilation in the time of the first four how many how many was it title how many was it? that from the outsider's perspective seems that you know it's a bit you might have an answer for it but it kind of it is it does pose a question as to why it wasn't 
uh, compiled in the first five uh, Guru's time. Listen, without being controversial, yeah, we, when we, was the Quran compiled after? When was the when was the, yeah, uh, the Bible word, compiled? You could do what about ism? You could deflect, and we can answer that. We could over that question. No, I can answer about it. Islam no, 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 I can answer the the point. So with guru, the guru ship, this is what you call guru means teacher, guider. Okay, the guru ship lasted for ten gurus. So it's like how can you? You're not going to compile one thing at one go, because that would t- defeat the concept of the guru ship. The guru ship. That's why I'm using the concept of the dharmic traditions. The guru ship is a descendancy. It's a lineage. It goes from one guru to the next guru to the next guru. Each guru expands the scripture until the final moment where we say that this path. But that, guru, yeah, yeah, I get, that look, I know, listen, I know you that. have to understand they all were following Guru Nanak Dev Ji's scripture. Yeah. When I all got, of the guru, I, when all of the gurus woke up in the morning, they all read Japji Sab. Yeah. They all read his, Guru his Nanak Dev Ji. Yeah, his writings were his writings were written down by the, himself, and they exactly. were distributed to different groups. And then when the second guru came, he did the same thing. His writings were distributed to different groups. Now the person who compiled started compiling them was the fifth guru because the teachings were getting expanding. So then he compiled it and it said, "This is the Adi Granth." So Adi, we, the other definition of Adi means half. We, we're lucky, yeah, that the authors wrote it from their own hands. Yeah. That's They're what I'm trying to tell hands, yeah? And our last guru, our last living guru, you could say in a, in a humanly body, sorry, living guru is the wrong word to use, but, uh, you know, wrote it and confirmed it and would write a word after each um, section, should, should meaning correct. This is yes. correct. Yeah, this, is a, this is the advantage that we have as, as a Sikh is that the gurus themselves wrote it in their own handwriting. And you're so right, Pai the... Mani Singh was a scribe. Yeah, and he copied and... it. Mm. So, the, so Bhai Mani Singh, so there are two, Baba Deep Singh and Bhai Mani Singh, that uh, after Guru Gobind Singh Ji, he, they, prepared, he prepared the kagas, the paper. Yeah, the paper, the writing it down, the, mm. the it's making sure all the words are right and everything is right. And that was done under the Guru's direction. So there is someone write all this thing down in front of me. Imagine that. So we had that. We had each Guru wrote it down on a piece of paper. And then they gave that piece of paper to their next in line, the second in line. Does that help, Zuriya? Like, does that clarify things? Like, imagine Jesus Christ came and wrote down all his teachings. That's what we had. Mm. Like, so there's very little way that you can try to, like, yeah, I'm, you know, I mean, imagine Christ himself wrote the Bible. You know, it's like that. Now there are things. Yeah, but... in, so that there are things of the Guru Granth Sahib that that, for example, Baba Freed, his poetry is in there. The uh, the, the the action, the history of Bob, among the different demigods and the demons, that's in there. That's in the Guru Granth Sahib because it is a dharmic tradition. It's listing history, and when it listed um, Sant Kabir, who was part of the, he was not. He was part of the Hindu um, uh, Bhakti movement. Okay, Kabir Sant. Okay, they they call it the Kabir Pan. Okay, then they had Namdev. Okay, they had like all these other these these uh, Hindu um, holy uh, holy figures in, in, from the past, which they included their writings because the Sikh religion is a universal religion. It sees that truth is universal. The concept of one God is universal. Okay, and what they were trying to teach is teaching anyone of any religion that the main goal in life should be love of God, love of the Creator, and the best way what we call bhakti. I don't know, does it make sense? It makes sense. What you said. <laughs> Am I saying anything wrong? You know, I, 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 no, I, I, I agree. Jumping, I was kind of Thank jumping you. in and out, but from the sounds of what Sid was saying, I mean, this could be just like ba- just bastardizing it, but was he kind of indicating that it sounded like maybe it wasn't intended necessarily to be a religion? Possibly. Or, or a formalized uh, martial religion. Yeah, no, I, I Listen, he's he's religion. throwing in a lot of controversies. That guy, a lot, no, but, a lot of controversies. But, but, no, it was. So, yeah, let me tell you, uh, but, but Chan, just to say something like he said something to me before, like something about uh, about Islam, which was like madness. So I would really like to see his proofs for what he was saying today, because he did say some stuff that was, you know, like you said, very controversial. <laughs> very. <laughs> Let me, about, let, me, let me explain about the, the idea that the Sikh is not supposed to be religion. That's not true because what we call is called Sikh Dharm. Dharm, Dharma. So each, so Dharma means path or Dharma means duty. 
okay, in different terminologies. That's why in India, when we call it the Dharmic religions, followers of the Buddha, you have Sanatan Dharma, those who follow the eternal path, like we call Hindus, okay? Yeah, like actually, just different ways to get to right? And then we have Jain Dharma, Jain, those who follow Jain, Mahavir Jain. And then we have Sikhi Dharma. It's like Shia. It's like Shia. It's not Shia, like Shia. Followers, of, followers uh, of this, followers of that. Why, why was uh, why was Khalistan supposed to be called Singhistan then? Or Singhistan? Yeah, I, I, don't I didn't used to. I've never heard that terminology ever in my life. Yeah, Singhistan. No, I mean, Sing was, was a word that was around before Sikhi. Yeah, Singapore says so the Sing means lion. It's a Sanskrit word. It means Singha means lion. I don't know what you're saying. That's what you're saying. It's it. the, the Sikh homeland, the land of the pure. Yeah. Khalsa, what the does pure. Khalistan mean? That's Khalsa, isn't it? Khalsa, yeah, Khalsa is the, the pure, the pure ones. It's like Park. Istan. Exactly. exactly. Same reason same, why it's called Pakistan. Same, same logic, same term. Like, same reason because Park means just, pure. Yeah. Park is yeah, but I mean, you, you, know, you could make an argument for what Sid was saying in a sense that because Singh would necessarily be a specific indication for like sick, like males. So it's yeah. kind of that's, the same idea as Khalsa. They, they were almost following the same line, right? Not really, because you've got, you got people whose surname is Singh and, and they're, they they're not name. Sikhs. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, that's true. So you get Hindu things as well. And there's yeah, things, or oh, there's things in Trinidad. There's people in Trinidad, Tobago that uh, came from India. Yeah, they're standing sing. That's true. But they're they not. Sing from Hindu right? terminology. The word "sing" comes from "singa." If you go to Singapore, the, the word "Singapore" comes from line "singa." It's like "singa beer," isn't it? That beer, I'm sure it's called "singa." <laughs> it is, isn't it? That yeah, is, you're right. Actually, yeah, it yeah, is. No, it is. The guys who own it, they sit. I'm sure he's singing. Uh, but it's called singing. Yo, Charlie Chan, when, you get the, when, you, when he sends you the proofs, bro, come back on the panel and tell us what it was. After that, email. <laughs> no, but Terlochen, let me tell you. Terlochen, make you know. sure you check your DMs. Yeah, I'm going to send you uh, the city. No, but Terlochen, Terlochen, let me, let, let me tell you. I've seen, I've seen things like this in Canada um, in which the, this afternoon... That's why I don't really put too much weight in these. What's Sid's America. background? Is he, is he a Sikh? Or what's, yeah, where is he? He's Sikh. He's Sikh background. Yeah, he is. He was. He had a funny accent. He's Indian, he has an Indian accent. He's a Malaysia, but he's a Sikh. Oh, so he's in Malaysia. No, he's here. He's, oh, he's here. here. He's a Malaysian. He's, he's, he's a Malaysian Sikh. Malaysian Sikh. Okay, because there's a I god that actually him made. Sikh and I think he said culturally, maybe or something. I don't think he said he still practices though. It's is interesting because uh, there's a Gurdwara near Speaker's Corner in a place called Shepherd's Bush and they have a big Malaysian uh, Sikh community that I visit. Well, I wonder if maybe he uses that Gurdwara. Yeah, I don't know. This is sure. the thing. In England, you guys have Sikhs from like... Sikhs the whole Commonwealth. I was going to say, I didn't even know there were Sikhs from Malaysia. I didn't even know that. Well, I, yeah, there's Gurdwara there. I didn't know that until I visited Malaysia. Cause my, there's Gurdwara in Tehran. There's a Gurdwara in there's Iran. There's a Gurdwara in Tehran. Yeah, there's no... Uh, from the from Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time. No, but there's a big Sikh community in Malaysia and Singapore. Mm. The yeah. main defense minister. Yo, Sikh. yo but when sorry, Raindrop, when he said that there were six six faiths that came yeah, out of. That. Let me yeah, see. That was, that was, so if he's talking yeah. about his kids, then the argument would be either you should follow the kids. That they, maybe that he didn't. No, no, no. no maybe maybe Sid either characterized it incorrectly or that the kids didn't even see Sikhi as like a. As a as a dharma definitely, or whatever. Definitely. Well, like, no, hold on, hold on. The, the idea, the idea, and this goes back to the scripture element. Yeah, the idea of one specific script or one specific text being there would, I mean, in, in logically, it would make sense that his children would preserve that and pass it on. But it seems in their own scriptures, they were poets as well. No, they but had. I think that they had poetry. Yeah. There was nothing you know, compiled you know, in Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time. To, to look in, you know, like in them days, back in them days, they had like poets, uh, you know, like uh, they had followings, they had gatherings, majlis, they had... Wait, uh, which one was it? Which one is it then? Was there was there a uh, compiled text at the time of the first Guru or, or wasn't there? There wasn't because a compiled, compiled like, as in like a, like a Bible. Like yeah, a compiled, but not compiled. But there was yeah. his writings existed. His writings? But there was, teachings and writings were there. His writings, but not in his order. Poetry, not his poetry was written. Wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Uh, his, his poetry and writings were compiled and passed to different groups that were part of the Sangha. During Guru Nanak Dev Ji's time, his own handwriting. Yeah, yeah. And Sangha means second, con congregation. Yes, his yeah. congregation. Now, when the second Guru came and the third Guru came, they did the same thing. Now the was, was Guru Nanak Dev Ji's congregation of Hindus and Muslims? 
course it was. There no, was only was those two there. people. It was no, only those two groups that I'm, lived I'm, near I'm, him. I'm, I'm, I want to ask you something. Sorry, you know, about Guru Nanak, they, 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 they why only those just... that group that lived around him? Yeah, yeah. You know, when Guru Nanak, he had a lot of followers. His followers were from the Hindu and Muslim faith. Yeah. You know, they were the proper devotees. And, right. um, yeah, and he used to recite, you know, like all sorts of. No, he didn't. He didn't just recite poetry. Not just poetry, but you know, um, yeah. But you know what I mean, in But that was the, it. Was like a, that was the thing he spoke about God and stuff like that. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, in it. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it was in a common language that everyone understood, and they all understand this oneness. And you know, uh, so basically, what's um, I've heard something him say that if you, uh, one of his poems is uh, goes something along the lines that uh, to make society better, to make the world better, uh, with you two people that. I Muslim to be a Muslim and the Hindu to be a Hindu and all the world's problems can go away. You know, that's to, you, along them lines, I don't know the exact words, but no. trying to say that if you follow your faith properly, there will be no There's one saying that's attributed to him, he says, it says, first be, become part of humanity first before you, um, but then there's other Sikhs that say that he never said that. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I never heard that. Like I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I even saw that on basics of Sikhi video, believe it or not. No, so wait up, let me explain because the, this is a problem. Even uh, Jagra, Bhai Jagrat Singh was explaining that uh, the Sikhs they don't understand the references because you have to actually read those references from the Vedic perspective. When you understand it from the Vedic perspective, then everything makes sense. You're like, oh, okay, this is what he's talking about. So, for example, the, the point that Guru Nanak Diji was saying, he said, uh, there is people who are Muslim. For, for example, in the Guru Granth Sahib, there's a verse that um, first, the person you can call a Muslim is one who is merciful to all living beings. Mm. That means if you're a Muslim and killing an animal, you're not showing mercy to a, to a human being or to any 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 being, right? You have to be merciful to all living beings, okay? So that's what is but the truth. But then that would so go you, against you, those... The, that would go against those warriors who do animal sacrifice. Yeah, so what I'm trying to... Yeah, so the Nihangs, when they do the animal sacrifice, from the Nihangs, okay, which is a very different, uh, it's not like the mainstream, uh, they, they're the elite within the elite, okay, they, before they go out to worship, they pay their respects to the goddess, Durga, they call it Pritam Bhagoti, okay, the sacrifice that they do is to the warrior goddess for victory in the war. The prayer is called Chandi Divar. Chandi Divar, Chandi Divar. It's a whole hymn of the goddess killing the demons. So she's a female god. Fe not female god, sorry. So is that, main, is that mainstream? Is that mainstream? Sikhi? No, it's just for the Nihangs. It's oh, a way to rile one, up the... the class imagine class. you're going to war. Imagine you're going to war. It's a way to rile up the troops, you know, yeah, to get, get you get ready you. for war. Sure, because... It's pretty big. Big. Uh, 500,000, I think, or up to a million. Mm. But they're just pure warriors. They're the elite of the elite of the Khalsa. So the, there's a big the, movement now in this country of, of them as well. There's quite a big move. Bills or management or is there any institutionalized stuff inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it dal. So we have dal means um, congregation. Like we have Buddha dal, uh, Dandami Taksal. Yeah, have, in the beginning uh, they were called missiles, weren't they? The yeah, missiles. Missile. Now we have the Akal Tat, which is like the, the main religious body in Amritsar. Okay, and then uh, out of that, they have different little subgroups. So, we, for, for example, son, uh, Bindrawale, you know, Bindrawale, son Bindrawale, he was the person in 1984. He was from Dandami Taksal. Now, Dandami Taksal is very closely related with the Nirmalas, the Nirmala Singhs. And the Nirmala Singhs and also Dandami Taksal follow very close. I think he wants to come back on that RS Sid. Okay. Ada, Pali, Ada. Was he the yeah, guy maybe, saying the controversial can, stuff earlier? He can explain, yeah, yeah. He, maybe he can explain why I said uh, Singhistan is for Sikhs and Khalistan mm, is... Let me make a mug of green tea before yeah, he comes I'm going to make some tea as well. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've been sitting is there it? keeping an eye on the right, You know what? The chat's <laughs> going a bit mad. I need to go and make more. I've talked about Sikhism for hours. I love... I mean, Where are you ahead of you? Green tea. You guys have red bush tea. How do you feel about that? Red bush tea one? is the one, one, man. Yeah, big up. Wicked, isn't it? I'll tell you the one I've Manu got. A little bit of teaspoon of manuka honey. Oi, yeah, now you're talking, bro. Yeah. That's, a proper, that's a proper winter war. So when, 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 when I talk about six different religions. Now, what happened is that Guru Nanak Dirji's oldest son, his name is Sid, Sweet. If that's Sid, camera's off. Wow. No, that's mine, Dan. Oh, what do you reckon? 
done. Uh, yes, Proper right. things. Exactly right. Green tea. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, so the point I'm trying to explain, like these faiths, these the that's why I'm always trying to emphasize the point of dharmic. Okay, the dharmic faiths were never in conflict with each other. So Sri Chand, he was the or, he was the head of the order of the Udasis, and the Udasis was a, was a part of Hinduism. Like it was a Hindu branch. He was the Hindu ascetic, a monk. Okay, mm. and his son, the Sri Chand, had huge interactions with the first, I think, five gurus. Like he, he advised. Yeah, them. I know they're not, they're not completely separate to our history. They met the on they met the gurus afterwards and discussed. Yeah, they discussed. Wait, did you see with the first five gurus? So that means that they were like kind of all, they weren't in subs like they weren't um, going. Uh, one passes away, then the next. They they were contemporaries of each other. No, 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 no. Oh, the, like he, that means that they were alive though when his son was alive. That's what I'm saying. His son stayed alive for they say about 100, yeah. 120 years. He lived for a very long time. He was an ascetic, like you know the yogis, like the monks, like they, they meditate and they're like he was very like he, like if you looked at him, he he had like very um. A, oh, so uh, did people. many of your gurus like die early or like young? So one one guru, um, Guru Har Krishan, he was made guru as a child, as a baby, and he died at the age of seven. In, in in their scriptures, do they? He was made guru um, at the age of three, wasn't he? Have they? Have, have do yeah. they say like do they proclaim um, prophethood or divinity like very clearly in the scriptures? Guru Nanak yeah. Dev Ji did. Yeah. Guru Nanak Dev Ji and the, the other ones. Like I said, you know, they're 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 just the new Nanak. Yeah. So what we see the the body is a vessel, them. the soul, the spirit, the guru the, that they call it. Um, Argue that they could be like the nine imams and one yeah, prophet, maybe similar, something similar, 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 similar. You could say that's a similar. That's why I could understand the Shia perspective better than the Sunni. I'm like, because I can understand the imams and the whole, and I think that's a better way because then you there's not much confusion because you have some guidance, some spiritual authority figure that tells you, you know. So I mean that that could, that's why to me, in my eyes, I see the Shia. I guess the biggest difference would be if the next nine uh, gurus after. Um, Guru Nanak, after Guru Nanak, yeah, after Guru Nanak, uh, it, has said, it wouldn't received... be the same. It would be. It wouldn't be the same. Uh, it wouldn't be the uh, same. But yeah, because, I was just no, saying, like, if they receive a major, any, no, a revelation wait, or not, though. there's a major difference because one, the it, uh, the official kind of guru lineage, yeah, it's not it's not one based by blood. That's the first thing. Second, secondly, you don't have you don't have uh, the sons of the first guru who follow in the footsteps of their father. For example, as you said, these lot, yeah, these yeah. people went on. to he wasn't, he wasn't organized, he wasn't centralized like that. So it's not the same at all. Sri Chan did not invent his own thing. He joined the monk order, the order of the monks, the Hindu monks, the ascetic order. He didn't just invent his own religion. So he went, he went, he went explicitly against his father's direction. Because you said earlier that Guru Nanak and Sikh, he doesn't allow uh, asceticism. No, the Sikh, the Sikh religion, it, it, it doesn't encourage or it doesn't allow idol worship. That's going against his own father. Sishan took a different path. He took yeah, he took a different path from his father. But it was he he wanted to renounce worldly life. Yeah. That like a, a like normal, an like he wanted it just to be like a spiritual life, as in like contemplating under a tree, you know. But yeah, Guru like Nanak a hermit. Like, no, yeah. Yeah. Good morning. like, no, you need to have both. So if Guru Nanak was saying you gotta have both. Then isn't isn't is Zirya kind of saying something wrong? Then I think he is kind of saying it right. Then that, that he kind of went against his dad's maybe recommendations or guidelines. No, yeah, could yeah. Say that. I no, don't know. His um, father, his father. Every person. This is this is what I'm trying to explain. Like the, the dharmic concepts are very very different from the Abrahamic concepts. We don't believe there's only one path for liberation or or, or, or to. You go to God. The paths, and each path is there depending on the person's mental IQ, their their spiritual, you know, the level of spirituality that they have. Everyone's not a robot. Everyone's not just going to lock, you know, walk in one step. Religion, I call it a universal religion. It didn't force, you know, his kids to, you know, oh, you have to become Sikhs or you have to do this. No, but depending on the inclination that you have in your heart, you follow that path. 
So Sri Chand, his so mother's that means, son. That means that it's not really like, um, like that means it's like the Abraham revelation Abraham. itself and things like this. It's not necessarily saying, hey, this is what you should be doing then. It's, it, it doesn't force anyone. It doesn't say like, it's, it's not like... Um, uh, uh, I understand, bro. Okay, is that is that uh, I'll, I'll, I'll rephrase it. Is that is that a punishment for not following certain things? Uh, reincarnation. So, I mean, that's punishment right, for not any, following certain. I mean, it like depends. Certain, so certain aspects, certain aspects of your religion, not following them. Uh, is there any sort of punishment in regards to shunning a person or? Uh, you, you know, like exiling people. You know, like back in the days, they had these things about a person would be exiled, let's just say, if they're not, you know, uh, capital punishment or some sort of punishment is not inflicted on them. Is there any sort of judicial system within Sikhi that, you know, like you have like a, uh, you know, like a Sharia. legal system, shall I say? Uh, yeah. yeah, like a, like a sort of no, system. No, no, no. It, jurisprudence. It, the, the, the Sikh perspective, the Sikh path, it's, it lays more emphasis on the spiritual path of loving and getting that loving connection with God. But it doesn't ignore the material realities. So, for example, like the Buddhist... Yeah, hold on, right wise, so you're, you're saying reincarnation. Hold on, you're saying reincarnation. So, yeah, if punishment. you don't follow it properly, the punishment would be that you would return like and have to live again, in a sense. In a, yeah, lower, form. A in a lower form. No, I okay, mean, so it, then, depends. it depends. But like it's like you have to keep on re-experiencing birth. That's the punishment in itself. It's like you keep on having to. It's like Groundhog Day. You know the movie. You keep on having to come back again and again. Who the hell wants death, suffering, diseases again and again? Like that's yeah. The, but that's, that means that the argument is then by that logic, that means that if you do not, if you deviate from what the guidance is, then there is a punishment associated with it. It may not be in this life as a literal punishment, but there is a punishment for it. So that means that. Is a punish, yeah. so punish, what's, okay. what's the guidance what? that you're supposed to kind of stay on? Okay, let me let me explain this point. It's a good question. So the, the concept of God, right? It's Sikhism. Uh, that... Raindrop, Raindrop, I, I'm just gonna stay for a bit because if yeah, um, if the, the Lutcher wants to come back on, I'll let him back on because uh, it's actually a good conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit shocked. RSA, big up to RSA, but uh, I don't, I've never like heard of. You know, yeah, but um, the, the, what he's saying is very is totally on the fringes. I've never heard this stuff. So, all right, fair enough. Everyone can have their own kind of like uh, way of. Yeah, I don't think Zuraki is cremated, or you can't draw pictures. Like the, I don't know where he's getting these things. Like right, with, so, okay. so with the picture stuff, because I do drawings. Yeah. Now the problem is this with pictures. If you're praying to a picture, then you're doing then you're do, doing it against the key. If it's you're shit. if you're Drawing the infinite is what, exactly what they look. <coughs> then you're wrong. Yeah, what you're doing, like when you look at raindrops picture, that's a drawing I've done of Baba Deep Singh. Now I don't know whether that looked like Baba Deep Singh exactly, or if I draw a guru, I don't know if it was Guru Nanak Dev Ji exactly. It's a representation. Now if I say to you now that is a hundred percent him. That's what he looked like. And when I'm doing my prayers, I'm praying to the picture. To then that's then, shit. Yeah, then that's wrong. You shouldn't be doing that. It's just a, a, a you know kind of like out of respect. Yeah, we don't we, we don't believe in worshiping these pictures, and anyone that is doing that and is a Sikh yeah, yeah. is going against our faith. Yeah, Guru Nanak is actually very young when the uh, most of his travels, like he was not like the, usually the picture they portray him as a very elderly, old, you know. But it, it, look, this is a representation. This is not like an exact photograph. They didn't have cameras in the 1500s, so it's like. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, if you look at Guru Gobind Singh Ji, we've got a very crude painting. Um, I can't remember exactly where it's actually uh, what Gurudar is now, but it's it's very it gives a basic kind of yeah, description, basic. a very basic. I I know he, he's a particular build. I know he's a particular length of dari. I know a particular maybe the kapre. So like that one main the, picture that everyone uses, it's not necessarily what he looked like. Well, in terms of features, I mean, I, we we haven't got like because remember Indian art was not like Western art. You know, we didn't have Raj, what you call Raj, them. Ba Raj. Raj Paji Sid's got uh, something for you. One second, he just told me. Uh, right. Yeah, he's saying. Um, uh, I don't know how to. Do, how do I read this? Uh, it's just one. Well, tell him. Tell, out, tell, tell him. Tell him. Out, out of Sikhism, one Udasi. Two, ah, I was explaining that. Three yeah. Nanakpati, four Khalsa, uh. five Sahaj Sahajdari, uh, yeah, yeah. Namdari, Nirmal Namdari, 
ਸਤ ਨਿਰਮ ਨਿਰਮ ਨਕਾਰੀ ਅਠ ਸਰਵਾਰੀ ਸਰਵਾਰੀਆ ਯਾ ਯਾ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਦੈਟ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਹੈਵ ਐਨ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਟ ਇਨ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਆਫਟਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਹੀ ਸੰਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਚੰਦ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਮੂਵਡ ਆਫ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਹੈਡ ਦੇ ਓਡਸੀ ਸੈਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਲੋਟਸ ਆਫ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਲਿਟਲ ਮਾਈਨਰ ਸੈਕਸ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਸੀ ਵਾਈ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਕਰਾਜਸ ਯਾ ਮੀਨ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਜਸ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਮਾਈਨਰ ਸੈਕਸ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਸੀਕਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਪਰੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਆਵਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ or later on right. so the kind of like you, you know, know you can ask like for example like the 5k's is this outlined very clearly by yeah. guru nanak no 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 no, no that's no. actually by guru gobind singh ji 200 years later so there's a yeah. sect of in sikhism uh, called the nam tadis and they've actually got a gurudwara next to my next to where i live but they don't believe in one of the 5k's which is a kirpan uh, did you know that uh, um, uh, range of so they believe in the 5k's but they don't believe in the kirpan the, the, the logic from Well, they're more of a um I would say they, they they don't really take the militaristic aspect of Sikhi like the way the way the mainstream Sikhs do. So you'll see them and they're much more I don't, I don't want to say the word hippie-ish, but they are kind yeah, of yeah, like I get, more, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, they might yeah. When you see them they don't you want Liberal you can wait, you can wait by that. That by that lot Guru Nanak Dev Ji as a uh, hippie. I I mean what I'm saying I don't mean it uh, uh, no it, it, without being me, disrespectful yeah, yeah it, it, let yeah, me say that when I say hippie I don't mean in the disrespectful, disrespectful way, way I, but you know I, in the I good mean, way yeah, yeah I mean, you, I, I mean like they call more it. of a kind of like a um a saintly kind of uh order where, where you know they don't believe in certain things like remember like you know the, the Sikhs only become militaristic after maybe 16 um like 70s or something like that or not like in century yes. 17th century right this is After, fascinating you know you know why it's fast so the go first one yeah, uh, yeah, let me finish say off. so the first one uh, was more of a what you call kind of um, you know like more what i call like you know gurunanak did they were more of now after the the fifth guru um he got executed guru arjan dev ji and he uh, got gobind then militarized the seats because yeah. his father was persecuted and he was execute who became a guru at the age of 3 uh, no 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 that's a late run so basically so when you have the the, the seats becoming militaristic i mean i don't like saying this but i know you're going to go don't use the muslim uh, kind of a uh, abrahamic example but it's the easier in the medina period it's an easier way for me to uh, kind of explain it because you have a 200 year history of the seat gurus and you would see one side of the seat gurus as very what you call passive non militaristic and that would be the before the first five guru the first uh, five guru and then the the other gurus after that although not all of them were militaristic it became the the sikh panth or the sikh uh, religion or the sikh people of the khalsa became militaristic after that slowly it took a, it took time it in period in the medina period right so before you don't see those no, it's not it's not it's nothing like that it stops off with all of that diversion yeah, no, but, 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 but no, no but no, the point no, is one second one second no, no, no i heard no, you don't need to give any other example just I mean, it's, it's, you're keeping it in uh, over that but just sometimes no, it's no, a no, good no, not getting better. it's just it's just it's not beneficial if you're trying to explain it to other people and other people are telling you just tell us from your perspective no but the most of the anyone to continue in do it away case, in any case the you know, way I'm Muslim I'm Muslim right, 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 right. explain it it go the way I'm going to explain it my way whatever, I'm going to do it man, man. 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 So I will say my day you just you just said your piece though you guys come on man come on both of you literally just let me finish you can't out talk me you there's did, no way you did you literally you just finished did not. Anyway. So let me explain what i'm going to anyway. say yeah so the audacity, the audacity the audacity were a very wait, wait, early group oh. right, i'm going to keep were, it over they were the, they were the followers of the son of guru nanak i would keep on doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until i say my piece so you know the guru so let me just go first guru son then we come oh sorry i was we want to keep on doing this and trying to shut us that is you're just going to lose no no one's going to lose because no, i'm going to no, no we're going to lose but you anyway black like i say so let's say can i explain something so i will explain it black like i say yeah, yeah my, well, my, apparently by your rules but i'm going to go by your rules so if well, i would ask the group for apparently the followers of the sun i would do it i would do it in my way so so wrong with them. 
me, let me finish my oh, sentence. No. So what I was going to say, without it interrupting like yourself, had his I own cannot say it in that way, because I'm going to say it anyway. Is so that true or not? Of a Hindu I'm, order. But, no. right, so, Raindrop, let me say my piece here. because I'm going to say, say my piece. So, basically, the way you can see this... Well? But, Raindrop, don't answer Yo, him. Don't answer big, him, yeah? Big, big so respect to Hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Enough respect, man. Big up to Pepsi Watson inside. Big up Crime and Justice TV. Enough respect to you as well, bro. Welcome, man. You presented it, Raindrop. You presented it as though these are like marginal groups. Not talk if raindrops are going to talk to you back. These are very orthodox at their time. So what you need to do here is that you need to oh, let me finish. Yeah. Right, yo, 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 yo. If, if you want, rules. yo, let me get the, let me get the timer out. Big up to Iduki. Go right, so let me just uh, finish my sentence, which you wouldn't let me you, finish. You finished it, man. You finished it. No, I didn't. Ago, well, you said yeah, I finished you it, but right, I hadn't. But finish I had... your sentence, and then we're going to give you a minute right, and a half right, each. Right. Yeah. So let me explain something. We're trying to explain that. Within Sikhism, some people might get confused because they don't understand the time scale of the Gurus. It's over a 200-year period from the 1500s to the 1700s. And so the Sikhs have transitioned from the beginning part, which you might consider Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Oh, this is the, the longest founder, sentence ever, man. The founder of Sikhism. And most, the first five Sikhs um, uh, Gurus were actually very passive and more of a kind of like a spiritual leaders. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the Sikh Guru, because his father was executed, the Sikhs become militaristic. Now, when it comes to the ninth Guru, he was also executed, Guru Teg Bahadur. And that's when his son, Guru uh, Govind Singh Ji, which was uh, also um, Guru Har Gobind Singh Ji's grandfather, then totally militarized the Sikhs. And, and the best way to con the best way to separate the two is to the way you might see uh, um, Prophet Muhammad in the beginning during the Medina I think it's period very peaceful and then when it comes to the point where, where <laughs> we have to fight whatever way whichever way it was but yeah, basically yeah, but, then the, second, anyway. but then so, the second and a half alright right, I'm not I'm not finished when we use that reference because he knows it's right I have not finished my sentence you said it was a sentence I have yes I basically Sentence, you, dude, I am going to talk Yo, Dan, all night. Come on, man. Is it a sentence. sentence like 12 I minutes ago? I have not finished the come on, man. Of my Are you, you going to constantly defer oh, to this guy? Um, big, up, big up to RS Sid. Much appreciation, man. Big up. Well, big up to RS Sid. Let me just finish. Next time, just say Let paragraph. Let me finish a paragraph. Let me just finish the paragraph. Dude, this is too no, long, we're gonna man. Go all night. We'll go on all night if we want to go that way. So just for yeah, it to yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. It's going to end in seconds. I can shoot as well, man. Very easily. I can constantly cut you off as well. It's not that hard, man. It's not. Don't think that it's some type of a skill that you have. It's very easy to do. You just talk over and just say nonsense. We just keep on moving. That's what happens. Same thing. You don't like me saying the end part of it. So I, don't care I am about saying, what you're saying. That's the reality. Whether you care, you're irrelevant. No, who cares you're, what you're saying? Anyway, you're a peasant. You're just you're a demonstration. demonstration. You railed the whole yeah, conversation. Like the cut off. Yo, Dan, you're a cut off. 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 You've got so 10 you seconds to finish well. it. Yeah, yeah, finish a lot of I've got the timer up, so I'm ready for the next one. Oh, After this it's, it's a very, it's a very kind of, it's very <laughs> immature what? way of getting your way, isn't it? It's just the that shit. Um, but just people just be like, oh, you know, we would rather just let him finish. Just when I was going to finish, actually pull, pull him you in line. Continue, and then you didn't interrupt. Talk about it on your own show. Go and do it on your own show, man. Basically, you could. Anyways, in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you going to allow whatever. finish my sentence whatever, or the paragraph and then we can move on in 10 seconds? No, it was a sentence a minute so ago. What? To do yet. I'm, I'm just going to carry on shit, sorry. No, Zirya, no, don't do that. Don't do that because it, it's just, yes. and you're both as bad as each other. Don't do that. Right, let me give yeah. you one minute. Right. Yeah, so one what? minute. The difference is, the I've difference got... is when he does it, he gets his own way. Dan, I've got 10 seconds. It's not to finish. So basically, oh, you can you see it in the, in one of the, so, right, you, so basically, you can see it as the way that you, some people describe Prophet Muhammad's life with the beginning of his life was quite peaceful, but because he was being persecuted, he would then become militaristic. The Sikhs are the same way. The first hundred years or so were very passive. And then, then they become militaristic because they were being persecuted, not because they wanted to fight back, because they had to fight back and defend themselves. That was it. All right, so we got one minute each starting from now. <laughs> so, so he gets five minutes and then everyone else gets a minute and a half. You can have a minute and a half if you want. How long do you need? I, I gotta I be going, know, guys, in five minutes. 
Yeah, Any questions? No, this is the thing, man. Obviously, it's not about having the time. We're having a conversation, and, to, and then this guy has to jump in and uh, and uh, no, I, look. I have to leave in five minutes. Please ask yeah, me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in five minutes. I've been for four hours now. Uh, okay, so, so, yeah, we'll go on, okay, then. Uh, okay, I'll take the minute and I'll go because right. I have to really run. So, right. guys, what All I'm right. going to say is, um, if you look at the history and the exogenesis of Sikhism, right, you have to make sure that you look at it through the dharmic perspective. Because if you don't, then you're going to start getting confused and say crazy things like Sid and other people, you know, talk that the... <laughs> that there's supposed to be a Singhistan, not a Khalistan. And the problem is he's not unique. I've met people in Canada and in America because of 1984 or because through this weird and strange concepts that tried to divorce Sikhi from the Dharmic roots. And I think that's very dangerous because then what will happen is that you will not understand any of the references or any of the teachings and it'll just become like a a mishmash or a hodgepodge of, of, of you know, strange ideas. Um, so that's why, you know, like uh, I'm very, I follow the mainstream school, what the mainstream says. Like I'll, uh, I mean, I don't do or say, but I do have an understanding that, you know, we are part of the Dharmic worldview. And if you understand right. that, then everything in Sikhi will make sense. All right. Thank you. In here. So what I was saying is that um, the, these I'm getting a I'm getting a uh, firmer grasp onto 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 all of this. So as far as I'm as far as my limited reading goes, it seems that they were very orthodox, what you would consider orthodox sects at the beginning of of uh, or the genesis of Sikhi, where the sons of the uh, of the first of the first gurus, yeah, went on to create their or went on to make their own kind of uh, sects. So there's I, this is something I learned today. There's, there's, there's different sects in Sikhi. Um, that's, and that's very, very interesting. Yeah, so just just so, to make a correction, I mean, there is no, no, I mean, you don't need to. Um, no need to. Because I'm no, talking is, now. Because I, you I said something wrong. No, stop first, that. First stop guru that. did not make a Stop sect. it, man. Stop it. I'm yeah, talking. but you said something incorrect. No, I'm talking, about though. First I'm talking, though. Yeah, Raj said a million Ranger, of wrong if, things. If you interrupt, the timer gets restarted. So we have time. Bloody hell. Yeah, so, as I was saying, Something I learned today was that there's different sects in Sikhi, and these sects are originating from the first guru, so and subsequent gurus. So the first one seems to be Udasi, which is this m m monastic ascetic <laughs> kind of group from Sri Chand, uh, the son of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Okay, the the founder. So it's all well and good. People later on come, uh, come in and saying, "Oh, these aren't orthodox, or these are minority groups, or whatever." But I mean. If you try and put yourself back at that time, they would obviously consider themselves very orthodox. So that's, that's one thing. That's the first group. And then there's the Mehravans, who were followers of Baba Priti Chand, the, the eldest son of Guru Ramda. Yeah. So this was, apparently he was this, the, the guru who came after Guru Arjan. And then there's the Rama Rayas, another subsect who follow Ram Rai. Was the eldest son of Guru Har Har Rai? I'm I'm butchering the names, but it's, yeah, it is what it is. And then and then the the final one, a bit because this is all historical groups, yeah. The final one is the Nanak Panti, and this is a, another this is another group which follows apparently according to themselves follows Guru Nanak, and almost kind of uh, straddles the the line between Sikhi and Hinduism. But uh, maybe that's because of the fact that as we said earlier. In the early days, Sikhi wasn't an, wasn't a uh, organized or it wasn't a religion as such. It was more like spirituality or something. Um, can I just answer? I want to just answer that. Yep, so, yep. first of all, the, the first the uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji's eldest son, he didn't just create his own sect. He joined a monastic order, and he became the head of the monastic order, which is associated with Hinduism. The Udasi. <coughs> Or are basically Hindus. They're not like the key path. Okay, so that's the first thing about the, the Udasis. Now, on the second hand, the Udasis had a very good relationship with the first five gurus. Like even up till the even after the tenth guru, they were the ones who were basically managing the Sikh temples because the other the mainstream Sikhs were getting hunted down and persecuted. 
So the, the temple ownership or the temple maintenance went to the Hindu sect because the Hindus were not being as harshly persecuted as the Sikhs. So there's never any conflict between the Udasis and the Sikhs. Yeah. All right. So I'll, 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 I'll elaborate. So just give me one minute. Yeah. So basically, this kind of there's no real kind of what you call um, kind of like real main kind of like animosity towards other kind of uh, I meet non I meet we don't argue about religion. I've never even spoken to them about their particular differences that they don't believe in the Qurban or, or stuff like that. So we don't have this kind of real big conflict. Now we do have differences of thoughts between Sikhs. Now now. When it comes to raindrop and the Hindu, one of the reasons why I look here, I, I kind of like, when it comes to the Hindu aspect, I agree after 1984, um, the Sikhs have had a problem with Hindus. But the problem is this, you need to understand raindrop. A lot of Hindu nationalists, like the, BJ, the BJP, the RSS, are trying to dilute Sikhs. They're trying to make, I mean, they're trying to make uh, Punjabi as the second language in uh, Punjab and but Hindi. The let me just do it. So they're trying to do that right now. Secondly, they're trying to, I mean, I've heard so many times and there's so many videos on the net that they say Guru Gobind Singh Ji was a Hindu, that uh, Banda Singh Bahadur is a Hindu, that Baba Deeps is a Hindu, uh, the Guru. So basically what they're trying, a lot of these RSS and uh, fundamentalist Hindus, sect of their faith. And we're and not. They're trying, we're, they're trying, they're trying to make so, so this is why a lot of Sikhs here are, try, are pushing the other way. Yeah, because we're saying, okay, you're trying to push this way. We have to then push the other way. And it may look like you're being anti-Hindu, but I think it's more. I think it's more trying to show that yeah, the time's differences. Up, time's up. Time's up. All right, cool. What's so yeah, 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 yeah. Time's up, man. Time's up. Yeah, those, right, those, I'm answering. Right. No, no, no. You're not answering. No, you're gonna get back in line, man. You I've, anyway. So yeah. The. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's definitely sects in Sikhism. Like, there's no two ways around that. We're not talking about these sects being in conflict with one another. And uh, you, you guys need to stop being so defensive about it because you're answering things that have not been brought up. I didn't say that this group is fighting this group and that group is fighting that group. I'm, I'm just saying that I've learned today that there's different sects within Sikhism. You can't say that that's wrong because clearly these sects never consider deny themselves... No one said that. Groups. No one said that. Anyways... So stop, stop interrupting yeah, but, me, man. We've yeah, got my time. We've got my time. All right. Up, so, man. all right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, thanks for giving me another minute. Thanks the reason for giving why me another minute. Pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Rod. Rod. Thanks for giving me another minute. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why. Hey, yeah, Pigeon. Thank you for giving me another minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got a timer going at the moment. So. Yeah, go. Rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, to, he's got to get back in line, man. Come on. Can I, can I just? Oh, I'm gonna just back again. Rose is rose, man. Rose is rose. Rose is rose. Help yourself, Hassan. Man. I just want to address Raj Yo. before I go. I really have to go. No, no, you, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go, man. But I, need, I need my time again. I need my time I need to address Yo, Raj. Big up, big up, my meat, Asif. Please, I Yo, need to address Raj. I got time left. Big up, my dunya. Yeah, yeah. Whose timer? Whose go is this? Listen, I have to address Raj. Baby face assassin. So go and address him offline, man. Don't don't try and jump in. I don't know how to I'm not really good at the hangout thing. Just give me a Give me one minute. I'm cool. All right, go. No. Let him talk, no, let him talk, man. No, if, it, if it's Ziriab's no, no, time, no, no. Let, let Ziriab talk. Let Ziriab talk. Yeah, I yeah, vote yeah. for Ziriab to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Ranger, yeah. you can hang around for a minute. I'm sure yeah. he can. Go on, Ziriab. Drop your thing. Ziriab, just so, yeah. Ziriab. So as I, I'm going to start again now. The time has started again. Cool. So as I was saying, there's like, uh, from my reading, there's one, two, three, four, about four or five different sects within CQ. And then there's obviously contemporary groups as well, like the Namdaris, Niran Kari, Akhan, Kirtani, Jatta, Radha, Sawami, Santan Sikhs, and so on and so forth. Um, they, those are contemporary, the ones I just mentioned there. But the older ones, which, which I mentioned earlier, all stem from very early leaders. As I said, the first one, the Namdaris, uh, branched out of, uh, well, I should say, to be honest, the Udaris, I should start off with, start, uh, branched off of the son of the first guru. Okay, This is what I'm saying. This is, this is just historical fact. There's no two ways. I'm not, I'm not claiming that these uh, groups are fighting each other or anything like that. So that's one thing, that there are different sects within Sikhi and all these different sects are going to have their perspective and their point of view. And I don't think it's fair to kind of make arguments by majority and say, oh, we are the majority. And so this is what Raindrop is saying. This is just a Raindrop now. So these minority groups or these marginalized groups are somehow irrelevant. I think it's interesting, and, and that's the takeaway from this whole conversation. 
that there is a, a, a there's all different types of thought within Sikhi, and it just makes for a more interesting conversation. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks for so, that ending statement. Anyway, Raj, remember, listen. Raj, yeah, well, I... Raj, let, let, let rain drop. Let, you said let rain that Sikhi came to destroy the caste system. Now, clearly, from what Zariab, Zariab just explained there, is from the roots of Sikhi and the teachings shoot off into a caste system. So that goes against everything that you said to me. Can you what do you that? mean it goes off? What do you mean it goes off into a caste system? No, like what Zariab said there, like what he's explained is that that's not a caste. caste. That's, that's a, a sect. sect. Sex. Well, sex, cast, well, same thing. No, no, the nice not. Uh, oh my God, man! But it's, it, it is though, isn't it? Because you were telling me that no, it's 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 you were telling me that there is no, there is it, no second it, group. It's, it's all it's unified. Come on, we're just doing the Sikh takia, man. man. Yeah, yeah, this, I never, I never said the Sikh don't have sex. Can I clarify? Not you, Raj. I'm talking to Raj. All right, so can I clarify to somebody? Stop doing Shia takia. Is a sex. Stop doing takia. Is a sect and caste the same thing? No, 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 it isn't. No, it isn't. But are they even, are they one even unified? Yes, that's what, no, no, no. In a nutshell, that's what we were talking about. No, is it? The caste, you're, uh, you're kind of like trying to link two things together. We have nothing in common. The caste, I've never said there were no other sects within Sikhism because I know there is. I said there's no caste within Sikhism. So the the uh, what were the what are your what are your like ones called? What what, what was that? Called? But they're not a car. Oh, no, 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 okay, what what is it then? What, 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 Nahans, what, what but they're that? not. Yeah, Nahans. Do they look down upon others? Their text no. is the no, only no. they that, that are allowed to read it. No, and the other weaklings are not allowed to like read it and stuff, and oh, stuff no, like that. No. Like Anyone before, like, I'll give you an example. Like like something what um raindrop said when uh the sack. Uh, when when that guy said, you said there's raindrop mentioned something like you know who's gonna say it to them who's gonna question them about it you know they're the warrior cast they're the elite you know you're not I've, 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 I've questioned them about it I've, 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 like, I've had people like, like, no, what, what I'm what, asking what, is it like I'm that saying, where you like just a lower like a lower person with the warrior class you can't really question them no you can I question them all the time I, I say, say that hold on, hold on. Yeah. first of all I've said to their faces that I don't agree with you uh, with the animal stuff because some of them eat meat and they do, do they, 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 eat, they, or they don't do that here but they eat meat yeah they believe in eating meat some of them so for me I, I've, had, I've had lots of conversations we got heated as well I said look because the problem the ones with the blue blue blue, the blue the thing about them they are supposed to be ready for war yeah and I understand in the times of the gurus and later they were persecuted so you needed this warrior, warrior class they were like soldiers That's, then innit within, so, within so, the that need to be ready 24 7 man. so your lifestyle, had to, your lifestyle had to revolve around that and even certain things that are against Sikhism like eating meat were prohibited to the group uh, because of the fact they needed uh, sustenance to defend the group do you understand you can't be uh, if there's no if no food anywhere and there's only apples I would eat meat say if it was between my family and eating a cow and I didn't have to eat. No, I'll be honest with you, I learned a lot today I learned a lot I didn't know because from what I my interactions with you you like made out to me like the way you made it is like everything's unified and it all no, goes no, in no. one order and there's no no there are, there's no class but there are different schools of thoughts but there's not what you call like a Sikh like you don't go to one Gurdara yeah and there's just a Nam Tari Gurdara or you, I mean I mean a Nahang Gurdara you don't go to another one that's just a particular and the drawing school of... one I was shocked about the drawing one as well what do you mean drawing it's one a bit, it's like Mukru drawings like a bit Mukru you can't you shouldn't really draw the Gurus so basically, oh, so basically, there are some Sikhs that are so let's, strict. Let's make it common and say, let me, let me, all right, so now I was read. Oh, well, whatever. Let so basically, look, you're de 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 he's derailing the conversation. He's derailing the conversation. The world's number one for father. I see it's gay, gay, So basically, so basically, they're all right, yeah, that's yeah, it, that's, on, you know. that's the song Shia Kafa wow, Shia Kafa. Wow, so, I'll do the wow. translation. You do so, see, basically, you do see how annoying it is. yeah, I know, but basic, basically, yeah, there are Sikhs that I know personally who also actually hate people drawings, uh, the gurus, they believe that it's, it's basically idolatry, even drawing. So, there are is that school of thought in there. I don't believe that because if you don't pray to that picture. And you don't see it as a literal representation and just a, I mean, a literal likeness, but a representation that I don't see an issue with it. Uh, yeah, so, that, if you, when you're painting someone, it is the representation of that person. Can I yeah, but, 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 but it's web lot. So, look at, look, 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 I drew that, yeah. But, but then I come down to intent. That, 
So, so yeah, it's intent. Well. intent. Yeah, intent. So if I drew that and I said to you now, this no, is no, no, intent. No, 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 no. So when I'm drawing it and I say, this is Baba Deep Singh, you must revere this picture. This picture is 100% accurate and this is what happened. Or well, I drew the good, good one and said this. And then I if say, I, to you, if, if you were to draw one and just think, this is Baba Ji, yeah, you know, like, in yeah, your that's head. it. Yeah, yeah, almost like if you might draw uh, your parent almost and you're yeah. just doing it out of respect. Now, yeah. if people start praying to them and start revering them exactly what they look like, yeah, it's a problem. It's idolatry. That is, going, that is going past the point of the, the, the what I would consider to be idolatry then. Well, well, let me just say big up to Hacksaw Jim Duggan, big up to everyone who's... Okay. Uh, it's been a Some sticky segment. Shirt. You're right, you're right. Yeah, we, 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 you're right, sing the song again, Some man. sticky shirt. You're right. Let me How are you? Yeah, I'm good too. How are you? Yeah, man, can, you can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yo, what's happening, man? You're done. You're good, yeah, you good, man. I'm good. Yes, big yo, up yourself. Yo, yo, my dunya, man. No, no lift shift, man. No, no, no. Yeah, no, big up, man. Yeah, just, man. A minute and then I have to go. Yeah, long, long time, Dad. Long time, Dad. No see, man. Yes, Asif. Yeah, I'm here, bro. I'm fucking... Where you been, man? Big up, bro. I've had, basically, like, my mum had an operation on her ankle. Oh, big well, up to your mum, man. Big up to your mum. Big up to your mum. Well, you know. Is it? Yeah, man. Bless yeah, your mum, man. How's mum? She's been told to get... Yeah, she's all right now, but she's... Oh, she's she, well, she had the operation early October, but she told her, like, to be, like, 12 weeks or something like that. She's been doing a little like, yeah. runnings around for her. Yeah. yeah you know, you yeah, don't really yeah, know yeah, what your parents do until they... Yeah, standard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. Heaven lies under your mom's feet. Do you know? Do you know that? I, I don't want to say too much. Do you know that uh, video you sent me? Is that who you're talking what? about? Oh, I don't want to say too much. Okay, who? right. Just sing the me? song for us. No, no, to uh, Dan, to Dan, to oh, Dan. Oh shit! Did I send you a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Big up, big up, big up, big up, man. Uh, yeah. So big up. Um, yeah. So I've I've been a bit there. Uh, um, I'm trying to get back in with a little bit of a schedule as well. Yeah, yeah. We missed just show the show. A lot of madness. Yeah, yeah Raj, I, have no clue I heard you've been that. going from panel to panel singing Shia Kafri song. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to about this. I heard. All right, I'm yeah. doing. I'm it's doing right. reverse reverse tequila, yeah. I want people to say, what's the song? Why did you say it? Then I say, big up the big up the Shias. Big up the Shias. Big up the Shias. Hey, 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 Raj, Raj, Raj. It's, it's Ahmed here, and you make the fear on the guy. Ah, uh, he does my head in, man. You no, but we found, we found out today. We found out earlier, Raj, man. Raj is a guru grant sahibist. Raj is a guru grant Wait, wait, Raj is a guru grant sahibist. So he's I like think a Sikhi I, I, version I, I, of a Quranist. No, I think my... Oh, is that what it is? A Sikhi okay. version of a Quranist? <laughs> 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 no, he opened it. He opened his head. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But yeah. Raj, come on, you said yeah, he's shit All right, first, first, <laughs> all right. So first of all, Make yeah, we. The thing is, first of all, we don't have yeah. your bullshit, the graffiti kind of bullshit. It doesn't it doesn't. You do, you clear. do. You we do have a sneaky tuck fear, We man. don't. Look, look. Only time we it established get... it last time. Oh, the only time it would get to that is like a bit like Ahmed, yeah? Ahmed is taking things to the next level of madness. So there's certain <laughs> things... <laughs> yeah, I don't believe... <laughs> <laughs> like, guys, you can say it. There's basic tenets. Like with Ahmed, he is a, not a Muslim because he doesn't believe in even the basics, yeah? <laughs> So, oh shit! Oh shit! Quran has got debated by six feet. No, so if, you, if you go to the Ahmed test, kind of Ahmed kind of that like level of not believing even the basics, then yeah, you can say that person not a Sikh. Yeah. So, but you, you got so to what makes you? Raj, 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 What's that? Right. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't consider that to be uh, yeah. enough for myself to pull them out. I would say yeah, that they, I would say yeah. that they are deviant to a certain degree, but it's not like I'm going to say. <laughs> no, just, they're not yeah, following the mainstream. Say, yeah, I, I don't I, care. I, I, I would say that they're. I would, fair. I would say that they're deviant in a way, but I wouldn't say they're out of the fold totally. <laughs> yeah. So, that, I mean, we don't, we don't have the. It's going to take a lot, like Ahmed level kind of madness. Uh, I'd, I'd say whenever I'm saying that, I mean, when we have to give Ahmed as the kind of like the the level of the feelingness to get to, like when you're when he's saying stuff, I don't fast, 
around bloody go hard, I don't do this, I don't need to pray, rah, rah, rah. I can smoke weed and all Then that's the next <laughs> level of madness, yeah. yeah. That's the level I'm doing. <laughs> what about Zidia? Yo, Raj, what about Zidia? Sure oh, Ziria, Ziria, Ziria. No, I know he's a prick. A prick. But, <laughs> but he's, he's a Quranist, though. Oh, tell me what you believe. All right, so the Quranist, let me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah, I'm I'm... You, don't, you don't know your ABCs, bro. He's a, he's a Quranist learn, slash learn Shia. The, go and learn the alphabet he's a, first. He's a Quranist Shia. Right, so do, 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 you, do you believe in... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a what? I'm a what? <laughs> he's a Shia Quranist. Quranist. <laughs> All right, so do you... Do you... I'm, I'm oh, so, glad, so, glad so, you should attend so, to this level of... Uh, of so, so, yeah. Oh, Quranist. Quranist. I'm not going to fear of Shia. No, no, let me... No, 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 you believe that's, in the same. You only get two questions, mate. No, no, I, I that's can't. It, that's it. it. Make that feed of him. Uh, make that feed of you. I know he's been in a way. That's no more. No, he is going to be all nosy and stuff like that. Nice, no, you're nice to have reverse psychology there. No, 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 no. Nice you're little bit of reverse psychology. Raj, Raj, what about Hassan Saba? Yeah, what about Hassan Saba? Hassan Saba, man. No, look here. I, I like no, his... Look, no, no, yo, shots, no shots at Hassan. Give me, give me bullet, bullet, Hassan. Bulletproof vest all, right, all right, around right, Hassan right now. Bro, <laughs> he's a little prick. Let me say this. When it comes to Hassan, yeah... I like his group, yeah. Like they've got very forward thinking mentality, but I, I don't think they're Muslim in a traditional sense. I would say Takfi remember remember when Raindrop was saying that you had to go earlier. Yo, Raj, what makes you yeah, think that she's a, a Muslim go on? I do, I'm getting yelled at. I'm talking too loud here. Hey, uh, Raj. Hey, Raj. They call me a Salafi. Yo, Raj, they're calling me a Salafi range. Hey, Raj. Hey, peace drop. Fuck off, man. Hey, Raj. What makes you think... Hey, Raj, what makes you think that she is a Muslim though? Go on. What, do, do they... Do they pray to Allah? Oh, my God. What? Uh, they rolled the babies in the coal and, and they beat oh, themselves up. That rolling and roasting children and, and stuff. And, and, bullshit. And the Hadith. And the Shia Hadith. Yeah, says they, no, no, no. Do they go to Hajj? Do they go to Hajj? Do they go to Hajj? You know, the Shia Hadith. You know the Shia Hadith. Why are you whispering into the bike anyway? Listen, you know the Shia Hadith. Yeah. Yo, 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 he doesn't yo. let me speak, man. Come on, Zidab. Don't be so rude. Do they believe man. ABC Don't though, be rude, man. man. I'm you gonna... two are like a, the, the flip side gonna... of the same coin, man. I'm going to say my ABC now, man. Relax and listen to me, innit? Let me finish my ABC, what, what man. Why did you, why did Zidab, you ask me, me the question if I'm not going to answer it? <laughs> yo, yo, do you know, do you know if she had these things? Yeah, Ali, Dunya is like, like the most uneducated Muslim I've come across, you know. Zidia, but you're still a tactic kafid. According to oh, Raj, Raj, <laughs> <that feeling. laughs> according to Raj, Sheikh yeah. Raj and uh, yeah. No, but you haven't even told I mean, me your, like your, your you're too embarrassed to tell me the basics of your belief. Raj, exactly. stop with you the reverse psychology, you. mate. It doesn't work. Yo, Zidia, I know you're listening to, to panels that Listen, I'm on. Zidia, and you know I can hold my own. Two. None of these guys can step to me on a religious debate. Are you mad? All right, let's talk Not then. Not a single one you, of you. You're already finished, man. Unanimous. That's why, didn't you notice, that's why... Listen, all the, Muslim, me, really. all the Muslims, all the Muslims, to me, man to man, and right. have a conversation Zidia, about Islam. He doesn't know anything. All right, the Muslims, let me ask you. Now we got that, the Kufas making Kufas. Let me ask him a question. Do you believe that Ahmed is a Muslim? <laughs> Do you believe Ahmed is a real? Listen, Do you we, believe don't have, we don't have. We don't have. Do you believe listen, Ahmed is a Muslim? Listen. Zidia. Listen to me. I'm giving you. I'm giving you the answer. Ahmed believes in the five pillars. It's articles of faith, so we don't do tech fear around there, bro. Oh, that's, 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 that's for low IQ. That's for low IQ Muslims like Asif he's, he's and Yehuda. He's Shia. He's Shia slash um, Quranist. No, no really, 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 really. What sect is Syria? The Delhi, Delhi scholar. He, he, he quoted the Delhi scholar. None of these guys can step to me. Range drop. We've already established oh, that. They can't. All they can do. Is the best they can do is, is laugh at each other's jokes. That's the best thing they can do. Now, what is your Zero. argue? Why, why is he not a Muslim then? So I don't know really on Zero. Who? I don't Who? know his belief. Y yourself. <laughs> what is the argument? He's never mentioned what sect is. Wait, wait, wait. We have to catch this one for posterity. Rod, 
You're asking these low IQ guys who you Zidia, call low IQ. Zidia doesn't believe in Shahada. Zidia doesn't, <laughs> doesn't believe in Shahada. Zidia doesn't believe in Shahada. Ask him, ask him. Zidia doesn't believe in Shahada. Believe them. Yeah, I've only took food you halfway yet. So I need to. I haven't done the full version. You might as well. You have to keep that. No, no, no. Zidia, Zidia, you've done it. You've done it. It was a level. You can't really have a conversation with Look, look, Raj, Raj, Raj. There's even the film matters came on the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> yo, okay, Dunya, don't you have a don't yo, you have a channel to go? Where's where's yo, Ziria, yo, Ziria, all the Muslims they talk you of you. Why, now we got the you guys over here? Why don't you go over to the channel? Now the Kufars are I'm, making talk you of you. I need to understand what he's uh, what he's believing. Yeah, Rod, stop pretending like you don't listen to panels which I'm on. I've talked about. Dude, you're boring. Ziria is crying. Hey, Rod, 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 one second, Rod, Rod, Rod. Raj, you know, you know one thing, you know, you know Raj. Raj. I know that, but then I can yeah, cool. break, so the feeling's mutual. Zia, I want to, 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 I want to talk to Raj, I want to talk to Raj quickly. I know, I know. Raj, did you see that the little what Walid brought yesterday? Do you reckon that's shitter than anything what Surf has presented? <laughs> I thought you were coming. Bomb up, Fez. Don't say bomb up, Fez. That was actually what. That was like the. That was like Surf Fez on steroids. I mean, not even Surf yeah, Fez. Yeah. Like, surf Fez could have done that. I like, know. Eh? Uh, Sir Faz would have been like, I got the best the little and then he's recording himself talking to a random woman or something. Man, Sir Faz wouldn't even do that, man. It's, uh, fuck it. it makes Sir Faz the little looks good. Yo, the funniest where is, part, where, the where funniest Baba, part was here. The funniest Baba. part the funniest part was here. Was but Baba's still. gone to sleep, but we could jump yo. on his channel, isn't it still? Oh, yo, no. yo, the funniest part of the delete was yeah, when um, Zubeda jumped on saying um, in Egypt <laughs> that 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 the lead is that the lead is thing valid. <laughs> yeah, she she she, she said that. The, 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 you know them ones when your dad does <laughs> oh, did she sneak out the house. <laughs> no, 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 no. Azira, who are you talking about? Your mom. You lot, uh, you sneak, Azira, you sneak your out of Fazil's house when you're over here. Like, Azira, like I'm talking about your mom. Azira, are you talking about your that Walla okay. Walla's gonna get it no, when I see him. <laughs> Wait till I see Walla Walla. He's gonna yeah. get it at the point. Oh, I swear to God. Zubeda Zub said that Walid, that the lil is good in Egypt. I wait till I see him, and I've got a big yeah, surprise for Walla Walla. Okay. Walla Walla's gonna get it. <laughs> that one crashed and burned. Yeah. You're the guy who's calling him uh, Baba Faz. That means Daddy Faz, isn't it? So once nah, your Baba, dad is asleep, you see it. Out. Uh, it and just means like a mayhem a, over here. Like a learned, a learned. Explain, explain to him who Baba Faz. Pick up the panel. Good night. Oh, you're cussing. Big up, Raindrop. Peace, man. Baba Faz. Thanks, man. Big up. Baba, Baba Faz, Faz was one of the Guru's uh, friends. Baba, Baba, Baba Faz from Amritsar. Yeah. yeah nice Dukfir, going, Dukfir going, Dukfir yeah. says, yeah. Dukfir on the Dalila as well. All right, yeah, you know, so explain Ziriab. Like, what is your... I don't understand what your faith is. What is it? I don't, I don't even know you as Muslim, to be honest to you. <laughs> yeah, tell us what your faith is, man. At least we know Raj. All right, people, uh, hit, a, uh, hit, a, hit a letter <laughs> or number on the keyboard. Dude, like us both. Guys, I know it's, it's, cute, it's cute, the attempts. And I, I, love the, I love the Fiki, uh, Fiki low IQ uh, unity here on display. Get up some likes. It's amazing. Or no, I'm, I'm more, more. Oh, okay. I want to see, okay. I want to see more low IQ Fiki. No, okay. I'm serious. I'm not even thinking you. You want to talk about yourself? Go on. I'm, I'm, not, even, yeah. I'm not even calling you. I don't know what uh, your beliefs are. Lessons for life is live. Respect is live. So, 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 it's no skin off my nose. Yeah, you're, boring. Certainly... you're boring. You're oh, boring. I know, I know. I just said that. I just said that. I know yeah. that's what you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then I, I've been but then normally. I, think uh, talk... I know, I, know I, think... I am boring. I am boring. I think, I think you're boring. And I think I, you try I to make boring. yourself. Right. I think you make yourself. I am boring. Yourself... Come more after them. Yeah, no, no. I know, I know. And I think that as well. And, and the boring. reason why I think that. I'm boring. I'm boring. Got to join the panel at any time. You can just send a message at one of the more interesting by laying claim to things that the security services do. Oh, yes, yes. I'll catch up in London. <laughs> I chucked his buddy that in the seat. It was me. 37 minutes. By myself. Uh, big yeah, up to yeah, Tipu. Big up to real one. Big up to Icy. No, no, just explain. What is your belief? Sosa husband. I'm, so I'm, I'm, trial here. Right. I don't know where I'm just are, interested. Bro, but... Do you just believe? Do you just believe in the Quran? Zidab can't say that. Zidab can't say that. Zidab can't say that.
No, no, I'm interested. Yeah, I'll be like, sorry. Right, so I you, are you, right, you are boring. You are boring, but I'd be right, interested right, to hear right, your. Right, uh, right, it would right. be interested to hear whether you're. If you are interested, I have a channel. You can go check it out. I have. I even have a playlist of uh, on Islam, so you can check out those videos. All right. Play, all right. At, mm. play, play it at an updated or play it at like a fast speed. Because no, I'm gonna play at 300 speed. 300 speed. Yeah, yeah. That's best. So yeah, it's just it just goes like. Put it on fast forward. Fast forward. I'll do it in the I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know straight away as soon as I go on your channel, it's going to be a thick feed, so don't worry. I've got it ready well, for it's, you. It's a public record, it's there. Yeah. I've got it ready for you. You've got a big thick feed. It's, it's, it's all like I, man. It's all like I need to hear that you are doing shark. So, wait there, hold on. I just worked out. The only time that like, I see if Grey Jr. Raj, like, feel. <laughs> yeah, they love, they love, they, they love the the feed on the air. What's, oh, Amorize is the feed as well, no doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing the feed on. This is not me dissing like the look here. When it comes to the cake stuff, I didn't, I couldn't visualize big it. Up, big up, big up, but big now up, that I'm, uh, uh, now, now that I'm, up, to, come on. because when, my I, when I went to the good assassin. When I went to the Birmingham, they were cutting a cake. And to me, it's not a big deal, but I can't imagine someone cutting a cake for Prophet Muhammad's birthday in a mosque. Oh, you exactly actually witnessed 100%. it? You actually I can't, witnessed I can't, it? No, no, I was there. I've got the video for you. So, no, I'm talking about the Sikhs who are doing it for good and honest, Dave, but we don't have an oh. issue with it. But I was trying to visualize a uh, Muslim <laughs> mom. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Who was? <laughs> So I was trying to think of a mom. He's not here, man. Come on. No, no. So basically, I was trying to visualize an imam. I know, man. This is. Oh my gosh. I don't go talk about people all the time, man. No, no. But what I'm saying, when I thought about that, I was like, no, I could never visualize that in a mosque. Then you remember that mosque. So what? You didn't see Raj on Stratford Road, bro. Imagine this. He did. It was him. He looked like Harry Potter. <laughs> Bro, if I seen this nigga yet, I'm my mom's. Oh yeah, dude, I walked past you, man. You was that lanky uh, yeah, guy that was. Man, if I ever catch you, Danny, you're... you was you oh. se you you were selling like yeah one pound fish on a uh, uh, Spark Hill Road or something, wasn't oh, that you? Teja, one day you're gonna yeah, get. I'm back down. Did you know I'm back down in a week and a half? Just tell me the location then. You can't be saying you're going to come down, bro. You can't be saying you're going to This time I'm... Yo, 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 yo. Allow all the... Yo, 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 no addresses. Yo, 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 yo. People in the... Yo, muds. Imagine some guy says, yo, I'm going to come in the UK and you're not going to do nothing. And he tells you, bro, you have to tell me the location of Birmingham. Birmingham No, no, no. Don't do a big ass on me, man. Oh, I ran Forest Gate. I ran Forest Gate. If you walk down Forest Gate and then I walk down there and I'm buying some more I'm having bloody whatever down there. Nothing happened to me, man. Nothing happened. Did you buy any chart with the Morse? No, no, no. Chart, man. No chart. But the thing is that... um. At the end of the day, yeah, if you run that area, I shouldn't be able to walk around Birmingham, Spark Hill without being spotted. Yo, enough respect to Nicky Travis. Pick up yourself, bro. Like, like all over the place. Next to that park, there was an Audi there, uh, the Audi freaking the petrol station, whatever it was, and all that kind of bullshit, yeah? I'm coming back in two weeks. I'll, I'll even tell you where I'm going to be this time. Okay. Cause it's... Then, then you can call me a dickhead if I don't uh, <laughs> You're going to get embarrassed if it happens, though. Then you can call me a dickhead. Watch, a, watch, where, watch where the location's going to be, and you're going to be like, okay, okay. He's going to be in police station. That's what we can't run Dude, watch, watch the location. I'm going to be there for another two days on a weekend soon. I'm going to be staying there. I know the next event that you're coming in. Where, where am I going next? I know. Where am I going next? Don't worry, I know. I did my uh, homework. He's done his homework. He's, he's, he's going to wait for you. He's going to wait, 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 wait for me? Oh, my God. <laughs> M sticks. Hiding me. Yo, do a live stream when you go. Yo, someone go wake up Baba Faz and tell him his children are running wild, man. Yeah, yeah, Andre, come on. Baba. Yeah. <coughs> Walk off. All right, do you know what? I think I'm going to lock off the stream. Walk though. off, I you dickhead. I think I'm going to... <laughs> yo, yo. Panel. Yo, let me, get, uh, let me get the last couple. Ahmed. Uh, big up to Ahmed. Big up to M Stacks. Big up, big up. That's it. Uh, uh, mad Dunya, Grey Dunya. No, nah, he's a mad, he's a mad one, mad one. I'm gonna mad. call you Mad Grey, bro. How about Mad Grey? Um... <laughs> yeah, but you yo, can't yo, even yo, find Amorites, and, and he, lives, he lives in Birmingham. Yo, How can yo, you not find that fat Roly Poly? I'm a Scotland man. I'm a Scotland man. I'm a Scotland man. Let me say one thing before I go, man. Let me say one thing before you turn it off. Go, go, go. 
Let it ma- let's make it. Uh, <laughs> fuck Amaz. Fuck Amaz. Hey. Amaz, you're a dick. M Snacks. M Snacks. Come to the way of the cellar, bro. Children older than you say, she a Catholic, she a Catholic. The world's number one kafar are the Shia group, the world's thugs, thieves, killers, all the devil Shia Kafir. <laughs> that's actually that's actually the the, the English translation of that <laughs> Arabic song they sing. That's the Arabic. It's not song. Arabic. It's not Arabic, Raj. Oh, wait, Raj, 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 that was just asking. <laughs> asking Ziyab, you're done out here, man. You got buried, fam. Before you I, go. I'm, 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 in the, I'm the new Takfidi hunter. I'm going to have my yes. own program <laughs> going around Tukfidi. the UK. Raj, 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 going to be bullshit. Chop it up, And the cake say, Takfidi. Right away and all that kind of stuff. So I'm the Takfidi hunter now. Who was going to have Takfidi? Uh, I actually think uh, TYO needs to be free to see as well. TYO is all right. Amaz is the Amaz is the extreme. So, 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 what, 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 Ahmed, Raj, so what, what about Ahmed? Raj, Raj, what about Ahmed? Groomers. Do, do, do you take fear on Ahmed? Ahmed. Then you have Ahmed's to do it on Ziriab and then on Hassan Salah. He's asleep. Why are you setting him on that? Ahmed's asleep, bro. Why are you trying nah, to... Like, Ahmed is the next level of As if, as if he's one of those pussy You know them ones who get Ziriab. get another guy to fight someone else for them. I never... <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Raj, Raj gets to do the freeze. One minute, one minute, yeah. I had no issue with that big-headed freak, yeah. He then started attacking me for no goddamn reason. You know. yeah. <laughs> this guy's rude. That you bloody Ahmed, Ahmed. I had no issue nah, with bro, you. T- oh, I remember Jimmy when you Neutron, first met him. You jumped on. He, he jumped on. Nah, come on, bro. Yeah, Ahmed did Jimmy Neutron. No. You jumped on. You were like, oh, you Ahmed. You're the Quranist, then you. And he's like, what's yeah. a Quranist? Yeah, but it, that was the... You got, off on the you got off on the wrong foot. You got off on the wrong foot. Because really... Him being really, a Quranist... Yeah, but really, you should be allies. I'm, I'm guessing. You no, no, should no, be allies. no, no. If he, if he said I'm a Quranist, yeah, and then I started asking questions, like, do you believe in this? Do you believe? And he was like, yeah, I believe in that part, but he doesn't believe in anything. Yeah, but bro, that's what I'm asking. He's just, he ain't got the allies, bro. He's just, he's just, he does his thing. I asked him 10 questions. All of them were no. Yeah, what he's a heretic. He's a heretic. He knows he's a heretic. Man. Even me yeah. here that don't like defeating someone went, defeat! You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're doing a good, clean, no, I can't, long I, I cannot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's record that, man. Let's record yeah, that. Let's record that. Mega Takfir, mega Takfir. Yeah. One minute, one minute. The thing is, one minute. Say the name, though. Say the name, though. Say the name. Okay, no, Raj, do, do a look, look, do a meme one. one. Go on, just do it now. Everyone be quiet. Like, one minute. Yeah, yeah, just do a meme one. You lot are moving. You lot are moving mad, man. You lot are moving like. I don't, I don't want to look like I'm fucking an Ahmed, but Ahmed started going for me for no goddamn reason. And when I was trying to be supportive and say, okay, what do you believe? Ahmed started going for me for no goddamn reason. And when I was trying to be supportive and say, okay, what do you believe in? And then he's saying he doesn't believe in this. He doesn't fast. He doesn't pray. He pork. He bloody smokes weed. He does that. He doesn't do, so that's personal. That is personal then. <laughs> you know, mask. <laughs> then you can't call me your Muslim. You can't say that to me afterwards because I'm going to be mm. like, okay, even I see that. It's like someone saying they're Christian and they don't believe in Jesus Christ. Or, or doesn't... And, gray do- and gay dunya and... Uh, drop the it at the end then. Drop the long takfir. Like, 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 yeah, just do ultimate. Do the ultimate takfir. Ultimate takfir, right? Heretics, man. 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 The end of the day, the end of the day, yeah. Saying at the end of the day, he is not a Muslim. There's no and way he can do what on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I've got nothing. Do, or, 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 whatever, but then what do you do on him? No, but I'm saying I've got nothing against the guy. Yeah, you're right. We're not on the line. And you have to do a mega tuck fear, mega ultimate tuck fear. Come on, you can do it. I'm not going to do it on prompt. I'll do it when I want. Yeah, it, I don't want to. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. You, yeah, can't, you, can't let man uh, you can't let a man no, no, pop like that, bro. Yeah. You can't let a man pop Yeah, it took, it took you long enough to realise that, Rod. <laughs> you need to say it when he's here or I'm talking about him. Yeah, I'm so right, That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to give you the heads up. I'm saying I'm saying the man ain't here. These lot are just using you as a little send out. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. 
no, no, hold on, hold on. We're still in the back. Takfe, Takfe might have wanted to go on his channel. Dan, Dan, Raj is a meme fan. Raj is a meme Look here. No, 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 no. That's what I'm That's basically, that's another way of saying Raj is a legend. He's a good meme fan. Raj is a legend. No, no, no. No, what are you saying? Memes are legendary, man. <laughs> I need to do it in a natural environment, so I need him to talk and say, "I don't go to mask. I don't." Do that. <laughs> Passionately, <laughs> bring it up. I have to hear him. Yeah, but next <laughs> time, then I'll do a powerful. You're right. Like a you, need yeah, yeah. You're right. you need to go to see all you tomorrow. And make that feel about it. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he debated Chamsi. He debated Chamsi before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you the full story. Oh, yeah. now I know I don't like him. I met him in the park, yeah, and I heard him online. And I thought, yeah, good on him. He's always defending his corner and all that. So I went over to him and I saw oh, Ahmed. He's like, looked at me like, that, who are you? Why are you talking? And I was like, oh my god, what a kufar. <laughs> Yo, the man he's talking about is asleep, you know. What, uh, audacity? <laughs> no, I'm saying one thing, he's very arrogant as well. So I don't mind Man's if on he's kind of like, he's oh, asleep. I'm going against the brain and then you're a nice guy. Started. But he's not. He's a nasty piece of work. <laughs> so are you, Teja. So are you, man. You know yeah, I am. Saying? But I, I don't say I'm not. He he's he's doing a next. Let him set his own religion up, man. I don't know. But cool. even though Ahmed is a Qurani though and a Kafi though, but he's still better than you, Raj. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Your opinion you, is irrelevant. You are you are you're a, you are Tom Robinson's you're a cock. cock. Tom Robinson's cock. You're a pound of fish. Yeah. <laughs> you're a cockroach. Tom oh, Robinson's no. cock. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you so did, you... Mr. Mr. H said you man being soft on Raj. See, this is the thing. I I, I will say I rate Raj for this. And win his enemies over. Funny enough to be like a joke. No, Bro, but we're using him, man. We're using him, man. Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, like, you know, man. We just, oh, we just want right. that long tuck feel. We just oh, want that long yeah, tuck feel from you. Right, so what, meme. Okay, just okay. Want so that meme, what, fam. He's already there. He's already done. He's, oh, done, he's oh, about four. Oh, let, me, let me explain something. Raj worships us, man. Raj worships us, man. Raj worships us, man. I understand that. When it comes to the He paid us Jizia recently. He paid us Jizia recently to go past Let me explain. When it comes to the army, they can't defeat him yeah but when the raj in it he says he's done <laughs> done in one quick. go yeah okay. i crush him nice one, that was perfect his whole his whole uh, demeanor goes down the stingy you're shitting on armin and it's sad Raj, I'm just gonna say you the, the the point is Hassan Saba, Hassan Saba, the fear him. Yo, you lot, yo, you lot in the chat. Fear him, Raj. Yo, you lot in the chat, yeah. Don't think we're going soft on Raj here. Yeah? Raj is just acknowledging the Quranist and Ziriyam are Kafir. He's telling No, 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 no. And, and Hassan. Gay dunya, gay dunya. You're not, you're not even a Muslim. I don't know if Z Ziriab isn't, but I'm, I've given him a half tick feed, yeah? Man, yo, I'm, I'm going to give him a half tick feed because I don't know. He's denying that they're doing tikiya or something, not telling his true uh, beliefs. So Zidab I'm assuming... If he's a Shia, that's fine. Zidab 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 I told you already, I told you already that <laughs> my thing is open and accessible. Yeah, you know what he is? You know, you know what Ziriab you know is? Quillian you know Foundation. You I have more than two IQ Quillian points to rub together. He's a Quillian Foundation. I can actually, I can actually you know what formulate you know what my ideas and record them and put them up for public consumption. What do you want? Unlike... Unlike these He's low Quillian IQ idiots. He's Quillian Foundation, man. He's Quillian yeah. Foundation. But you know, you know, you're, yeah, you know, you're from Bangladesh. Yeah, He's Quillian Foundation. He's Quillian Foundation. I don't know. Awareness. You need to raise awareness. He's Quillian Foundation. You need to raise awareness on the biggest, 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 on I see you the mom's a prostitute. Big prostitution house, man. Yo, big up, big up to Hacksaw Jim Duggan again. Can't be a cafe. Big up to the viewers. 
Uh, big up to the 23 lights. I'm going, I'm going. Yo, chill out a lot of you, man. Fuck you. Generate. Uh, good conversation tonight. Uh, big up to the Sikhs. Uh, big up to... Merchant. Big up to Raindrop. Big up to Raj. Uh, big up to RS Sid. Uh, big up Rayon. Big Right. Yeah, enough people, man. Uh, we got the mod squad. We got uh, Raindrop. We got Raj. Up Shis. Saladin. Sir Faz. Who else was on the panel today? Uh, up to Ahmed. We got Ali Khan. We got AS. We got to Asif. We got Buddha Bing. Uh, big up to Pat, Crimes of Britain. Big up James SC. Uh, peace to Ben Wallace. Big up Hassan Saba. Uh, big up to Khan. Uh, big up Landa Kelts. Uh, M Stats, Madonna. Big up Uncle Omo, who's on earlier as well. Uh, Kingo Gold. Uh, big up to Old Hickory. Raspect. Uh, uh, Wire. Wire Ultra Fire. Peace, man. I'm gonna do a little. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little music stream. Uh, I'm not gonna let it run. I can't. I can't be. I can't be bothered. So I can take. Uh, and peace. Uh, uh, be loving. Uh, speak. Big up the people, man.